Oh, Mike is back on. There we go. <laughs> people, people are on top of it. They say just like first man when they land, <laughs> when they land on the moon, it goes silent. What? When uh, and, and you haven't seen it yet, but when first man, oh. and when he goes on the moon, it's silent. <laughs> Stuff B joined yes. the big dogs. What's Thank up? Thank you. I forgot that that was. <laughs> That's right. We're we're uh, what do you call it? Twitch we are affiliates. Affiliates. So that means if people join the big dogs, they get like. Whoa! Oh, Ro Rohan, Rohan Big, Dog, big Dog joined the Big Dogs. Anytime someone joins the Big Dogs, you gotta drop a cat cool. That's awesome. Anyways, um, but yeah, let's uh let's get into the game. So I was in Montreal for a week. We'll talk about that later. Oh yeah. I feel so bad. Stingos, oh thank you for joining Stingos. the Big Dogs. Let me drop some oh cat cools for you. Thank you, Stingos. Uh we don't need no Stingos subscribers. Um anyways. Yes, we do. Uh we need them all. What I was gonna say was uh we hit subscribers and immediately I went on my vacation, so I felt so bad that we, yeah. had, we had people become subscribers and they had no place to dump their Jared Thorbon sh emotes. So it's like, yo, all over the rest of Twitch. That's true. The rest of Twitch was getting hammered, getting slammed. But this is the original, the home of the big dogs, the mm -hmm. big pen, the big kernel, kennel. What what, what do dogs hang out? The I park? think a kennel or a park okay. or a yard. No, let's well, call it. Yeah, big dogs <clears throat> can't hang with the big dogs. Get off the porch. Now, yeah. now I did want to say that I I did notice after we created a cheap ass gamer Jared Thorbon emote. Yes. Another Twitch streamer. That's right. Right. Also created one, Jared. I think you're in the chat. Definitely. I don't. I don't know his name, but uh, give him a shout out because I love seeing the Jared Thorbon love. Oh, I love Jared. Shout out I to love the Cheap Jared Ass Gamer. If you don't follow Cheap Ass Gamer, what are you doing? You're missing out. You are losing money out of your. Not pocket. only follow follow Cheap Ass Gamer. Follow <clears throat> what is it at Thorbon? Yeah. Follow, follow, follow all of that. You know, Jared's the best. And if you didn't know, they have an Instagram now. What? They're on cheap Instagram. Ass no, has no. An Instagram get out now. of here. So if you want to watch Jared do cheap ass oh, I'd deals love to. on your Instagram story feed, always, always. Oh, this is a good ass gun. This is a look at new new gun. Look at that shit. I'm repair that. I'm really excited because all of the promotional tweets for this game so far have been, oh, they spent painstaking hours making yeah. making sure each weapon has perfect detail and accuracy. 
This game is like twin revolvers. What, what was it? What Fucking was that? Tight. Like poison? Yeah. <laughs> snake oil. Snake oil. Uh, let's do snake oil. That sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, Ryan's here. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, Ryan says all the other streams are pound puppies. That's true. We are the big dogs. Hell yeah. Um, we're gonna get. Yeah. So we we did two streams before playing Red Dog Revolver. I, we're gonna beat it. I think we only have like seven more levels. Oh, now there yeah. could be a bullshit boss fight that forces <clears throat> us to play all night. I'm gonna beat it. Um, it's only eight thirty. It's only a third. It's true. Yeah. I have like a, a mountain of emails to get through. But first, we gotta, gotta I'm gonna finish what I started. <laughs> All right. I love the fucking gunshots. Yeah. Doctor Ryan, how was your uh, steak? He was uh, he was grilling a steak before he went into the stream. Oh yeah. Big dogs want to know how your steak turned out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh. Oh, shout out Kevin Wrestling's here. I got a gun too. Dr. Butt Ghost is here. Oh, Juf Howard is here. All the big dogs. Man, all the big dogs are here. All the big dogs. Oh, no. Oh, man. Pest TV's here. A lot of questions. We'll get to... Oh, f this is why we stopped fucking playing the game. Because it's going to be a bullshit train mission. Because we got to a train mission. Fuck. All what right. Is that kind of tank at the top? Dude, that's not even real. They no, didn't have real. that. No, it was Actually, I'm also going to adjust the game uh, window, uh. bring it up a little higher. Ah, actually, that's fine. The game is intentionally matted like that, like a film. Okay, so in San Andreas, it was what? CJ, get on the train! Yeah. This is going to be fucking crazy. All right, Ryan did an excellent job with the state. Good job. All right, let's see how bullshit this is. If anyone's played the game, let me know how bullshit this is. Oh, well, doing, so far, this seems well so far. You look like zombies or monkeys. Yeah, but I guess they're me Mexican federales, yeah. is my guess. Oh, yeah, I'm also going to lower this a bit. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, yeah, so Red Dead 2 comes out, like, the 26th or something, like, yeah. within a week or Basically two. Basically 10 days. Okay. So, um, what the fuck? What the? Is this, is this happening? I don't... Press... Oh, oh there you go. That wasn't working at first. Oh, I'm gonna oh, go down right. the train. Shoot them up. Little, little monkeys. I forgot how to play this. It's been, like, a month. Right? We, we're jumping in cold, so I'm excited. Yeah. How do I melee? All right, circle? Yeah. That's sounds oh, yeah. right. All right. <laughs> Someone says it reminds him of the Star Fox 64 train mission. We'll see. Get this guy off me. Oh, Do God. a barrel roll, am I right? All right. What the fuck do we do here? Do I need to get back on? This looks like Mad... This is fucking Mad Max. Yeah. Wow. I guess I gotta go back on my... What was the point of that? Oh, I guess I got some help. All right. Booyah. All right, back on the Mad Whoa. Max train. Uh, yeah, so Red Dead 2 comes out. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm in the middle of a giant work contract, so I'm, I'm pretty limited on free... Do I, do I just need to... Do I need to keep going here? No, I think I can keep going. I think, yeah, you go up further, there go. that there opening. Go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wonder if I need to shoot them. Can I go faster on the horse? I, I'm pretty you can. I totally forgot. How the fuck do I get the goddamn... Probably X. No! You're right. It's probably X. That's not what I wanted to do. God oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Wait. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Joe Star. How do we fucking go fast on the horse? <clears throat> we did a horse mission earlier. No. Dr. Butt Go says, is that the Red Dead 2 hype train? Oh, it's very true. It kind of is. And I'm the game journalist gonna take them down with their, you know, their mess, their messing up of workers' rights. Yeah. I'm saying, hey, 100 hour work week, get over here. <laughs> oh, two day uh, day. Thank you thank so much. You. Now she can post Jared Thorbon big dogs everywhere we go. Hell yeah. All right, what the fuck are we supposed to do on this train mission? I just want to get on this train. It seems like I'm, oh, fuck. I don't know. All yeah. right, I'm giving up. I'm going on the train. Fuck. Oh my god. This is the hardest mission so far in the game. I don't think no one has gotten this far in the game before. Yeah. All right. I'm on the train. Let's maybe I forgot something back here. Let's keep going. Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to run to the back of the train. All right. Nothing. No. All right. We checked it out. We got the Jared Thorbons lighting up the chat, keeping us inspired. Um. All right. Uh, nothing so far. You want to huh. look up a guide? Yeah. All right. We're guiding it up this early. This is near the end of the game. So if people are saying you're ready for Red Dead too, you don't want to. You don't want to play this train mission. The fuck is going on with this mission? All right, fuck. I'll get my horse back here. I do appreciate there's no time limit. Yeah. Just let me take all I want. Are we? Oh wait a minute. I see. Am I oh. supposed to disconnect some shit on the train? Maybe shoot at it? Oh yeah. Give it a little. Nah, no, that seems too. That seems too much. But it's a red. It's a red. Look up the. Look up. Look yeah. Up, look up the guide. Look up the guide. Oh my god. I think if you go to IGN walkthrough, just type it. Uh, you know what? I'll do this real okay. fast. Real fast. All right, we're gonna look up the train mission. Yep. Oh my god. Oh god. 
If anyone in the chat, I don't think anyone in the chat's played this it game. It says pull the lever? Pull the lever. How do we get up? That's a good idea. You know, good idea. All right. Okay, let's, oh my god. Let's look it up. Okay. Starts off on a horse, aside from shooting, blah, 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 blah. Jump onto the roof of their car. But there are spikes. Yeah, I don't see. Hold on. Red will fall off of a spot where you can decouple the car by shooting at the letter. All right, let's, one second, one second. When Red approaches the flat, I jump onto it. Instead of having a shoot, jump onto the roof of their... Oh, okay. I got this. Let's try okay. this shit. Cool. That's right. We're playing a game from the early 2000s where they did not give you uh, directions on how to beat the game. No. Nope. Totally fine. Uh, big dogs use game facts, so that's how we're going to do it. Or IGN, back when they were relevant. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We did that. We figured it out all by myself. Yeah, you know, there thanks you go. To you the... Who the fuck is here? Get out of here. The, a fucking Gatlin guy. Get, no. Oh, so that guy who said shoot the lever wasn't joking. Genius. We got see, we got genius. There he goes. Is that it? Did I get it? Fucking. All right. Big dogs riding on through. We solved it. We did we it all did here it together. All by ourselves. Lost half my health already, but that's okay. We're gonna do. Oh, whoa, what now? Whoa, he shows up. Whoa. That's not cool. So now do you get? No, now you just do it. I bet get. now that's if perfect. I if I now the horse will let me go further. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Easy. This mission, so this mission is so easy. I'm they pro probably explained it in the cutscene. Yeah, we were too busy. You know, people wanted to hear from the big dog. Oh yes. Yeah, so now, now they come. Now up. it's back. Okay. Wow. Can't believe Red Dead Two is this buggy. It's what a shame. Yeah. See, they didn't have a hundred hour work weeks on this game. You can tell. So you that's, could tell. You could tell. They should have had a hundred hour work week. Oh, Absolutely. maybe if you flip that, you can jump in. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right. Let's get, I'm gonna kick his ass. Fuck. All right. Hold on. Oh, bam. Someone's falling asleep. You can sleep. It's alright. This will be on the oh, yeah. Or, what the hell is this? Why did Cannonball get lobbed at me? What the fuck? Alright. What? Okay. Alright. I like how... Uh, as soon as we, like, la launch that lever, all these new enemies spawn. That's fine. We're set. We got, you know, no health. We're gonna win. No problem. I'm not gonna die. Uh, this is a no-death speed run. Bye, Steffi B. Alright. Red Dead. Alright. That's fine. Reset. We're gonna That's do it okay. high high level. This is like Dark Souls. You have to get used to the environment. Exactly. First. You Just know, like Dark Souls. We're getting reacclimated to the controls and everything. Yeah. So yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Oh, stuff B isn't. Oh, stuff. Okay, stuff B is still here. Red Dead Retirement. That's true. That's if you speak ill of of uh, Rockstar. Yeah. If you if you complain about working too much, you're you're axed. Uh, Rockstar San Diego is actually based. You wouldn't believe it in San in Diego. San Diego. They're, right, they're right next to Legoland. So is uh, San Diego Studios. Yeah. Which, uh, I think they made the Uncharted. Oh my god. What the fuck? No, hold on. This, this is good. Alright. There you go. Um, Double. but yeah, anyways, as I was saying earlier, I'm excited for Red Dead 2. Like, I'll get it. It's gonna be difficult, though, because I can't, like, marathon it. I'm gonna have to, like, play that game in, like, hour chunks, because I'm working non-stop for the next month. Uh, but then in December, I have no plans, so by December, I'll be able to play Spider-Man, God of War, Beat Persona, Red Dead 2, I'll be able to play all my video games. Uh, but it's crazy, because the new Call of Duty Black Ops came out, and with my circle of friends, uh, I would always get Call of Duty, but because I'm so busy with work, and because Red Dead comes out soon, uh, I'm like, I'm just not gonna get it, which is a crazy thing to say. This guy sucks. Yeah. Alright, he's gone. But you took care of him. I took care of him. He's out. Yeah, this year has been a very good year for uh, video games. There's a lot of really cool releases, a oh, lot yeah. of fun stuff to look forward to, and um, yeah, I just beat Spider-Man last week, oh, and there you go. I had a great time with it. I cried at the end of the game. Nice. Um, That's awesome. I'm really excited to play more. I love, I loved, oh my god. Health! Uh, I loved everything they did with it. I was really happy that they, uh, that they did a fun, good Spider-Man game that didn't have to do with the movie. Yeah. Uh, can you put on our document to play Bully? Someone in the chat met, uh, brought oh, up, yeah. are you guys going to play Bully when Bully 2 comes out? We, last time we played, we talked about we want to play the old Rockstar games. And I have uh, Bully on th Xbox, or 360, which is compatible on Xbox One. So, yeah, we'll definitely play Bully at some point. That'll be great. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very excited for Bully. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for Red Dead Redemption. It is crazy that, like, games these days are so massive and that they do take advantage of, like, designers in their 20-somethings and burn them out. But, yo, we get good vid games. So, you know, I think Rockstar's just a bunch of little James Camerons, so... Maybe don't jump in. Okay, I'm gonna you. jump in, dude, because there's some help. Oh, yeah, there you go. Detach that. Get, 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 detach this lever. I'll just shoot it. It's like a cowboy would. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting how this is the new... Uh-oh. The Devil's Pajamas. Uh, the new Devil's Pajamas is a worker's crunch in the video game industry. It's a legitimate thing. It sucks. 
But like when Assassin's Creed came out, this new one, that's when there's all these like that this season, uh, that's the like hot button topic. There's all these reviews of being like, I can't enjoy Assassin's Creed Odyssey because I think of how hard all these people worked on it. And so like now with Red Dead, that's that's continuing. Like it's just this new cycle. And uh, it's, gonna are, be interesting to see, it's just gonna be interesting to see what happens as a result of this. Are, are any of these people like forced to be there that long? Like I feel like it's, it's like it's just uh, like fuck. It's a psychological effect of the culture. Like if everyone else starts doing it, you don't want to be the fuck you. You don't want to be the one to not do it. Yeah. So it's not required, but it's just it it just happens. Yeah. Yeah. But it's I, just it's just a work culture I, issue. Yeah. But at the same time, like. I watched a Phantom Thread this morning, mm -hmm. and there was a scene where something like that happens, and somebody literally goes around to everybody going, well, uh, you guys, we're going to be having a late night. If you need to make phone calls, uh, oh, yeah. go, go ahead and make them, but yeah. uh, we're all working late. So, I don't know. It's just like, I, are you dedicated to your craft or not? It's, it's that. So, it's like... I like you know hopefully like people can find studios where they're respected and enjoy it and just be conscious of like if this exactly. is if, if you do you really want to work here this is it hopefully it can improve if it's not then leave and find a place that's great like I worked at a movie theater for two years which you know being in my early 20s that was fine because I was like still doing freelance contract stuff but not enough to where I could work in video full time so it was a day job uh, but that was like such a poorly managed place but it was it was a fucking movie theater run by 20 year olds so it's like yeah. it, it, no one's aspiring higher but then once i started working for like nonprofits and corp actual corporate companies it's like oh you see how they treat people as adults and yeah. uh it seems like like jason schreier talks about this a lot did i forget to detach it i did well actually can i nuke this guy on the cannon first or is he not going to spawn oh no. what an asshole yeah, you that's have some bullshit to... all right gonna have to fudge it um well, was, but um blah 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 uh oh yeah so like working or like visiting cor companies with, with with actual corporate culture where they respect adults, uh, it's like oh yeah. Once you get older, you kind of don't put up with shit. Yeah. So, like if you are at this point where you want to quit your job, then quit. Like find places that will respect you, or stay and work for a rock star. Like it's ultimately up to it's up to the worker. And what the fuck? Uh, yeah. Um, but raise enough of a stink, and then hopefully shit will change. But it's like it's an interesting conversation. I'm excited. For, honestly, the biggest problem. I'm gonna die again. This I hate this mission. The biggest problem is that video games live in such a world of secrecy. Like there's all these NDs, NDAs, so people can't discuss their poor. I'll die. It's again. Yeah. People can't discuss their poor working conditions because you're signing under NDAs, so you can't talk about mis mismanagement and abuse because it's under NDA. That is yeah. like weird. Like that's shitty. Like so again, you're already signed into this. Like yeah, we'll give you a salary, but you have to sign this NDA where you can't say anything. So if those conditions are shitty, you can't say anything. So that's why these cycles perpetuate. Uh, but with indie games, like, yeah, like, I, I've, like, talked to people who've founded their own indie studios, and it's like, they still ultimately end up in crunch, and there is no, like, I don't know, it seems like it's, video games are just a really fucking tough business. But now, yeah. that, now that the conversation's happening on Twitter, people are sharing their stories. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm still going to play Red Dead 2 because it looks tight, like... That's the bottom line. I'm yeah. not gonna play Assassin's Creed Odyssey or whatever the new one's called because I don't really care about that. But exactly, like I I want to play the yep. new Red Dead and yep. and that's I'm interested in that. Yeah, I think it's also difficult because for a film, say a, if a shoot is nightmarish, six months, a year, yeah, then you're done. Next project, a video game, six years. Yeah, and earlier yeah. on in the chat, somebody mentioned yeah. something about like. Oh, you know, they they delay their games to make sure that it's just right, and then they're having their, their workers do this. And I understand what you're saying. Like, yeah, there's definitely a, a disparity, like, it's disparity between what you're fucking. saying and what you're doing when uh, when when that's what's Ow! going on. But, uh, but sometimes there are also external deadlines that you have to meet. Like, they probably push it back as far as they possibly could to make sure everything was up and running. Because if day one shit's broken, the reviews are only gonna focus on all the yeah. broken shit instead of all the of the decades of work. Yeah, yeah, all of these like great little nuances, all of the little bits oh, of like one of these monkeys give me health. Fuck detail that are in this game. Like one of the things that I remembered seeing was uh, I know somebody who's like really this died. really knowledgeable about horses, oh, and they talked about like a horse maneuver that that one of the one of the videos of the horse galloping did yeah and they said like that is 100 percent exactly by the book 
how you do whatever the name of that maneuver is. Yeah. And the fact that they the took the time flip. to put the that, flip. yeah, the horse flip, the uh, they get in there. The fact that that they took that time to have that detail in there. Oh, is, yeah. I haven't is been using great. Red Dead mode. Oh, That's yeah. why I forgot what fucking game I'm playing. All right, we're gonna do better from now on. I well, forgot. you got health, so you're fine. I now. forgot what I was playing. Oh my god. Can you? Um, oh, engage. Engage. Pick up an engage. Is there anything to shoot? All right, we're gonna win. I, I wasn't using. No, I think we're good. Okay. I wasn't using Red Dead mode. Um, god damn it! I just had a revelation about Red Dead mode. I forgot what else was. Yeah. Supposed to say. Oh, the other thing too. Uh, be, uh, releasing the game perfectly. Multiplayer isn't going to be in the game at launch. They're holding that off until November. Good. Which is like, yeah, it's smart. Make people play your game. Yeah, like, yeah. especially a game that's narrative based. Like, I love GTA Online. Yeah. I know you didn't play much of it. No, because but... that was a rough issue where I was dying to play it, and then it came out and it was broken for weeks. Yeah. Oh, 29 oh, thank double. You. Thank you so much for cheering. Also, I forgot to shout out, I think the Gulch or the Glitch earlier donated five bits. Any bit amount. Perfect. Thank, thank you so you. much for the bits. Um, oh, shout out. Tina's in the chat. Tina's in the chat. Real fast, we have to say, I want all the big dogs to congratulate. Tina got engaged to the brown man. Tina, what, what do you say when people get engaged? Congra congratulations, congratulations to you. you. Wait, are we going to get copyright? Oh, I'm changing the words. Congratulations to, to you. you. Congratulations, congratulations, Tina and brown man. man. Congratulations, Jared Thor bonds for you. Cheap ass games. All right. That's nice. Congrats, Tina. Congrats. Wow. We got so, we got a newlywed in the chat. You know, people fall in <laughs> love because engaged. of the big weds. Yeah. <laughs> newly. Uh, yeah, you know, just the, the big good. weds. <laughs> the big weds. <laughs> Hell yeah. Have the big dogs perform at your wedding. Yeah, that's true. We'll do oh, a game stream live perfect. from your yeah. wedding. Yeah. I'll do a Blink One Eight Two cover. Dude, stuff. that'd be great. Higher Blink. Brown Man's probably big enough to get like, not Tom DeLonge. He's too big, but he can get like the Mark Hoppus. You Blink know what? I I bet you, he could probably get. Full on Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, brown, yeah. Brown man, yeah. He can be the one that unites them back together. Dude, how do I fucking reload? All right. This game sucks. No, it's great. All right, let's keep going. Do they like really not play together anymore? No. Oh, do you want to know the? Do you want to know the full history? Absolutely. Of that? Okay. So. Do I want to know the full history of Blink One Eighty Two? Mark Mark Hoppus and Tom DeLonge met in high school. They became fast friends. They shared a juvenile sense of humor and a love of skateboarding and punk music. They played shows. Blah 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 blah. Travis Barker joined the band. Wow, Dude Ranch is phenomenal. Blah 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 blah. And with the uh, and with the state or no, take off your pants and jackets. Phenomenal. Blah 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 blah. Uh, and then after uh, after the success of Enema of the State and Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, they were doing world tours again. These were just people five years ago who were fucking punk teenage skateboarders in San Diego. All of a sudden they're doing world tours and having to sing every night! So Tom's voice was getting wrecked, his back pain from playing guitar. They were just exhausted. Again, when you become a fucking multi-millionaire, uh, you know, internationally successful touring band, just like the Beatles, bigger than the Beatles, I would even say, Probably, uh, yeah. you get exhausted. So Tom DeLong was just fucking exhausted of the band and, like, was sick of it. Kind of wanted to gravitate towards his own stuff and wanted some time off for medication because he spent time with his family, all, all that usual stuff. Um, during his kind of hiatus, he wrote some music that was personal, and he wasn't sure that, like, he was going to be able to, like, have Mark sign off on it. He just wanted to do his own thing. So he recorded Boxcar Racer with himself, and he needed a good drummer, so he got Travis Barker. So Boxcar Racer was essentially a Blink-182 album without Mark Hoppus, and Mark Hoppus was like, dude, and then Tom DeLonge was like, dude, and then Mark Hoppus was like, dude, and then they kind of broke up for a bit. I'm going to die. Shit. Yeah. Uh, no, fuck. That's all right. The story of Blink-22 will continue. We'll restart. Um, and so they kind of had this weird beat, but then they got back together for the Blink-22 album. Uh, they put that out, and it was... This, yeah, uh, yeah. Tina's on the same page. Boxcar Racer is sick. Uh, but, oh, this is how you're supposed to play the mission again as a top fragger. Um, so Blink-22 came back, and it was, like, very emo and, like... I wasn't a big fan. That's the like feeling this miss you album. Yeah. Ironically, that was like their that, that was so that main. Was, like their most. Yeah, it was very successful, but it wasn't that like skateboard trash punk that I love. Yeah. But it was still good. Uh, but that's kind of when it was like, all right, I'm done with this band. But again, they they kept going up, whatever, blah blah. blah. Uh, eventually, they break up, um, and then uh, they still want to make music and they still want to play perform Blink One Eighty Two songs. So Mark Hoppus did Plus Forty Four and Tom DeLonge did Angels and Airwaves and they performed their own shit. Uh, and then around 2009, after Travis Barker was in Jump this... Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. After, um... <laughs> Tina Dayton quoting me, Blink went mainstream. That's true, dude. They fucking they sold did. out with Blink-182, dude. I was waiting to the underground shit, you know, back when they were in American Pie, uh, all that stuff. Oh, man. Well, that did work. <laughs> all right. Okay, we're going back. Yeah, I figured out how to play this game now. Um, 
Again, it's been like two weeks since I played it. Yeah, really. And so after Travis Bark was in a, a plane fire, also I have 182 bullets. So I just noticed uh, when he was in a plane fire. Oh, duo, oh, don't join the big dogs. Thank, Thank you, you so much for uh, joining the Blink 182 history lesson. Um, do a dunk, you're now part of history. Okay, so, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, so, after Travis Barker almost died, he was like, dudes, let's get back together one more time. Alright, dude, and then they went on a, another tour, uh, they played with the Aquabats, which is cool, I saw them live a bunch. I think Tina also saw them in that, like, reunion tour. Yeah. They put on a new album, like, Neighborhoods, which I didn't care for, whatever. Uh, and then that album wasn't received well, and they were like, you know what, dude, fuck this. And then they just went their separate ways again. Uh, Tom DeLonge quit. Uh, so he could pursue his alien shit, which is to the stars, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get on, get on this fucking train. Uh, and then, um, Mark Hoppus and Travis still want to play music, so they hired Matt Skiba from Alkaline Trio, and now that wow. is Blink-182, but, it, you can't be Blink-182 without Tom DeLonge, but they still play, but to me it's just a cover band. But they have a residency in Las Vegas. Really? Um, yeah, which is kind of neat, and they're playing Party Song Live, but again, it's not Tom DeLonge, but also, Tom DeLonge isn't Tom DeLonge anymore, in the sense that... When he sings Blink-22, he fucked up his juvenile voice by doing so many shows. Because oh. when he would sing, he would sing so high, but after years of doing this, his vocal cords got messed up. You know, and that's how he sounds live. No offense. But it's just like, no, it's, that's gone. That yeah. early Blink shit's gone. Oh, I have to you were yeah, you were supposed to I'm attach. so heated in this Blink-22 discussion. No, but honestly, no, I know. It, yeah, yeah. It, like, yeah. people maybe don't know. Yeah. I didn't know any of this. Like, it's That's yeah. kind of like a, a troubled kind of career for Blink-182. Like, yeah. you think of them as this great, positive And they met band. as friend. Yeah, friend. And, and again, it's it's not that heated. No violent. Like, there's no, no deaths in the band. Like, But it's still just like, oh, yeah, like, they just got fucked with the oh, God. stupid bullshit thing. Oh, no! My fucking horse should have come rockets. On, come on, come on. Ah! Okay, we're gonna get this so fast. So fast. If we had mud to throw our hat into, gosh darn, darn it! Dang, nab it. Alright, we're gonna get faster. Just like Tom Cruise and Live, Die, Repeat. I already I already forget whatever the fuck the original title of that movie was. Which one? Oh, so, Let Love and Kill. What, what the hell's the name of that book? Okay, so there's a Tom Cruise sci-fi film, Edge of Tomorrow, which was oh. excellent. That was a really fun genre film. They released it as Edge of Tomorrow, and it didn't make a lot of money. So when it was released on Blu-ray, they changed the name of it to, like, Live, Die, Repeat, which was oh. the original poster tagline for the movie. Yeah, and, I remember that. And, like, but... The title of the book, it was a Japanese book it was based on, was called All You Need Is Kill, which is such a cool title. Yeah. Um, so that move, that fucking Tom Cruise movie has three titles. All You Need Is Kill, Edge of Tomorrow, and Live, Die, Repeat. Wow. But it's a great it's a great movie because the whole thing, it's like playing a video game. That's you, like... You, you do it like... It starts, you get killed by aliens. All right, respawn, try again. Like, I, it's such oh, a... Oh, really? It's a really fun movie that is basically what playing a video game is like. It's it a is. really, really good movie. Uh, but yeah, they, they just fucked up the marketing. But they're making a sequel, so... Hell yeah. With Tom Cruise? Yep, of course, yeah. So, there's a little Tom Cruise. You know, we went from Tom Cruise to Tom DeLong. A little bit of risky business trying to get on this horse. Yep. Be there careful of the gunner down there when you jump down. Oh, wow. A lot of Mark Hoppus fans in the chat. Wow. Again, but again, that what's excellent about Blink-182 is it wasn't just Mark Hoppus. It wasn't just Tra it wasn't just Tom DeLong. It was both of them. The fact that they could switch off, you get like... I think there's health behind Yeah, I, like, I don't know, like... You get the Tom being emo, Mark being sensitive. I don't know, you just get all of it. Yeah. But when it's just one of them, it's like, it's not, again, I'm sure it's why people... A hundred percent. Yeah, like, I don't, honestly don't care about the Beatles, but I'm sure it's the same thing, where it's like, people like the magic of Paul and John together, just like how I like Mark and Tom. Like, Blink-22 Blink is my Beatles. Uh, I mean, all in, in all sincerity. Like, oh, of course. You know, like, that's just what it is. But again, it's still fun music. Like, you can listen to those, like, or, like those great three albums, like I do constantly, like... It's all good. Like, there's nothing that was lost. It was like, yeah, they made some good music together. That's it. I, I follow Tom Blong on Instagram. He's great. He posts about aliens. Like, yeah, he man. lives in he San believes. Diego. Yeah, he lives in San Diego, so all his Instagram stories are just him at the Padres, like, 10 minutes away from us. Yeah, for uh, real. It's really cool. But yeah. Like, he spends a lot of time around this area. Oh, yeah. And also, he rides a motorcycle. So anytime I see a motorcyclist in, on the San Diego freeway, I'm like, you're, you're going to see him one day. Oh, I, well, we've already seen him at Comic Con, like, 2010. He walked by the Mega 64 booth. Oh. Yeah. Did, were you there the one year that Gary Delabate walked by the Mega no. 64 booth when Sean wasn't there? Tyler! Oh, Tyler on the Ninja joined, joined the big the gift, dogs. The king of the gifts. The Woo! inventor The inventor of the, the gift himself. Yeah. Tyler on the Tyler Ninja. Tyler the Ninja. Shouts out. Follow him on his yeah. social media of the hey, same name. Hey, Tina, you, I feel like... Don't get knocked off your horse, god okay. damn it. Okay, T I feel like Brown Man is big enough that they could probably reach out to Blink-182, Mark Hoppus, and be like, Hey, Mark, you want to be on a Twitch stream? All right, dude, dude you know? Tina, dude. I bet you can make it happen. I bet Tina. you can make it happen. 
Invite them to game days if you become their friends. Yeah. And don't forget your bullet time or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's called bullets. Game. It's called Matrix mode. <laughs> All right. The Cowboys invented Matrix mode. Aliens in the chat. I like that. Yeah. Post some alien emojis. Shout uh, out. What, there's that link. The get get emoji. We're posting yeah. emojis in the chat. All right. We need some emojis to stay on this horse. I am not gonna get knocked off the horse again. You know what? It's those uh, tabernacles up there. Those barnacle heads up there. I'm gonna shoot them off. Is maybe that's my friend. Yeah, that's, hey, that's your home. I right. haven't been listening to any of the dialogue of oh, the game. No. I know what I'm supposed to do now. Yeah. Where's my horse? Fuck you, fuck you. Okay, I'm supposed to get on this. Oh, Blink182 has tweeted Ray twice. Wow. And I bet I'm supposed died. to get on this. Oh, just get on here! Can I not get on here? Because I imagine I'm supposed to jump on this. Yep. And then, see, okay, Gatling gun. it took ten tries to do it. Okay. Can I, can I, can I do uh, this, please? Yeah. What you know is what? Happening? All right. Oh, okay, good. Goodbye, partner. Can I get, use my gun? There you go. All right, there you go. we're doing it. This F is them it. up. Big dogs, in effect. Took me twenty tries to get this and finally figured it out. Just shoot for the, shoot for the horse. I like the music Shoot for the part. sky. Awesome. Ooh, yeah. What the fuck was that crackling? Oh, I thought that was, like, a subscription email. Uh... Oh, he can shoot up the train and everything. Oh, this is... Wow, what yeah. an incredible thing. Fuck him up. Yeah, light him up. Do you think they're going to throw in a uh, Back to the Future reference here? Oh, you get it. Once this train goes 88 miles per hour, of course. Let's do that. Yeah, we went from playing uh, Red Dead Revolver, and now we're playing uh, the Nerd Odyssey. What's that, what's that fucking book called? Hitchhiker's Guide to the No, Galaxy? what's the thing where the kid's in the VR helmet? Oh, uh, Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Yeah, that's, that's it. I think you have to hit where that smoke is coming out on the uh, okay. side. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, now you just go barrel deep. Alright, let's do it. We're blowing it up. Yeah. Um, what the what fuck happened? is happening? Why did you get off the train? Control, okay. Okay, the, ga the game did that. Oh, okay. Jesus, thank oh, my you for god. all the emojis. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got I, through it. We got through the hardest level in the video game. Woo! With a little bonus, uh, with a little bonus video game history lesson. Shots out. We that? have 61 people Whoa, here. Whoa, the passive. All right, partner. Pacificator. That looks tight. Let's do that. Shouts out to all 61 of you Boom. viewing us right 61 now. 61 oh big dogs in the chat. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Boom. All right, CJ. Let's do it. Hell Where's my yeah. banana? I don't know. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right in front of you. Where? Oh. Dude, this is a neon room. I can't see anything. Yeah, it makes everything look weird. You can't see it because we got a white light on us. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, shit. Don't forget, you also have cover. Oh. Like, you can get behind cover, I think. John Wayne didn't need cover. Have you seen The Searchers? He didn't even gotten to no cover. What, what was that one movie he did? Uh... Oh, I thought that was The Boss. I was like, man, I already killed him. Not Hickok. What's it, what's it called? Hickok? Bullock. Bullock? No, I forget. There's... Hancock. No, there's a movie he did where it's just, the, like, a first name. That's cool. I haven't seen many John Wayne films. Yeah, it's... It's not good. Okay. John, John, I don't know. I never thought John Wayne was that no, great. I don't care about like traditional American westerns. I love spaghetti though. All right, how the fuck? All right. Black. Oh, let's see. What is going on? Where's Diego? I think he's inside the train. How do I get inside the train? What the fuck? I'm gonna go behind the train. Oh. Oh, Frank. Nope. Frank hacks. McClintock. Yeah. Clint, Clint, That's the name of the movie that the John Wayne movie I'm thinking of. There you go. Nope, can't climb up that side. What a stupid ass. What a stupid Maybe ass. You gotta game. mess these dudes up. Yeah, shoot, shoot them up. Shoot them to hell. Shoot them up. Shoot them up. Fuck. Good aim. Good. Oh, there we go. What up, dog? I had. Oh, no! Oh! That was the sequence, though. I shot his friends and then he peeked out. Just let me use my bullet time. Oh, I had no bullet time. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. Shoot up these regular homies. Is this Diego himself? No. Shoot up the regular homies when he peeks no, out. He's in there, yeah. Now I'll get him. Great. Okay, we got the sequence. Okay, cool. So build up bullet time by shooting these regular guys. When he comes out, shoot him up. Oh, nice shot, dude. You got him one hit kill. All right. Now get the guy here. Save your bullet time for when he pops out. Yeah, you got it. How do you sting us? No! Alright. wonder how many times he pops out. 
didn't even need bullet time. Just oh, no. don't even necessarily need it. Just keep yeah. moving, easy. Oh, Scarface quote. Oh, God, I love the Scar. Dude, dude, they just quoted Vice City. Wow. It's impossible. It didn't happen yet. Yeah, damn. Tommy Versetti, his grandpa wasn't even born yet. Yeah, this is uh, Donald Love. Oh my God, you're listening to Love Media. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Easy shit, easy shit. There you go. Thailand the Ninja says Olive Garden makes affordable westerns. Oh, yeah. I bet, I bet. Endless soup and salad, dude. Oh, yeah. Minestrone soup. What let's have the... an Olive Garden meetup. Yeah, let's, I'm down for that. Who has, does anyone have a coupon? If anyone wants to pay, if anyone wants to pay, I'll go to all, yeah. Yeah. Let's invite me out. If you want to invite me out to San... If you want to invite me out to Olive Garden and you live in, like, Southern California, hit me up. Take me out to Olive Garden. It'll be, you know... There's like Kickstarters where it's like, oh, you donate this much, you get a dinner yeah. or whatever. Hey, just just message me. Let's go to Olive Garden. That'll be perfect. <laughs> this sounds like an episode of The Deuce. There you go. <laughs> our, our apartment's gonna become fucking uh, risky business here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? The, the second round of the boss fight? All right, here we go. He's like playing Fantasia on PS2 over there, lining up fireworks. All right, don't get too close. This is all right. Don't meet your hero. Sorry, Diego. <laughs> don't meet your hero. Get away! Oh, you got him. He's out. He's out cold. We got him. We got him. Shots out. All right. He's blasted. A little Dara Thorbons in the chat. Our most recent bitter 29th double. Thank you so much. Booyah. Whiskey women. Whiskey business. <laughs> How come there hasn't been a Western called Whiskey Business? Oh, we should make it. Whiskey business. Whoa! Whiskey business. I'm so proud of that. Whiskey business. That'd be a good, like... One through the eye. Game. Wow, yikes. Whoa. Yikes. All right, uh, don't look at... The oh, yeah, three minutes, perfect. Excellent. It, 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 it didn't say how much the other mission took. All right, that's totally cool. We got and Daniel we still got Diego. top score, man. Top score, dude. Top score for some top fraggers. Top fraggers perfect. in the room right now. Boom. All the big dogs. We got 65 viewers. That's... What a wow. phenomenal. Broke, broke the records. That was such a long mission, but we did it. Yeah. Well, hey, nothing's going to be worse than Pig Josh. Pig Josh. I, I, anyone who watched the first stream of this knows Pig Josh. Ooh, I like the Halloween emojis. I like all kinds Ooh, of emojis. Ooh, I know, right? Steffi B from Chicago's in here. Thanks so much. What up? So I got Ryan and everyone. Got all the big dogs. All the big dogs. I like that guy's swag. Yeah, look at, look at those pinstripes. Ooh, is the Battle Royale happening? I think so. I truly do. Oh, this is so good. I believe you are somewhat acquainted with... Miss Stokes. Miss Stokes. Somewhat acquainted. What's his implication? Mm, mm. I do declare. I like when he played her mission. That was cool. That boy good. That boy. Was cool. That boy. That guy looks like the Undertaker. <laughs> Dead man walking. He just he just wrestled a l fucking miserable match at the Super Showdown. Really? In um, Australia. They were the main event. And uh, it was him versus Triple H last time ever, is what mm -hmm. they called it. Um, which they immediately, like, negated because... It was that bad? No, because at the end of the match, they pretended to be, like, all chummy. And then uh -huh. Undertaker and Kane jumped Triple H and HBK. It was just... It was a match that was good for five minutes, but then they made it 12. Mm -hmm. Seems just too long. To Alright, we gotta get the bathtub kisses. That's where you get all this stuff. What's but, this guy? I do have to say... I do declare. WWE has been filling gigantic stadiums in international grounds. Like, huge. Like, those were in the cricket grounds in, wow. in Melbourne. And they just did, uh, a few months back, they did a huge show in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. I don't know if they're gonna do the next one they've been planning because of the shit that's going down there. But, uh... Yeah, it's... Where's the whorehouse? Is it here? They're definitely making huge moves. I think it'll be pretty clear which one's the whorehouse, right? It'll be, a, it'll be, a, it'll be a, the one with the it'll, line out the door. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is good. It'll probably be behind the saloon. Behind the saloon. We're getting it. What the fuck? All right. We're going to go to... Oh, there is Undertaker's entrance right here. Oh, Dr. Buttgo says, Fun fact in Redemption, if you sit down at a campfire with other people, they'll start telling stories about the different chapters in the game. Oh, that's cool. I, and I remember those stories, and I didn't know they were from here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well... Duo they, Dunk says Triple H got bodied. Triple H has always been bodied. It was bodied, man. I think it, like... 
I don't know how to describe it. I, but I, the first time I ever heard it was in that Beyonce song, Get Them Body. Or was that Destiny's Child? Guys, I think the whorehouse legitimately is out of business. I'm Shit! So sad. I'm so no, sad. No, there's no western. Dang it, dude. Can't get to the whorehouse. Whatever, let's just start this battle royale. Let's get it over with. Where's the little newspaper boy? Alright, we're gonna get this going. Yeehaw. <laughs> I love these voices. He looks like an anime character. He's, he's cute. Alright. Oh yeah, Battle Royale. Getting bodied is when somebody gets utterly destroyed in something they're competing at. So yeah. Oh. But he didn't get bodied. He like... He got tired, and then Undertaker got tired. Hotel. Nobody can see. Pawn shop. Whatever. I wanted to go to the bat. Okay, the other thing too, yeah, there's no markers in this game. I don't know how to start the mission. We'll just keep talking to every little partner. Look at this guy's face. Cute. It's like Christoph. Christoph Waltz. That's like a little boy Christoph Waltz. It's the same kind of ratty. Like, mmm. Mm. All right, let me just let me just go. Let's start the next mission. All right, okay. Let's talk to Dan Day Lewis. Well, I'll prove to him it takes yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fight you in the battle royale. Whatever, whatever, dude. Oh, it's you. Well, don't get in my way. Yeah, we're all. Everyone's ready for the new battle royale. The Red Dead was ahead of this years around. Everyone knows. What, per what perfect timing to play this. Call of Duty's got a battle royale now. Red Dead's got a battle royale. It's always had one. Always had one. It's a fucking kid, I wanna to talk to you. Did we watch Halloween three after our last Big Dog stream? No, I think we just watched it. Did, did we talk did yeah. we talk about it on the Big Dogs yet? We have not talked there's lots to talk about in the Big Dogs. Oh my god. We talked yeah. that, that, mo that, that movie was, that was pre Montreal vacation. Yeah. That's how long ago this was. I need to find out how to fucking start this mission. Oh, I'm going crazy. Duo Dunk says Halloween three is my favorite Halloween, not gonna lie. Uh I didn't know the gimmick going into oh, it. I, I, that's still like insane to me. I didn't. I I've heard of it, but I didn't realize it was that one mm -hmm. until I was like halfway through the movie, and I'm like, "Is this the one Sheriff. that like doesn't have any mention, like really any mention of regular Halloween?" And it is, but it's it's fun and it's hokey, and it's a great movie for Halloween. Watch it with a group of people. Yeah, I like because Rocco talked about it like a year or two ago on the podcast. But then yeah, I finally watched it, and I just I summed it up on my like, letterbox that like yeah, it's like a Twilight Zone episode. It's, yeah, but it's very '80s. It's campy. It's a B movie, a great B movie. But yeah, it's a fun movie to watch with friends. It's super cheesy. Uh, it's got like aliens and robots, and it's like yeah. it also has a plot about like killing children, which is amazing. Yeah, uh, it's good. It's very cheesy. But yeah, it's very very cool. And then yeah, Killer DS is pointing out just like Death Wish, like Charles Bronson, the main character Tom Atkins is like. In his 60s, there are 50s, and he's hooking up with like a 20 year old girl. And it's like, what what the? Like, immediately. And it's like, oh my god. Yeah. It's like, there you go. Go, Grandpa. Oh, yeah, cool movie. Go, Grandpa. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for Thursday night. I'm going to see uh, Danny McBride's Halloween. I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. All right, let's, uh, and then let's do it. Definitely this week, I know you, you talked a lot about uh, First Man. Oh, yeah. And I and I definitely want to see that. Yeah. Um, I was going to see it today, but then I heard that the IMAX showing actually has, like, specific scenes shot for IMAX that are only in the IMAX version. So now I have to make an IMAX showing. Yeah. You know, I like, saw it in IMAX. I loved it. Um, whatever. Everyone knows how to play a Battle Royale. But yeah, I talked about this on the Mega Store podcast too, but the way it's shot, the whole thing with First Man, it's by Damien Chazelle who made La La Land, Whiplash. All his films are narratives about obsessive like achievers, people who will sacrifice anything to like achieve their dream. And in this one, Ryan Gosling, sorry, Neil Armstrong, uh, in the movie's about sending Ryan Gosling to the moon. Um, oh, this is cool. Uh, so Neil Armstrong has to sacrifice, like, his family balance and also, like, his co-workers as they keep dying on these test runs. Uh, it's really fascinating, but yeah, it's just about that, like, achievement. Uh, and it's really cool because it has all these handheld, it's like, small family moments, and that's shot in 16mm film to give it, like, a very home uh, movies vibe. And then all this stuff at NASA nice. shot 35 millimeter, and then when they finally go to the moon, it's in super full screen like IMAX. Uh, but yeah, it's a Damien Chazelle film. It's great. He didn't write it. Uh, the Oscar-winning screenwriter for Spotlight wrote it. Oh. But so it's not as like personal. Like like La La Land and Whiplash is still kind of a small film. 
Um, but First Man, it's still very much a Damien Chazelle film. It's produced by Spielberg. It's really good. Yeah, I uh, I really like First Man. And it's funny because it opened third in the box office. Venom and A Star is Born, uh, and for the second week in a row, uh, were like the top two movies of the box office. But it's an awards film. Whenever it gets nominated for a ton of Oscars, it'll still be in theaters. It'll still make money. Yeah. But yeah, see First Man. It's very good. Definitely. I'm 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 really excited to see that, and especially in IMAX. Oh, knowing yeah. knowing that there are scenes that are only in the IMAX version, oh, yeah. I always want well, to see. That's, the that was just cut. like with like Tarantino doing the uh, the, the Rose Show version of, of uh, Hateful Eight, which is great. Yeah. Um, really? And then I I rewatched La La Land. It's great. It's it's oh, yeah. it's still just excellent. Like the one the one problem I have with that movie is Emma Stone's character is like. The kind of the old school of thought when it comes to like achieving your dream of just like I'm an actress. She waits too like in the film she makes it, but the whole thing of like cast me, cast me, cast me, make your own shit. Yeah, and that's eventually what she learned by doing a one act play. But it's just like that's how you have to do. That's what we have to do now. Write your own shit and then act in it. Exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great. It's fucking great. I love all that. Super cool. Yeah, I still need to watch that. It's it's been been a long have you never overdue. seen have you never seen long land it's long overdue holy yeah. fuck it's so good i think i fuck this yeah. i finally died i think i still have the file on my computer uh, yeah it's excellent oh it's maybe excellent. maybe i'll watch it tonight i love it's dude put it on i always have the music playing it's yeah yeah you, you had it playing before this oh, i had good. i had the soundtrack to the phantom uh thread oh, playing yeah. before this uh i watched that this morning yeah you have a little little, little, little storybook oh shit. yeah um so I, I started watching it last night, and then uh, I was just exhausted, so I fell asleep. But when I woke up, Frank had reminded me that he went to a similar presentation that uh, this well, whatever keep going that a Hateful Eight did, where they did a seventy millimeter road show. Mm -hmm. And if they ever do that, oh Audrey's here. Good night. Good night. If if uh, they ever do a road show in your town, I suggest going. It's a really cool experience that captures an old way of viewing movies that we don't do anymore. Yeah. And it's worth the novelty if you're if if, if you're I'll a collector of experiences. Yeah. So this book is really awesome. It just has like all of these great pieces from this movie, and like Paul Thomas Anderson has got to be this generation's best artistic director. Well, yeah, like, again, for context, people haven't seen it, because the chat's still talking about Halloween. That's cool. Uh, but, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson directed Boogie Nights, Magnolia, There Will Be Blood, which is, like, one of the greatest American films ever made. Uh, and then, yeah, he released a small film a year ago, two years ago, called The Fan Thread. Uh, yeah, which is great, and a lot of people slept on it. Uh, it's excellent, and, uh, Fuck, whatever. I'll, I'll stop talking on, next time. It's on HBO. It's on HBO now. Uh, but yeah, Phantom Thread's great. I want. I feel like a lot of people saw it, but uh, yeah, Brian finally saw it. Yeah. And yeah, what'd you think? What's, I, what's I it about? I loved it. Uh, honestly, it's I need like... I that second shot. That's it. It's a, it's a really hard movie to describe what it's about it, like in, in, in such a succinct order, but basically it's like a very unique uh, love story, but not in a traditional sort of way. It's, it's really lighthearted, Compared to most of you the, oh, he got him. Gushers. Compared to uh, P.T. Anderson's yeah. other movies, a small wave scrambling. It's about an obsessive dressmaker who falls in love with a girl and yeah. becomes obsessed with her and kind of like captures her in her house to be his like product and lover. And then it, the tides turn when he gets sick and she starts nurturing him. And then the dynamic of the relationship change. And it's very like demented and personal. Yeah. And, like, funny it's a satire on like love and what it means to be an obsessive creative yeah so same shit if you like whiplash it's that same kind of like do or die mentality it's probably uh right, paul now's thomas my fucking bath time <laughs> it's probably paul thomas anderson's paul, Pacha, um Pacha. like sweetest movie uh -huh. like it's it's definitely got the most heart uh -huh. and it's probably his most like beautiful yeah all of his other movies are very intense oh yeah he captures a very intense movie uh -huh. like boogie nights yeah um even <laughs> <laughs> Even in Punch Drunk Love, uh -huh. like, they're all super intense. I never saw Inherent Vice. Oh, um, that's good. But, like, with this movie, yeah. I felt like it was like watching a painting unfold. Oh, yeah, I bet. Um, and, and I really appreciated the music out of this movie more than any of his other movies. And, again, Johnny Greenwood from, uh, from Radiohead. Can you take her up to the bathroom? Let's, I don't know, let's see. Do not just fucking... What? Tor tornadoes. Is that what the, uh... What is the sounds of snoring? Tornadoes. Tornadoes. But yeah, absolutely. I've been thinking about it all day. If you if you have not seen it yet, like this movie is You will win tomorrow. It's so beautiful. It's like colorful. It's it's intense. I loved it. I, I was really happy with uh with the movie. 
All right, let's uh. That won the battle royale. That was that one battle royale. One hundred versus one. That was just one on one shit. Easy shit. Easy shit. Mm -hmm. So you beat Spider Man. You finally beat Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had time to play anything other than the games I've been streaming. Uh, so I'll play it eventually. But so as a fan, you, you, we've probably talked about Spider Man today. We don't have to linger too long on it. But you like it? Yeah. Uh, Spider Man, man. Would <laughs> That's funny. Spider-Man was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, really enjoyed what Insomniac does with their games being implemented in such a heartfelt way. The story of Spider-Man is what made it so much fun. Just like I was saying before, like Shadows of Mordor, where they captured the um, the feel of the world and the climate and everything about the actual, you know, environment of being there, they did that in Spider-Man. Mm. Uh, they captured Marvel's New York really, really oh, well, cool. uh, and and they made a map that was fun to get around. Where I know some people who never used the fast travel, yeah, because it was just so much more fun to web sling and go around, and it was really manageable. Uh, I, I'm really happy. I, I beat it, like, almost 100%. There you go. But, uh, there are a couple of things that I need to do. I'm just gonna wait, because, uh, they're, like, time-related. But, uh, I, I'm really excited for the DLC. Once that all comes out... Oh, what's the DLC gonna be? It, it's, a it's three separate releases over the next couple of uh, months, and I think into December. But, basically, it's, like, another story arc. Oh, very Kind of cool. like what oh, they did comic. with First Light. Yeah, very cool. So I'm waiting until that all comes out, and I'll get that at the end. Oh, yeah. Very, very happy with it. All the collecting, all of the um, all of the tokens, everything meant something. Mm -hmm. So it was fun to actually go through and collect. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, now, now we're taking him down. What have... I know there's Red Dead coming out, but people in the chat, the big dogs, what have people been playing? What, oh, yeah. I know there was new Assassin's Creed. Uh, I got both playing Marvel up a bit on my flight to Montreal. What have been people been playing in the chat? This is the time for the big dogs to rise up. Is anyone playing? Oh, oh. Access Julian. Thank you so much, Access Julian. Thank you. Thank you for the 280 bitty bitties. Thank you. Oh! Black Ops 4. Yeah, fuck. Ooh, Overwatch's missed with COD. That's interesting. Let it die. Oh, XCOM 2 DLC. Red Dog Redemption. Nice. Wow, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Jones. Network. Ooh, that's good. Super Mario RPG. Oh, I want to play that so bad. Mega Man 11. That's right. That came out. Celeste and Stardew Valley. I, I bought Celeste. I haven't played it yet. Boom. Playing with Thug. Oh, Rohan. I love you. Nice. Oh, yeah. Shim U2. Oh, that's right. Visage, I've heard, is good, but I haven't oh, gotten wow. around World to playing release. it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got... We'll keep reading off oh, the yeah, games. So, what are people playing? Uh, starting with see. that, what Steffi B? What starting with us? Uh, Steffi B. AC Origins because I had no time. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, for horror. Uh, for honor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For honor. For <laughs> they have a new five. expansion. Pokemon. It's not Super Mario World. Laser League. That just came out on PlayStation Plus. Check that out. Oh, I need to get uh, Destiny game. got I think an expansion as well. Got to reset. Um, that's fine. just finished the Inpatient. Inpatient. Oh Ooh. wow. And the PSVR prequel to Until Dawn. Yeah. Uh, I set up. Uh, PSVR over the weekend oh, to try to play some of uh, Resident Evil Zero or uh, Resident this Evil Seven. Sucks. Uh, I thought the game itself was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, then I quickly found out that the whole game is going to be constantly running away from being in pursuit, and I'm just not in the mood for that yeah. right now. Uh, but the VR, everything was really cool. I was just really impressed with uh, the fact that the technology is there. Mm -hmm. uh, other people have been playing Sam's Star Thor. Star Tropics on the fucking NES. Um, is anybody gonna get that new Pokemon that's coming I have no out? Interest. Fuck! If it's like a legit kind of Pokemon game, that's the thing. It doesn't sound. It hasn't yeah. been communicated or marketed to me. It seems like some bullshit add-on. I have no been, idea what that is. And it hasn't been communicated at all what it's really gonna be. Yeah. Uh, Pest TV says, "Remember the herbs?" Die. Yes, I remember the fucking herbs. That shit was awful. I remember playing The Sims on my DS. Original DS. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that that was. All right, here we go. That was some shit. Like, what the fuck? Where's the first shot? Is there, are they all supposed to be on the head? We'll see. Feel free to look up. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. You just scroll the app further on that IGN wiki. Oh, it'll be on the next next set. All right, we're gonna keep it going. Doctor Perky's here. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, Ryan, Ryan says you should play Batman Arkham VR. He drew first. I, I have that, so you can play it. I, I will. I, I, plan, okay. I plan on doing that. Um, what, I, what I really set it up for was... Uh, oh, did I go too far? Yeah. What I really set it up for was the Tetris Effect game. That's Oh, hit retry. Yeah, thank holy shit. 
Oh, there's probably one more up. We have a three-time winner and oh, three shit. champion. Oh, shit. Whatever. Fuck this. All right. I think it's further down. Because you already did... As soon as the sequence ends. Oh, smart. Someone say, I, I need to already be holding down the joystick when the sequence starts. Oh. Okay. I get it now. All right, just okay. it super quick. That's cool. Someone said uh, download some 360 porn and try it out. I've already tried it out. It's pretty cool, but VR is so encumbersome, shit. That like that's a fucking hassle to deal with. I don't want to go through all that work just to, you know. Ah, uh, hey, you're getting closer. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, of course I looked it up to see what the process would be, and you have to like, you have to like for the PS4, you, oh, you have, have to that. like load it to a thumb drive yeah. and then play it through a media player. Like I don't, there's a lot involved for me watching porn in VR. I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't. I yeah, don't technology need to, isn't there yet. I, I don't. I don't need to do that. That's too cumbersome. I interviewed the uh, the like tech manager of naughty america about vr porn years ago he was excited about it yeah but uh it's a hassle you know i'm not that involved with it when it comes to that just you know nice and simple i'm like this fucking boss fight you know, what the fuck is it i didn't even pull my gun out yeah shoot at kelly's legs that's why oh instead of wasting time dragging the oh stun him temporarily giving him enough time all to right put there more we go shots. see we're learning we're doing it together yeah. guys Oops. um but yeah, so, uh, really what, what, why I brought up the whole VR thing is the Tetris effect. Um, I, I watched a video of this guy, this classic Tetris player. He's never played any other Tetris but the one on the original Nintendo. And he was playing it, the regular version. First of all, he had never played another uh, system yeah. um, outside of that. So they had to teach him how to use a PS4 controller. And then once he got that figured out, he was playing it. But in the VR headset, it basically runs at 120 hertz per second, but it amplifies that Tetris effect where you zone out and you start to see, you know, Tetris blocks, even even when you're not actually playing the game. But they were saying because of that, it made his ability to play Tetris um, a lot better. Fuck. Okay, we got better. We got a shot on him. Yep. Easy. Uh, just because it allowed him to focus and that refresh rate was so much faster. So I, I, I thought that was cool and I wanted to check it out. Uh, but yeah, the, the next thing I want to really play is that Batman Arkham VR. That one's actually cool. I haven't played many VR games, but I actually did enjoy that. Oh, we're getting closer. We're pegging him more closer, and more. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> FB Reba, uh, Rita says, poor dude missed out on the Tetris DS. Hey, I just got that on, uh, for, for the 3DS like a couple weeks back um i've been having a lot of fun with that game playing that the, i haven't gotten into the endless mode but that's my next goal is to try to 99 line that one why the fuck does my guy miss his gun every time like it know. does it and he misses his gun we got six people asking me to shoot him in the dick we'll get there steven Spielberg, come on you you don't think we thought of that already oh fuck already missed it oh my god we're getting them we're getting them we're getting them Oh, earlier someone said they watched Wicked City because of my letterbox. Oh, nice. Yeah, I watched I watched Wicked City when I was in Montreal. Um, so again, when it comes to anime, I don't give a shit about current stuff. I care about specifically everything that was basically inspired by Akira. Everything that is violent, uh, everything that is violent, cyberpunk, neon, uh, sexual, and violent. I said violent twice, but that's the kind of anime I like, where it's adult. Oh, you fucker. What is this stuff? Hold on. I gotta focus on this. But yeah, Wicked City is super cool. It's by the guy who did Ninja Scroll. Ninja Scroll is what influenced the Wachowskis to direct action in the Matrix. In the Matrix, when stuff like floats in the air and hangs for a second, that comes from Ninja Scroll. He invented that type of action. So, Wicked City is a super crazy movie. It's about like uh, demon girls and like horny old men. It's, wow. it's fucking, it's, it's like the X-Files but with horny demon girls. Incredible, incredible. Wicked City. There's also a spider chick where she blasts webs and a laser goes through her vagina and splits her in half. Very cool. Sounds All right. cool. Sounds very cool. Alright, this sucks. All right. What the fuck? McKelly? I'm in the McKellia. Triple H vs. Undertaker. Here we go again. For the last time again. 
I mean, wrestling is just comic books. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's like nothing, nothing no, stays dead in new wrestling. Story arcs, yeah. No, but it's the same thing as anime. Like, Dragon Ball Z is professional wrestling. Totally the same sort of thing. Like, there's always this new boss that nobody can beat. Nobody can fucking pin this guy. He becomes the champion, takes over everything, and then everybody has to train real hard to be able to beat him. That's it. This is like Virtua Cop or Lethal Enforcers with all these like fucking stupid extras running oh, around. Yeah. Just kill him. Like, no, I read that you'll fail the mission if you can shoot one of them. Light him up! Two. Reload. But yeah, if, if we fail this... Oh my god. Oh, right, you can meet What the him. F was that? Little what cheater! What the hell? Little cheater! Lag. Little cheater! Lag switch! Little cheater! Alright, we gotta do the duel again. Oh my gosh. What a butthole. Alright. Don't get too close to him, because he likes to cheat! Shit. Really? All the way from here? Yeah, that's why I was, that's why I was like, very serious with this. Like, yep. Alright. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Ah, oh, that's why he's... The season of the cheaters. Oh, I want to like focus on beating this guy because I want to talk about Montreal and I want to talk about preacher. Fuck. So once we beat this, we'll get into the next yeah. section. If anyone has any quick questions in the chat, feel free. But I, I got, I got to focus down. Focus, yeah. if, hey, meet some fucking emotes. You know that oh, gets us going. God, yeah. Uh, we have a donation link too, and you can donate bits. You can uh, subscribe. We got a lot of big dogs in the chat. You can have Jared Thorbon emotes if you subscribe. Or, if you don't want to subscribe, just go to Getmoji, post some aliens, guns, cowboys, whatever you want. Emojis gets us going. We're going to beat this cheater in the chat. Not in the chat. All big dogs in the chat only. I already fucked that up. Alright. This stupid-ass cowboy. That's what his name should be. Stupid-ass cowboy. Oh, there you go. Look at all the Jared Thorbons. Lighten up. We're going to light him up. up. We're going to light him up. Jared Thorbon fills up. We'll, we'll talk about Montreal in a second. Oh, don't dude. trust me. I'll get into that. Ven Venom emotes. What the fuck was that? It messed up. Alright, reset. Venom, reset. I saw well while well, well, Frank's focusing Please, on this, I'll talk it. about go, Venom. Go I saw Venom it. over the uh over the last weekend and I really had a great time with that movie. I expected nothing out of it. I went in there thinking that it's dumb, but I like Tom Hardy, so why I not? I love Tom Hardy. And uh Tom Hardy brought something nice. Alright. Brought something really fun to it. I thought <laughs> oh god, you scared Reset me. the game. Uh, I thought they had a great dynamic between him and the uh, and the Venom character, and I just loved I loved that they had fun with that movie instead of trying to be dumb and overly serious with it. So if you have a chance to see it, you're looking for a fun movie to go on a date or with your friends, go watch Venom. It's a lot of fun. After First Man. I After see. Hey, yeah, do a double feature. Do yeah, there you go. No, if you want to watch like a a legit. I think Ryan in the chat said he liked it. Yeah, a legit fun movie. That's a great. That's a that'll be a great time. There's got to be health hidden somewhere. That's like, a good idea. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll pay money to see Venom, but I'd be down yeah. to download that. Movie uh, pass it. I like, uh, yeah, or movie pass it. But again, I'm, I'm so busy, I have no time to movie pass it, but I'll, I'll download that later. Because uh, I do like Tom Hardy, and I have no stake in that movie, so if it's bad, then I don't care. Um, but it's Tom Hardy, and I like Tom Hardy. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's still weird that they hedged their bets and made a PG-13 film as opposed to going full R. But yeah, whatever. But you know what? It didn't need to be off. Awesome. Yeah, so like, oh. like, like the way they made the movie, it, it reminded me a lot of uh, of Terminator Two. Whoa! And I mean that only in the sense of like, butthole, nice butthole, butthole. I Ryan mean that, liked it. There you go. I mean that in the sense of like, they had a fun time with the with I with the characters. There was a little bit more than just surface level bullshit, mm -hmm. and it was actually like kind of heartwarming. And there was there was like. James Cameron always talks about like a real humanism underneath yeah. all of his characters. All of his character, all of the characters in this movie, had a had a nice kind of like human feel to them. Really, really, really liked it. What did I think about the end credit scene? I thought that was uh, without getting too crazy. I thought it fit. Was, ba was it Batman? Did Batman show up? I thought that Batman showing up in the Whoa, end credits of Venom. Crazy. I couldn't believe that they did the crossover. That's nuts. Christian yeah. Bale and everything? Dude, it was Christian Bale. That's nuts. And then, and then they actually, like, the craziest part was that, like, they got Christopher Reeve. Whoa. To show up. He came up. back? Whoa, yeah, he came back him. out of retirement. There we go. We got, we killed Mr. Kelly. Uh, Booyah. I Booyah. thought, I thought the end credit scene was a lot of fun it played into what made that movie so charming which was the same thing that made the predator charming and that's it it had fun with itself it didn't try to make itself too gritty or gross it was it's like 
if you know what Venom is about, if you like Venom, the character, you're going to enjoy this movie. Yeah, I thought they did a good job staying true to him. Ooh, Witty Maker, that looks good. I'm going to bomb it that. Ooh, High Cow Rifle. Lots of good guns. If they have Batman, uh, if they have Venom fight Batman, will Bane show up and have Tom Hardy play both? Fuck. That's a good question. Well, I mean, like if if they have Venom fight Batman in this crossover, when Bane shows up. Oh, because Bane. Whoa. uh, But Bane died. Oh. Spoiler alert. What's the new ass gun I got? What's the cool ass? No, the Widowmaker was that Widow Widow Maker. Widowmaker. Widowmaker is the crazy gun. I need that one. Owl rifle, high calendar, uh, high caliber bayonet seems to be the one. Yeah, bayonet one seems good. All right, keeping it going. Yep. Oh, welcome Nitro Dubs to the chat. What welcome. up? What up? Thanks for joining us. All right, we're gonna start. Ooh yeah. Uh, Deekman says the ending credit scene was so on the nose. I think that was a hundred percent intentional for Venom. I think that that's the one thing that people who hate it don't get when they see Venom. It's yeah. like, oh god, that's so on the nose. Yeah, we did it on the nose because we are, we're trying to be funny with it. Um, Venom isn't supposed to be serious. He's suppo- It's a Todd McFarlane character. It's like Spawn. Nice. Yeah, a little trick. A little trick. Ooh. Bad trick. It's just like the Resident Evil 4 courtyard. All right. This looks fun. I'm down for this. I'll go around this way. I'm going straight in. Booyah. Don't even know what the story is. I've been talking over the whole thing. Later on, we'll have Brian read the Wikipedia story synopsis. Yep. For now, we're going to shoot him up. Oh, fuck. I protect my homies? Damn. Oh! Blow all their butts out. Alright. Two subjects I want to talk about. Um, keep it in the reign of cowboys for now. So I went to Montreal last week, which is great. I'll get into that more. But on the plane ride to Montreal, again, I'm so busy. I never have enough like free time to really sink my teeth into something. But flying to Montreal, I had like eight hours both ways. Right. So, I finally sat down and I read book one of Garth Ennis' Preacher. Um... I first got into comics because of Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, who do books like Killer Be Killed, Criminal, The Fade Out. Um, before that, I love their books because they're very violent, graphic, but very mature, full of heart, and like neo noir, just, just badass. Um, and I go to a comic book shop called Nuclear Comics, and the owner loves th- this comic team, Brubaker and Phillips. But, and, and same thing, my friend who got me into comics, he loves Brubaker and Phillips, but he loves Preacher. Uh, and the comic book shop owner says his favorite comic of all time is Preacher. So, there, after reading all of Brubaker and Phillips, I was like, alright, let's check out Preacher. Oh. I read Preacher book one, which is the first two arcs. The, like... The first arc... Fuck, I'm trying to remember what happened in the first arc. The first arc it involves, like, the serial killer and the police. Oh, yeah. Which is crazy. The second arc is him going back home to Louisiana and fight, fighting his grandma. And, like, all that shit. So, the, I read the first two arcs, and it's like... I am so in after book one. I am. I only have now five more books, but like, so that's the first twelve issues. Oh nice. Uh, I am so sold on Preacher. Now you've read all of Preacher. I just started. I'm sure there's so much more to get into. But on the surface, it's about like a preacher who has the power of Genesis, who has a supernatural spirit. He's on a hunt for a god who's left. He's he's basically hunting down God in a world full of evil. Yeah. And it's like hyper violent but smart and mature and funny and sexy and like it has very like much like true romance vibes like going through like the south and just or like natural born killers like, yeah it's fucking cool it's so cool it's a very adult comic book yes. it's one of the first like mainstream adult comic books yes. uh, published on vertigo yes which is uh which is under the dc um, uh, okay. banner now dissolved by the way D- uh, vertigo okay. is now part of dc uh holy but yeah, it, it's a really cool uh, series because like d- they talk about the genesis of w- of what's inside of him, right? Yeah. Like like where it actually comes from, and and it's a really crazy supernatural story. But it's it's grounded in this realism that's that's totally believable. It's totally like Americana. And that and that's the thing too is like at first it's like like I'm not religious, so I don't really care that much about like stuff yeah. dealing with that. There's a lot it has of like, nothing. It's like, oh, you can enjoy it without like it. It it, it turns that world into superheroes. Like exactly. that's what's great about it. Like it, God and the devil. It's like, oh, it's just it's using again. It's just like what George Lucas did. Like it was able to take very well known tropes and turn it into something brand new. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh yeah, it's it, he makes a comic book out of it. like literally they're making a comic book out of religion and it's so exciting and cool. Uh, and it's great because it was written in the late '90s, so it has that fucking like attitude yeah. and, and just nastiness. 
Uh, it's very, very cool. Yeah, the, the, you have to remember, the 90s were a time, like, I can't believe I have to talk about it like this, but the 90s were a time where everything was just raw and, like, unfiltered and, attitude, like, baby. attitude and, I mean, kind of like how shit is now again. Yeah. Like, punk rock and edgy and, like, fuck you. So at Waterhead. that time, it was just like, because we can, we'll do it. Yeah. And that's what that's what Preacher did in terms of its hyper-violence and its subject matter, uh, its language, its, its everything, and it's a work of art. Um, I remember they've been talking about making a show of Preacher since I read it. Wow. Originally back in 2004. Holy shit. Like, when, Holy I, was, shit. when I was graduating high school is when I finished reading it, and it's older than that. Wow. Yeah, so, it started in, like, 96, ran through 2000. Yeah. So if you get a chance, I know there are, like, complete collections of Preacher. Um, I know you can get, you know, online comics now through, like, DC's app. Whatever method you can, check it out. And then what's great is that I think once Frank gets through Preacher, um, we talked about checking out the first season of the AMC yes, show. Yes, yeah. Because what's interesting is, like, I read it and was like, man, that Louisiana arc is so dark and fucked up. I'm like, how did they adapt this? And so I, I think someone in the chat said the most recent season they get to that. Uh, but I read the show is like kind of a retelling of it and they changed some stuff, but it still keeps the spirit. So so Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen, they developed the show and launched it. And apparently it's good. Um, it's on AMC, which does great stuff. So right. again, I'm not, I don't need to watch the whole show, but I'm curious to like check out the first season and be like, because also by the time I'm done with Preacher, I'll be like, man, I want to stay in this world. Uh, so yeah, we'll check it out. People in the chat, what do what do people uh, what do people think of the show? I'm curious. Uh, oh yeah, tell us what you think of Preacher. We want to know because I, I haven't watched anything of it, mm -hmm. and for the longest time I was so excited about it, but it's just one of those things where I was like screaming and shouting about Preacher, yeah. you know, 15 years ago, and people before that were screaming and shouting about it, and nobody watched it. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, chat. Uh, Mojave says that he has a personal connection with it, so he cried. Uh, Stuffy, or Stuffy says, no desire to watch it. Um, Jordan Jones, I like the show quite a bit. Its style is, its style is up there. Uh, season one and two are great. Season three is mixed, says Pest, CD, Pest TV. So that sounds, that sounds good. Yeah. To me, when, when there's that broad of a of a response that means so that means that there's it's gonna be sharp effort. You know? yeah. yeah either way um but yeah i would say if like I, and again like it's how i am with losses i'm with stephen king stuff like if you haven't checked out preacher the book or the show don't i would don't start with the show read the book read like, the book yeah. like you know like um because also the other thing too comics don't take a long time it's it'd be faster like read the comic than watch season one you know like yeah like just read the comic uh, but like um yeah, like especially because the art in the art is so rad. It's so rad. So good in, and like again, the story and the subject matter is hyper violent, but there's a beautiful story interwoven throughout the whole yeah. movie. So it's it's really, or I mean, shit, I call it. Yeah, movie. but I yeah, uh, and so. As I was reading the Louisiana arc, something happens, and it's like, this book does not fuck around. Holy shit. Yeah. So then I stopped what I was doing. I looked up Garth Ennis on Wikipedia. I know he did The Punisher, but what's confusing is he did so many runs of The Punisher, it's like, where do I start? So after he did uh, Preacher, Marvel was like, whatever you want, take The Punisher. So he did two different runs. I mean, I'm sure there's he did a lot of runs. I, I'm getting there. I know there's going to be people who know way more about this than I do. I'm just going to... But let, let me... I'll speak. Um... So he rebooted The Punisher, the first series, like in 2000, and the first graphic novel was called Welcome Back, Frank. Uh, which, my comic dealer, Kenny, says Welcome Back, Frank is good. It's so I think good. I'm going to read Welcome Back, Frank, and then skip to King Krabby Likes. Thank you thank so much you for, joining for joining the big dogs. Throw some Jared Thorbons in your way. Thank you so much. You now unlock the Jared Thorbon emo. So I'm going to read it. I'm going to read Welcome Back, Frank, and then just skip straight to Punisher Max. I know he did, like, 30 other issues of that original 2000 Punisher run, but I think I'm just going to start... We'll reset it. That's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to read Welcome Back, Frank, and then go to the 2004 Punisher Max and read all of Punisher Max. Very excited. And once I read Punisher Max, we're going to play the Punisher video games on the stream. There's the Capcom meet up and then there's, like, the 2005 Punisher video game, which is really good. It's like Max Payne. Oh, yeah. Probably like this. So, but, yeah, people who read Punisher, let me know. Very excited. Those oh, cute. Rohan Big Dog says, does he say welcome back, Frank? He should, dude. I'm going to do an interview with him in the future. Kenny and Meltdown. Or no, not Meltdown Comics. Nuclear Comics. We're going to do this whole shit again? Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Lame. 
Lame, dude. But definitely, for those of you who haven't read it and, and are looking for direction, Welcome Back, Frank is an awesome, awesome arc. Read that on its own, no matter Ooh, what. I'm excited. I'm very and then excited. if you have the chance, yes, read uh, read Punisher his arc Max. of Punisher Max. Yeah. They're both incredible. They, they just put out uh, two omnibuses. I think it's like 70 bucks each, so for 140 bucks you get all like 66 plus the specials oh, in a nice. brand new collector set. So I think I'm gonna get that for like Christmas. Like that's like, that's or, like awesome. I want that. Like uh, I just lost half my health. What a, what, a, what a GD cheater. Oh yeah, there is a Punisher, Punisher TV show. Uh, Pest TV. Hey, I feel like you should even. I feel like it's a Netflix show, which it already is. is like bottom of the big. Yeah, you know, like like there's a connotation when you say like, oh, it's a movie. Oh, it's a Netflix movie. Like it's a Netflix show. Yeah, but I've heard that for these Marvel shows on Netflix, it's I mean it's still Disney, so they know and they yeah. put a little production behind them. Like yeah. I've only heard good things about Jessica Jones and the and the Luke Cage series that they have. But I'm not too into those, so I never sat back and yeah. watched it. And again, it's like, I know there's a show, so but it's like, yeah, I want to read the actual comic itself, which is going to be uncensored, like, yeah. full, there's no compromise, no compromise. Uh, but if it's good and you enjoy it, you know, you can, you feel free to rat in the comments, I'll read it, I'll you know. Oh yeah, the Tom Jane movie. Wasn't there one oh where John Travolta's in? Yeah, wasn't he the villain in the Tom Jane movie? Wow. All right. We got, got him. him, we got him. But yeah, I'm excited to check out the Punisher, but yeah, can't Thanks wait to so can't wait to dig into Creature more. Yeah, uh, Creature's a great comic when written well. Like, uh, same thing, there's a run, if you haven't read it, of uh, Daredevil. I think Frank Miller, before he got really big back in the 80s, oh, did a cool. run. And I think, God, um, I could be totally wrong about this, but I think Kevin Smith did a run of Daredevil. Probably. Um, like, in the mid-2000s... Uh, like late. so, when Kevin Smith does runs of comics, do they just do they just turn into like stoners who hang out, hang out? No, the they're, they're 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 co yeah. they're comic books. Yeah. They're they're well written story arcs. That's cool. Um, but I'm pretty sure he did a uh, Daredevil uh, run for a while. But uh, Frank Miller's Daredevil is really good. Daredevil's awesome. He's a really cool character. They just they don't um, they don't promote him enough. And then what you know about him is that shitty movie. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Anyways, so I did go to Montreal. Uh, I work a lot. I work like four different jobs. Uh, and like, dude, I've been going nonstop this year. I moved to San Diego. So moving was a big thing. And then as soon as I got to make San Diego, we're doing more stuff than Mega Season 4. We kind of launched Flame War Theater and then didn't stop. Like the first one was such a hit that's like, I guess we'll just make more. Yeah. And so I wrote, directed, edited a new episode of Flame War Theater for like 12 weeks straight. Uh, awesome. We were able to get one week, thankfully, like one week. I took, I was able to take one week off. Rocco was able to take. Rocco and Derek took the helms of the Dead or Alive episode because I needed to like slow down and catch up with other work. Then I was back on it, did another like ten episodes. Then we took a week off so I could just edit the behind the scenes stuff because I needed another break. Killed David Bowie. Uh, we got him, and then we did the finale, and then boom, took a break because then I had to catch up on other stuff, and I've been working nonstop. Finally, that took a little vacation. Fine. Went, went to Montreal, Quebec, and Canada. That was fantastic. I had a yeah. very good time. I'd never been to Canada. I had to get a GD. I won't show the details, but I had to get a passport. Uh, I had one as a kid. Oh, finally some help. I had a passport as a kid. Why didn't they give you help? Matt? What? I, 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 I did. I was like at a quarter before. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I got a passport, went to Canada. Canada was great. Uh, I joked about it on my Twitter, but yeah, the stereotypes are true. Everyone is so nice and chill in Canada. And I'll, specifically, uh, I was also like in Montreal, yeah. which is French speaking, but it's a bilingual city. So people understood English too, but it was nice and kind of cool. Like I didn't go that far, uh, like travel the same, travel the same amount that you would for, to go to Boston, New York. I didn't go that far, but I was like in a completely different culture. Everyone was yeah. speaking French. Uh, loved it. Montreal was great because it's fucking again French. So everyone is so like European and has such sick style. I had so much fun shopping in Montreal. Uh, you'll probably see me wear a lot of cool new shirts because I, I went shopping in Montreal uh, and found some really dope stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, don't re- Why do you put your gun away when I do my first man- Not first man, bullet- <laughs> My bulletproof shit. That sucks. I'm out of bullets. Oh my god. Um, so Montreal everyone was well-dressed. There's a clothing store in Canada called Simon's, which is a really hip department store that caters to the youth. But it's all like really dope curated stuff. Like Simon's is amazing. Yep. Uh, they had cool Lacoste stores, a cool skate store. Montreal in general is very cool. There's I, a store there called California. Yeah. I, I wish I would have told you. I don't oh, know if it's man. still open, but I wish I would have told you about that so you could go there. That would have been very cool. 
I, I I go to Montreal a lot. I have family up there, so it's it's a place that I've been to literally every summer since 2006. Oh, yeah. So like, very familiar with it. I love that city. I'm so happy you got to go. Yeah, it was uh, it was very cool. And so the cool thing too is like, uh, yeah, I went out because like started talking to a girl and then just ended up going out there. And now it's like, oh cool, I'm in a relationship. So I'm in a relationship with a girl who lives in Montreal. So I think like fuck every at least six months, hopefully three months, or whenever it's appropriate, uh, I'm gonna fuck go to Montreal because it's amazing and I love it. Um, and this girl is like friends with so many people who are like. Actually, the easiest way to say this, Montreal is where Ubisoft is, is based. There's so many game studios in Montreal that there's such a huge games culture in Montreal. So because of that, I met a lot of Mega64 fans in Montreal. I was at a party, and someone who was there is a level designer on Far Cry, and he said, Oh, yes, uh, I watch the Big Dog streams uh, when I'm uh, working and uh, coding. It gets me through my day. I was like, holy fuck. And wow. I, I can't pronounce his name. You might. Guillaume? Guillaume. Guillaume. Which is just William in French. Oh, William. Guillaume, if you're listening. But yeah, there was a lot of uh, Mega64 fans, some Big Dogs in French. Uh, I went to... Uh, I hiked Mount Royale. Uh, the which namesake. Is, the namesake. Which is, what the fuck? Okay, my Jack is about to die. Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sounds uh, like it's upstairs. Yeah, uh, I went up to Mount Royale, and as I was going up Mount Royale, there was a random dude who was like, are you Frank from Mega 64? And so, there was a random guy out in the forest saw I saw me, and uh, we took a picture, it was beautiful. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, Montreal was really fun. Um, food was good, we had poutine, which is uh, a yeah. poutine, which is good. There's a poutine place in San Diego, but yeah, it's Montreal cuisine, which Not is like french fries, cheese, and gravy. Uh, I got a Korean like barbecue poutine, so they had some good ass beef on it. Yeah. Uh, went to Tim Hortons, which like just the vibe of Tim Hortons just kind of reminds me of Chick Fil A. Like nice service, yeah. nice people, nice simple fast food. I like Tim Hortons. I got Tim the Tim Hortons is great. The turkey grilled cheese sandwich and potato wedges. I love. I don't think I've ever actually. Oh, eaten that turkey Tim grilled Hortons. cheese is fantastic. I just got a black coffee. Coffee's good. They people did say Tim Hortons. Uh, supplier was switched over now mcdonald's has the best coffee uh, but yeah for me I, I i like i like fast food i also went to a tim hortons that was like 20 miles outside the city yeah so maybe that was better it, oh, what the fuck is this timer okay i have three minutes to finish uh -oh. talking about tim hortons shout um, out jew power does point out poutine is canada wide oh, not just quebec go. but oh i gotta i gotta protect him all right. but we all know quebec has the best cu cuisine of all of canada so yeah. you know um, I did not get smoked meat sandwiches. I'll have to do that oh, again. Oh, you didn't? No, I'll have to oh. get that next time I'm there. Uh, I went to an all-you-can-eat sushi place. That was nice, but it's, you know, it's all-you-can-eat sushi. You can get that anywhere. But I went to a, a Japanese place called Hatu Dogu. Uh, Hatu Dogu. It's I've like heard of it. Japanese, like, hot, hot dogs. dogs. And it's excellent. Yeah. Hatu Dogu. I loved Hatu, Hatu Dogu. Saw First Man in an IMAX. It was fun going to a, 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 a Montreal movie theater. Uh, all the commercials that played before First Man, they were all can Canadian commercials. Isn't it weird? It's all, have you thought about opening up a savings account? Your bank can do that. Talk to your bank. Canada. You're really low on health. Oh, it's, I, I, I know. I'm conscious of it. Uh, I'm shooting him down. I'm shooting Brian. You're going down, Brian. Oh, Fuck. Damn you got it. me. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Montreal. Have you thought about using the public transportation system? It's really nice. Think about it. Canada. All their ads were just like, you have children. You can get life insurance if you want. Canada. It's just like the most calm commercials. Whereas in America, it's like, hey, do you, want, do you like having sex? Drink some Coke. You know, it's... Whereas in Canada, it's like, the trees are nice. This is a park. Canada. It's like yeah. the nicest it, commercials. It, it really is a lot of people who are being polite. And so it's kind of funny in Montreal because some of the people are snooty. Yeah. But ultimately, everybody's really nice. Yeah. And uh, and like I said, the food, uh, you were there at a good time because it's not too cold yet. Oh, yeah. The biggest horrible thing about Montreal is that in the winter, it fucking freezes over. That's why, okay, so Jared is the one who, who like, was the first to point this out. We, I, I go to Pack South through Mega64 and I have a great time. I love Pack South. Uh, most of the indie devs that are there are from Montreal and, like, Poland. It's a bunch of devs who want to escape the winter, exhibit their game in Texas in January, where it's fucking Texas. Yeah. So they leave the snow, and we always talk with the Tribute Games guys, and they're like, yeah, right now Montreal's, like, super cold. Yep. And so same shit, like, my girlfriend, she's gonna come out to San Diego. I got, that thing nukes my health so much. That's fine. Holy We'll do it again. Shit. I'm happy you don't have to restart the entire encounter. Oh, it really is me. I thought you were making a joke. No. It's actually Yeah, like me. it looks like a guy from Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Uh... I got a thing on the reset. Um, actually, I'm gonna switch to my bigger gun. Ooh, oh, bayonet. 
No, we did the Widowmaker. All right. Ivory State says, as a Canadian, personally, I hate Tim Hortons. Its marketing is the worst part since they make being Canadian its selling point, which is a pretty cheap way of se right. of getting sales. Well, I mean, we do the same thing in America. Like, it's an it's America's cup. Like, the, yeah. like when they talk about Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. one of its taglines yeah. America is... America runs on coffee. America runs on Dunkin', yeah. or it's America's cup. Yeah. Uh, someone has a good question. How do I get a girlfriend? We'll answer that later. Put that on the talking point. Uh, we can, you know, we'll, we'll talk. We talk about anything on this show. Whatever you want, we'll talk about. We'll ground it. Um, but uh, again, I like again breaking the fourth wall. I know Tim Hortons is everyday Canadian fast food. That's why, as an American, it was fascinating to see. Absolutely. So it's like, yeah, I think it's cool. If you live in Canada, yeah, you get fucking bored of it. I don't think palm trees are that incredible. But it's like, oh, from so it's like it's that kind of thing. It's what I teach my students. Your normal is someone else's extraordinary. Me being in Canada, being a, on a fucking metro system where I always drive on the five freeway, everything is fascinating to me. Yeah. So yeah, I know Tim Hortons isn't phenomenal. I had a great time. I loved it. Absolutely. That turkey grilled cheese was fantastic. Weed isn't legal there yet. yet. I think they just passed it. My, my friend was telling me there's like a lot of debate, but I think it's on its way. Um, my, my friend was also saying Montreal is a city. It's like a college town. A lot of hit people. She was saying like, oh, go down this street. People will offer you this, this, yep. like, it's just, a, it's, it's, it's just like, New what York. I heard is that, what I heard about Montreal is that the drug situation is a lot like Amsterdam okay. where, where it's not illegal for you to have it, but it's illegal for you to buy and sell oh. it. However, apparently what my cousins have told me is that the workarounds are you use digital currencies to place an order for like a card uh, okay. and then that card redeems the amount and they deliver it directly to you because oh. that is totally legal. That's like uh, buying ja bu use buying Japanese games from the, from the PlayStation Store in the America. Yeah. I do that little little hacking, little hacking. Um but speaking of drugs, my favorite drug, Sour Patch Watermelon. I found out they have a different candy distributor in Canada. I went to a grocery store. It's Maynard's uh, Sour Patch Kids. So different label. Actually, I'll take. I'll, I'll pull up. I'll take a picture. Oh, of you this. didn't bring any back. I did not bring any back. Oh, I bought. They had a the very it. important. If you live with me, as only one person is lucky enough to Brian, you would know. Brian, what's my favorite candy? Sour Patch Kids. Specifically. Sour Patch Watermelon. Hell yeah. Um, again, when I go grocery shopping, most important, stock up on Sour Patch Watermelon Kids gum, the watermelon gum. But yeah, let me take a, I, I took an exclusive picture of, uh, I gotta look this up. Okay. They had a new flavor I'd never seen before. Maynard's Sour Patch Kids Sour Ooh. Cherry Blasters. Sour Cherry Blasters. Not, look at this, Maynard Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. Again, that's how legit I am. Now who they're all right i liked them who does sour patch kids here good question stride well this is the gum that's company. the gum company i don't know dude now there know. is the language police in montreal it's and true. for those of you know. who don't know what that is that's literally a group of the government or a, a the brown part. coats yeah no who come around and make sure that uh french is part of every menu um, on all of your placards, and that it's—it's it's basically like the health, the, the yeah. health inspector. It's the but it needs inspector. to be. But it's specifically making sure that French is featured in your business. That's why, like PlayStation games on the back have like that shit in French, because it's like that's why Donkey Kong Country on Super Nintendo has a fucking French language option. It's like yep. that shit has to be in there. Yeah, and it's like. It's, like, legit. Like, they'll have people from the government and fine you if you don't have a certain number yeah. of uh, Quebecer, French Canadians on your staff. Whoa. It's, it's like... Yeah, well, I forget the law. Uh, there was, like, yeah, there was a law passed in the 70s that basically made it a French, like, a French first country, uh, territory, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's just interesting because it's like, yeah, we don't have that shit. We don't have to deal with that stuff here. But, again, yeah, it just... Fuck you. I was, I was about to throw... I forgot I had dynamite. I'm gonna get him. But, uh... Yeah, it's uh, it's really fascinating. So I had a really cool time in Montreal. And again, yeah, any all any big dogs. There's another guy named Johan, I believe. Bunch of dudes and a lot of people who worked at uh, Ubisoft. It was really really fascinating. So yeah, Montreal was super cool. We were, I forget what else we talked about. We talked about drugs, Sour Patch Kids. So I talked about girl about girlfriend shit. Oh yeah, what else did I want to say? I saw First Man in IMAX at, in Canada. That was great. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else in, in Montreal that was cool. I think I hit it. Yeah, I, just, I mean, again, I used it as a vacation. I played video games, watched movies. Uh, I saw a French film called Custody that Brett Easton Ellis recommended. Custody is... Fuck. Again, if you don't follow my letterbox or Twitter, uh, I'm always seeing films. Uh, Custody is a French drama. It's a divorce drama. 
Uh, it's about a newly divorced family. It's about this, like, this father who is hinted at he's abusive. Uh, actually, it's not even hinted at. The film opens with a 10-minute dialogue sequence. It's like both parents' lawyers talking at a table. The first 10 minutes is just that. And it stars Denis Minochet, who's the dairy farmer from Inglorious Bastards. Oh, wow. And that movie opens with a 15-minute conversation. Christoph Waltz and the farmer having a conversation. So this movie opens very similar, a very tense conversation. And it's like, who deserves custody? And it's like, well, your child says here you try to kill your mother. Got like, him. all this stuff. Um... And so the whole film is just like, you know that this father is abusive, so anytime he wants to see his kids, it's like, oh my god, what's going to happen? Uh, it's very tense, and it evolves into a horror film. Wow. Uh, it is, like, the finale is fucking scary, uh, and the way it ends is just, like, so profound. It's like a Michael Haneke film. Wow. Uh, uh, custody. Custody. I downloaded it. Um, I think you can get it on VOD or whatever, but yeah, it's Custody. It's incredible. Uh, and I posted about it, and funny enough, the lead actor, Denis Minoche, liked my tweet. Uh, so there you go. That's why I like Twitter. Uh, but yeah, Custody is amazing. If anyone watches it, let me know. It's really fucking good. Uh, Custody. It's, but yeah, fu we'll, we'll, get we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Someone in the chat just asked what movie is this. It's Custody. Ten times. Custody, 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 Custody. Follow my Twitter and letterbox, you'll see it. Custody. If you want to paste my Twitter and letterbox. Oh, I already did. There you go. Custody. Uh, custody. Custody. Um, custody. 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 Yes, custody. Uh, saw that. Yeah, that's Montreal. If any big dogs in Canada, you know, feel, feel free shouts to drop out. some Canadian flags. Shouts out to all the big dogs in Montreal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A absolutely. Yeah, shouts out to the Canadian flags. All right, we're going to get this. You know, I'm going to switch to a stronger gun, the Widowmaker. Yeah, they're saying in one of the walkthroughs that the rifle is a good one to use. Okay. See, it's, but again, it's like we said, and that's why we're comfortable now playing. Again, at first with Twitch stream, it's like, I don't know if people want to watch me play if I just am fucking around. Uh, but people just want to hang out, and that's what we've been doing. And again, I've been on vacation for like a week and a half. I've been eager to talk about all this stuff. Even though it's dumb stuff like Tim Hortons and Sour Patch, it's fun. Do you also want to drop the link in the Discord again let people know we're still going? Oh, that's right. Thank you, oh Brian. Again, that's why Brian is the event. I wouldn't be doing Twitch stream if I didn't have Brian. Uh, we're, again, I wouldn't two be doing Twitch streaming if I didn't there have Brian. There you go. Mike. Two person team, but it's like, the way we operate a show is like, constantly going we like engaging the audience we want people here we want people to know that we're twitch streaming like again that's why we love having people here that's why we, we're happy that you helped us get subscribers that's why we have the bits on the last cheer stuff and the last cheer was axis julian and da, 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 da. the last donator was been with one dollar 69 we have all this stuff because we want to have a fun show for y'all and we want you here it's not like i'm not like speaking to avoid I, that's why the chat's on screen yada 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 so yeah, thank you to we're all the big always dogs. happy that you guys oh, yeah. are here yeah honestly while frank and i were out, both like out doing our own shit for the last couple of weeks all we kept talking about like every conversation pretty much ended with okay we're so excited to come back and do big dogs oh yeah yeah big like dogs, all of our experiences Asian. funnel into this area fuck all right here's the dynamite throwing the sticks out dropping the stink sticks here we go stink sticks stink sticks coming out Stinger. throw out the stink sticks look at them is there some dynamite emoji, bomb emoji? Apple, like, got rid of all the violent emojis. Turn them into squirt guns and some other yeah, shit. Yeah, that was really annoying. Yeah, what's up? Why why, why, why do that? Yeah, why do that? Come on. So stupid. They so, they left the bomb, but they took out the gun and made it a squirt gun. Yeah, come on. That's, yeah, come on. Put a, put a real gun. Yeah, right to bear arms, man. Second Amendment rights. That's right. The, the, our forefathers said... Let us have gun emojis, the right to bear gun emojis. Yeah, this is not the kind of apple cucked I want to be. Yeah, come on, let's, let's get out of here. What do you think? Oh my god, so many questions in the chat. What do we just got going? What do you think of manufactured homes and trailer you parks in San Diego? I keep forgetting I have to look out for my AI partner. Gosh darn. Wamblo's going to class. Hey, good luck. Damn. Take good some luck. good notes. Uh, manufactured homes and trailer parks in San Diego? That's fine. I don't, I don't care. There you go. That's the bottom line because Big Dog says so. Boom. Alright, we're gonna get through this. I like the environment itself, that's why I'm not getting sick of it. Alright, someone asked, how do I get a girlfriend? Great question, I didn't know for the first 21 years of my life. Um, you need confidence, that's it. That's fucking all it boils down to. The biggest thing, especially after leaving one relationship, is you have to be complete and happy yourself. Uh, I think even Derek said this on one of his... I feel like a lot of people I've talked to have said the same thing. Like, if you are so antsy and unhappy with yourself, people are going to read that. Mm -hmm. So, like, I remember I tried Tinder in this awkward period where I was still depressed, and those were some ugh, weird encounters. Not just, like... It, well, again, I wasn't weird. It was just, like... I was just so half-assed, like... I don't know. I just, just wasn't feeling good. And that's why also why like, maybe I tried Tinder, because it's like, I don't know. Whatever. Um, you know, it's like... I don't know, it's just, it's whatever. 
So, I didn't focus on relationship stuff. I, like, lost a shitload of weight, just started working a lot. I threw myself into work, blah, 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 blah. And then I just rebuilt my confidence. And then, different, but it's like the Steve Martin thing. Be so good they can't ignore you. Yeah. I was just focusing on myself, and all of a sudden, girls are talking to me. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, I just stopped worrying about it, and people thought I was cool, and it worked out. So, honestly, like... Put yourself out there. Like, talk to people. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to compliment girls. Don't be afraid to say, hey, you look cute. Like, I mean, I think if you're confident and cool, then it's not going to come off as creepy. Yeah. Uh, just hang out with people. Be open to new things. Because you might go to a concert, meet somebody. You might go to a party and meet somebody. Um, like, I, I message people on Instagram. Like, not, I'm not not in a Nick Robinson case of being like, yo, send me pic. But no, but it's just like, hey, just getting to know people as I would with anybody. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Just put yourself out there, but be confident and be fuck you. Oh, I need so you need to start calling out bottom right. All right, I we know. need the chat on the watch. Keep the eye top right on the AI partner. Keep forgetting it. Damn that. Da, 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 da. We're gonna get through it. But uh, yeah. So like, with any relationship that I've been in, it's just like confidence. Like you know what? I like this person. I like myself. Why would they say no? Just just ask. Yeah. Be nice and fuck you. That's a good a good perfect zoner summed it up. There you go. There you go. I think, you know, the, the best thing about, like, about yourself are the things that you enjoy. Yeah. Because that's when people really see you at your happiest. Yeah, I mean, I briefly dated a girl, pff, fuck, 2011, whatever. I was at a party playing acoustic guitar, probably playing Blink-182, and she thought that was charming, started talking to me, went on a few dates. That was it. I was doing my own thing. She thought I was interested right? in them talking to me. They always say that, you know, you find a relationship when you're not looking for yep. it. And, and and I was thinking about, like, why is that so true? And and I thought of, like, oh, it's because, like, you're just, you seem so cool. Yep. Yeah. If and, you're looking desperate, then, again, it's like, ugh. And, and that made me think of, yeah. well, what does the definition of cool mean? Yeah. It means that you don't, like, you're not anxious, you're not nervous, you, yep. you seem calm. Yep. I've talked to professional athletes, and they said when they're pumped up before games, yeah. it's actually the worst thing for them. Really? Because they're they're overhyped, they're oh. too much adrenaline, they can't focus. When they're calm. Yes, in the and, zone. In the zone, that's when they're the best. Yeah. Michael Jordan talked about this too. He said, I go out and I do 100 free throws a minute exaggerating yeah to practice so that when i get out there on the field yep. it's not a thought it's a practice it, it, yep. it's been practiced yep. like i shouldn't miss because i practiced 100 and, and that's how i feel i'm throwing myself into so many freelance contracts but i've done this shit so much i don't have to think anymore i had to go shoot uh at like a corporate building today i i, I was nervous i didn't think about it i showed up put my camera out started filming because i've done this so many times yeah when we were doing flame War theater i live produced a sketch comedy show at ucb theater for like five years called the midnight show with like professional writers and comedians i know how to direct live stage comedy i didn't have to think about it i'd show up with yeah. my script hey this is what we're doing i never had to think because i've done it so many times i made so many videos and edited so many things that like i don't have to think even doing a twitch stream i know I know how to talk to people. I know how to talk. I know how to communicate. I talk about film and video games 24/7. I talk with Brian 24/7. So we fucking get off my best friend. Uh, oh my god. My six. Jane, you butthole. All right. They, and, they and you are be using your rifle. Yeah. That's true. All right. We'll, we'll do this again. Um, damn. No, you're so good. Yeah. Sh shoot me. Not. Oh my god. Uh. But yeah, just have confidence. So again, talk. To, uh, and honestly, one thing I learned. Once I finally started putting myself out there and talking to girls, uh, I wasn't great. I was awkward. But every girl that would pass on me or whatever, or I drop the ball on or things didn't work out, that's fine. I died. I, hey, this time I died, not my best friend. That's fine. We'll get there. Uh, I got better at it. Okay, you know what? This time I was too eager or I was too awkward or I, this didn't work out. Next time. And honestly, I got better and better yeah. and better at it. And so even before my new girlfriend, between now and Josie, a year and a half, I had some, just some small things, talking to different girls, whatever. But each time it's like, okay, that didn't work. What else can I do? What? And then eventually just stop thinking about it. So when I would talk to a new girl, it's just like, okay, hey. And I'm not... It's like, casual. And it's again, just... and again, I'm not someone who's like using recycled lines. It's just not. Again, I think if you watch, like, I've always been a big person of this. It's like I hate reusing jokes or things like that. Right. There's bits I lean into, like, oh yeah, like I like the stuff I like. I like film. I like Blink 22. I like video games. But it's not like, hey, I don't use pickup lines. I'm always genuine. I always make genuine connections. So that's why people find me charming. But it's not just girls. It's with anybody. People yeah. I like, musicians I like, comedians I like, filmmakers I like. It's how I become people's friends. I'm good at making personal connections. So another great thing, not just be, for falling in love, meeting girls, but for meeting people in general, the best way to meet people, become friends with people, ask questions about them. Because people, clearly, because I have a Twitch stream, 
People like talking about themselves. Absolutely. People love talking about themselves. So you meet a girl or whatever. Hey, what do you study in school? Oh, I do art. Oh, really? Art? What do you like to draw? Oh, do you have any drawings? Oh, wow. What made you want to draw this? Oh, what are your inspirations? What are your favorite books? What are your yeah. favorite movies? They like Ask genuine they feel sub- like it's like and again not just sub- 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 subjecting like girls anyone it's, it's like when I when I interview students for my film class we make them talk for like forty five minutes they've probably never been subjected to that no so what do you think of high school oh what's your favorite class what's your least favorite class what movies are you looking for what's your favorite filmmaker like and it's like but they start feeling confident like oh they think everything I'm saying is interesting and it's like again why I like doing the stream with the big dogs and having the chat engaged. Deekman was saying, I'm trying to remember, like, Deekman said he didn't like, like, Punisher Season 3, or uh, Preacher Season 3, blah, blah, blah. Like, whatever your opinions are, that's what we keep asking questions. Yeah, we want to know your opinions. It's like, I want to know about you. I generally have this fascination with people. So, the other hand is, you see how much I talk. Most people, I don't know, some people, a lot of of people, get very turned off of, like, holy fuck, Frank is so intense. We, We, again, just trial and error. I don't want to mute myself when I'm, like, yeah, with and, friends or girls. And I don't want people to mute themselves around me yeah, either. Yeah, so the girl that I was dating briefly before the, my newest, my new girlfriend, Audrey, again, we're friends. It's all chill. I was pretty forward. Hey, I like you. You're cute. Like, oh, should I make a move? Well, like, very yeah. forward. Hey, want to go on a date? But, hey, we went on dates because I asked, do you want to go on a date? And she was like, yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. And then, hey, hey, this is what I, I think you're cute. Do you want to do something? Oh, no, too much? Okay, no worries. They're still friends. Move on. Like, as opposed to when I was first starting with girls, it would be so awkward. I wouldn't say anything. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, that's fucking so weird for them because they know what I want, but I'm too afraid to say it myself. Yeah. And that's like, and again, like, it's just, it's just nerd shit and you learn as you mm-hmm. get better and older. But yeah, hey, try. If you fail, you'll keep doing. That's why I want people to watch First Man. I'm going to be quoting First Man the rest of my yeah. life. Fail. Like, it's, again, Ryan Gosling throughout the whole movie. I, not even fucking talk about Neil Armstrong. Ryan Gosling throughout the whole movie. It, they keep doing all these test runs and like he keeps putting his life in danger and it's like we need to fail down here so when we're up there we're a success exactly and it's that so like again don't be weird don't be rapey don't be terrible communicate be forward open honest and kind and respectful yeah but like so just again don't waste people's time be forward but be nice be confident be cool if something doesn't work out you can still be friends or move on or don't see them or whatever yeah but just try and every time you'll get better at it and better and better communication communicate communicate yep. zomner in the chat says that communication is always the key to to, to tie into another movie reference yeah watching phantom thread yeah. this morning there's a scene where two characters are talking and they're one's trying to be polite to a certain point where, and then she finally uh, just goes, let me be unambiguous. This is exactly oh, what perfect. I need. Oh, perfect. We're, we're in a great turn. And, and just, like, the fact that they had that in a film and, like, and they address something where it's like, I'm not going to be proper with you anymore, but I'm still going to be nice. Yeah. Like, this is exactly what I need. Telling people what you need is not a bad thing. Yep. If somebody doesn't like what you want, either you learn from maybe that's not a good thing or you just realize that that person and you are not going to be partners and shit. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. You don't have to take it personally. Shit just doesn't right, work between you guys. That's some help waiting there. We got the rifle. I think this is going to be the one. And I think that's that's kind of like what Frank is saying. Like, when you can find a way to be happy with yourself and you can yep. find a way to, you know, truly enjoy, you know, being, being who you are and asking for what you need from people, that's when people will feel comfortable enough to come to you with the shit that they need. You know, like, yeah. people... People sense that calm. People sense that you're willing to listen, and and that's a that's only the best kind of way that you could have people perceive you, because mm-hmm. that means they they feel like they can trust you. Oh yeah, and that's that's a big deal. And you never wanna you never wanna misuse somebody's trust either. Absolutely. And speaking of someone I trust and love very much, the big dog himself, Jared Thorbon is someone gamer. I love. The cheap ass gamer. Follow cheap ass gamer. Follow Jared Thorbon. Follow him Jared Thorbon on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. If you are a big dog, if you subscribe to the big dogs, you can drop some Jared Thorbon emotes in the chat. That's what we're all about. Spreading the love, spreading the good deals. Love Jared Thorbon. Love him. Boom. Ben is here. What's up, P Moth? A uh, lot. Again, I like seeing all the big dog subscribers in yeah, the chat. Yeah, it's so that's, great to see that big dog awesome. logo. If you haven't yeah. seen it, guys, these are all the awesome emotes you get when you subscribe to the big dogs. I just dropped them in the chat. Wow. You can see them right there. Wow. As always, we feature the chat in the actual stream the because YouTube we upload want you to see too. it on the YouTube upload, right? Yeah. 
So it's a live show. So if you miss it, you can see what we're talking yeah. about and what we're reacting to. It's and a fully featured show. And I always love shouting out how many big dogs are with us live. Oh, always. 54 big dogs. That's a lot of big dogs. Joining us at a, that's a, lot at a of big late dogs. hour on a Monday. Oh, that's a lot. After a Think about my fucking started. like math class in high school. That was like 20 people Mr. Mushagan was talking to. Fuck yeah. that. We got a class of 54 big dogs learning the truth about Preacher, about first. Fuck, dude, they're getting too close to my dogs. Get out of here. Don't don't hurt yeah. my boys. Don't get, get get the fuck away from Terry. Back off. You, you have two stocks of... Uh, uh, big big, all right, big dog. Big dog juice. Let's go. All right. If you can't hang with the big dogs, get off the porch, baby. Boom. You're going off the porch, baby. Get off the porch. Right, I'm going to reload, and then I'm going to load you're, up. You're doing good. All right. Here we go. Kirk. God damn it. Kirk. All right. What did some, some Kirk. Asked a question earlier? Uh, let's see. I'm getting ready to go into a music program for young artists, and Sounds I'm feeling like pretty anxious. Dude. Any advice? Pest TV. You're there for a reason, right? Like, if you've never seen Whiplash, go watch Whiplash. Yeah. Uh, I would say that that's how you should go into this place. Yeah. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Fuck yeah. That's fucking cool that you worked hard enough. Get that help. Yeah. Um, that you worked hard enough to be accepted into something that is prestigious Word. and other people can't get into. That means that you have put the effort in. That means you need to keep putting that effort in so that you can keep producing that high ca caliber work. Yep. Um, it's never going to stop. It only gets harder from yes. here. But obviously you're passionate. Stay on top of it. I would say another thing, someone I've learned from having multiple professors, someone who teaches himself, someone who's taken multiple comedy classes, it's something that Heather Campbell and Eric Moneypenny talk. Uh, you're going to go into a, 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 a school of thought and they're going to have a very specific way of how you, a very specific way they want you to do things. You're there to learn from them. That's what you signed up for. Be open to the process. Communicate with your teacher. Even if you disagree with what they're saying, totally. you're there for their, that school of thought. Work with it. Once you're done with that, you can take and leave what you don't and don't like. Absolutely. Like, you're going to butt heads maybe with an instructor. Just communicate. Hey, I don't think this is it. If he says, hey, this is what we're doing, or they, she, they, whatever. Um, but yeah, just realize what they're teaching you isn't the only way. Like, but be open to that. And then you'll get a professor who teaches a different way. I feel like that's something I wasn't great with it when I was in film school. Uh, no, yeah. Because I was so like, fuck you, I'm P.T. Anderson. Dude, they're just doing their job. Just be open to it, you know? Yeah. Um, communicate. Something that I've experienced as a, as a teacher, I, I, teachers are I, I'm more of like a coach because it's like I don't formally teach. It's just, hey, we're making videos. You guys need help. I'm, I'm, it's more of a coach. Yeah, but again, yeah. but I, I still lecture, whatever. But yeah, like a coach, whatever. Um, still a mentor in a, in a form. Um, yeah, I'm still mentoring these kids. The people who take their time to like really, it's, you know, we teach say to our students every year. The, we're giving you all the resources. The students who use all the resources are the ones who excel the most. The, yep. most. the people who constantly communicate and engage with their professors or whatever, the people who are constantly showing updates of their rough cuts and drafts, they're the ones who succeed further. The people who do the bare minimum, that's it. You're going to be the bare minimum. Yep. Put the most into it, you'll get the most out of it. Um, but yeah, good luck. I forget who... That was Pest yeah. TV. Pest TV. Good luck. Good luck, dude. That's awesome. And again, if you perform stuff, whatever, spend stuff our way... Uh, I self-taught myself guitar. I'm not great at it, but it's still fun to have that knack. You're always going to learn how to play music. If there's a piano at a bar, you can walk up. Like, that's such a cool superpower to yeah. play music. Like, it's amazing. Uh, my favorite game, Rainbow Six Siege. We beat that mission. Booyah. Uh, Rohan Big Dog asks, this is a two-part question. How'd you get into freelance? This is a big question about my whole career. Um... Damn, I got. Let me let me get into the story mission. I'll talk about like a little oh, yeah. bit of how I did. And before it. that, good night yeah. to Deekman. They, they're yeah, going to bed and uh, Zomner as well. Bad. Shout out! Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, shout yeah. out to all the sixty-one big dogs yeah. that are joining us right now. Ooh, Thank yeah. you again for for being here with got us. Got the red. Would you guys be interested in Rainbow Six Vegas Three, dude? I love Siege so much. If they were to do a single player campaign, oh my god, that would be amazing. I that would, would love so another cool. great single player campaign, yeah. like. I'm really excited for, for more of those. Oh, yeah. Um, the story of how I got into freelancing and, like, all that stuff is such a big thing that I might say that for another time. I feel like that could be just an own video. I have an idea for a series called Frank Facts where I just answer questions. Because that's something that's, like, I have just so many steps into that. But in terms of how I became a teacher, uh, there was an organization called Pack Arts Movement that I love. They put on the San Diego Asian Film Festival. No matter what, I wanted a job there. I didn't care what it was, but it had to be something involving my strengths. Hey, we need someone to teach a high school filmmaking program. Oh, okay. I've taught, like, youth camps. I for I, I took a summer job where I taught 7 to 13-year-olds how to make films, which Jeez. is the hardest job, but it got my foot in the door. I had that experience. Hey, I'll do this job. It wasn't what I planned, but this gets me in. Started doing it, and they started offering me more work. So, again, I just, I just took this job and started doing it. Like, 
never, you know, and it's like, again, confidence. Yeah, I, I can do this. And sure enough, I did it. Uh, it's like, but again, there's so many layers and stuff to talk about, but it's like, how did I, how did I become a teacher? I applied for a job. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. But again, I always had the passion. I know film. I, I fucking talk about film nonstop. Oh, yeah. I already had everything going into it, but it was just... Also, again, I, it's the program we do is more of an extracurricular outside program. I don't have the formal teaching background. My partner is the one who's a formal professor, has all that background. I do more of the tech assistance, and like, I, but I, I will like strictly teach like the editing and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's just sign up for a job. It was there. I did it. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, so again, you can do anything. You can do anything if you just put the time into it. Pretty much. I yeah. Mean, okay, here we go. That... Oh, this is just like Scarface. All right, here we go. Going up. Which Steven Spielberg uh, helped De Palma shoot that sequence. Did at he? the end of Scarface, yeah. No wonder. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Because I think what had happened was, like, I think Al Pacino injured himself, or, or someone, I think that's, Al Pacino injured himself, so they just had, like, an extra week to shoot all the coverage. So Spielberg came down, and they were just having fun shooting explosions and, like, action stuff. Boom. Uh, totally Online says, you have a job interview for a position I feel I'm underqualified for. Do you have any advice? Uh, s s watch YouTube videos and read right now about whatever that field is. Listen to podcast yep. interviews. My friend Leroy Patterson, who now is like one of the senior artists at Giphy, has a huge salary at Giphy, which is all the Instagram gifts. He's the one who personally makes those and curates those. Um, he applied for a job as a video editor. Uh, he Or no, to be like a sound engineer. He had never learned... How, he never knew anything about this like application... About this... Uh, program they use uh to record to record he applied for the job and looked up youtube tutorials absolutely and yeah. bullshit his way because he knew he could do it he just didn't know that thing so again like just have confidence just go in there and realize that every job it's exactly what frank just talked about when he was when he was mentioning school like when you go into a new job you aren't coming in with full job training at all. No, they on They are going to teach you how to do that job. And how to do it their way. And how and more specifically how they do it your their way. Now your experience helps you shortcut certain things for them. Yes. But your experience is very valuable because you're the guy who knows yeah. everything that you did in your life and, and how that's gonna affect yeah. this job. So Frank's advice about right now going and doing as much research as you can about that field, do that. Be honest. Go in there yep. and tell them things that you think they may not even like to hear. Yeah. It's the same thing as having a relationship, uh, you know, whether it's romantic or a friendship. Yeah. You want to be honest. You want to deliver value, whether it's value as, you know, an employee or in any other aspect. Go on their website. See what they do. I had one interview where I went in okay. and I told them that their social media wasn't good because when I searched that company one of their employees came up not the company i didn't get the job but i i was told by somebody like because it was a referral yeah. i was told by somebody who worked at the company that that was something they talked about immediately Perfect. after i left uh was it eric bedore shared i don't know if it was personal or on a, probably this personal. was at razor oh really <laughs> yeah that's really funny. It, it was somebody who uh, worked at razor this is a different thing eric bedore told me i think shared this privately but it was like something when he was applying for something i think at rooster teeth he like they asked him a question and he gave like a pretty sharp answer and they're like oh my god you're right like yeah don't be afraid because they're hiring you for a re like yeah they want someone who's going to be able to like shake things up in a positive way like bring positive change and thought to it if so again they, if they be could do you, be you yeah be if, you, if be they you. could do it without you there they yeah. wouldn't be hiring yeah so they're trying to find somebody who's willing to understand their culture yeah and then come in and make improvements like i just the job that i just recently got at behind the smoke doing Fuck their yeah, podcast you know like i went in there i have no idea how they run their podcast yeah. it's a restaurant owner and a butcher shop owner oh, okay. like they have that's a fine. That's fine. like but i took some time and i understood what they wanted to bring to the table with their podcast and then i i took what i knew i could do and learn stuff with the tools that i've i've learned to help them bring that to light and now I'm learning a bunch of shit that's helping them out, and it's helping me out because it's adding value to me. So, you know, typically you're going to go into a job not not knowing and not having any idea of, oh, so you know, so what the job is going to be yeah, like. And me. they'll teach you that. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Uh, real fast, someone's asking, can you link them behind the smoke, all the, all the stuff you do? Oh, yeah. Nitro Dubs in the chat asked. Brian, you link your podcast. Go for it. No good governor is going to be Gluminati says, I always walk into some real ass shit. That's what you're going to get with the big dogs. It's just us being us, talking about whatever we want, film, games, books, relationships, media production, 
uh, love, sex, whatever we want to talk about because we're real people, dog. I'm Sh- real people. Shouts out. Gluminati does a lot of uh, gifts and art for us. Oh, awesome. Um, I forget the name of his brand right now, but uh, that shirt I have with the... Um, with the big eyeball batting and the shirt oh, okay. that Garrett has with the uh, anime girl on pink. Oh! Yeah, that's his That's his brand. I, uh, it's Honey something. i fucking oh, yeah. so mad I can't remember it right now. Oh, 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 Caleb. I just got the happiest comment, the best compliment I could have gotten. Uh, it's really satisfying coming from Harmontown oh, Live Podcast to this stream. Really? I reference Harmontown. Yeah. That's my favorite podcast. I listen, like, I love Harmontown. Did you go to the live LA one? Now that I'm in San Diego, I, I was in proximity to Harmontown, not so much anymore. Yeah, Harmontown's my favorite podcast because of how they do their show, again, unabashedly, like, I'm fucking Dan Harmon. Like, yeah. I, I, but no, I look up to him in the way he produces, the way he, again, the way he writes. He's my inspiration so much, but also the way he does his podcast. I'm the same fucking way. Equally neurotic, open, unabashed. I am so, I make myself so naked because I'm so questioning, like, am I, am I doing the right thing? I, I work so fucking much and there's no one to limit myself. Am I doing the right thing? Like, am I doing the right thing? I feel like I'm taking shortcuts. Am I doing the right thing? So I'm putting myself out there. I'll do all this and this. I'm hoping someone's going to criticize me and say, Frank, you're doing nothing wrong. But no one's criticizing me. Instead, people give you and complimenting, pushing me higher and higher and higher. So my ego grows and grows and grows and inflates. And I have so much confidence. And it's through this confidence. I got a girlfriend in Montreal. I'm doing all this stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm making money and all this stuff. And it's like, I just realized it's fucking easy. No one's, it's just go for it. And it's yeah. like, but again, I listen to Dan Harmon's podcast, and it's the same fucking anxieties. And exactly. It's like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna do Harmon Town, but on Twitch. That's and, it. And the more and Mark Maron and Brett Easton Ellis exactly. just taking all my influence. Because the more people you talk to, the more you realize that all of this is happening in, inside of all of us. Yes. All of these feelings, yep. all of these anxieties, yep. but they're just manifesting themselves yep. through different outlets. And if you realize that all it takes is doing exactly what all those other people did, that's why there are millions of self-help books yes. that all say the same thing. Yep. You're capable. Yes. There's there's no limit. There's no barrier. There's no lines between you and anybody else that is doing something successfully. Yeah. Other than they're doing it, are you? Yeah. If you're not, that's that's the reason why. I love that this guy looks like man. Uh, Ron Big Ogs asked a question, quite, great question. Our neighborhood game club and ethically retired projects are just like on highest. I feel like everything is just an evolution of the next thing. It's yeah. still just me being me. So neighborhood game club was like, man, I have so many opinions on video games, but no one's communicating about the same way I am. Fuck it, I'm gonna talk to my friends and show off game collections. Yeah. Man, this is great. I like talking about video games, but man, I see people just do this, but also play video games. No one's doing it the way I want to. I guess I'm gonna do this too. So neighbor, neighborhood game, game club turned into me just. Uh, playing video games and still having conversations. We had guests just like Neighborhood Game Club. We had Kevin, Rock, uh, like all these people, Derek. No, all their Megas four people was on that. But then that, at the computer, evolved into Last Game Standing, which is now at the computer live slash Neighborhood Game Club, but now we have Mega 64 in the mix. And now Big Dogs, it's like I still want to keep talking about stuff. I still want to do my own podcast. But I miss interviewing people. So I kind of want to do another... I don't even think I'm going to brand as a YouTube show because I don't want to limit myself, but I just want to do random interviews with random people. Uh, there's a comic book shop owner I love in Orange County. There's a fashion designer I love in Orange County. I'm friends with so many like comedians and writers in LA. I still want to interview game dev people. So no matter what, it does. It's just like doing a like a show at UCB. Our our Giant Bomb doing any of their game streams. They'll come up with a dumb title for their thing, but it's still Giant Bomb. Yeah. Even with Mega 64, anything we do, it's still Mega 64. Anything I do, it's still Frank Howley or slash Mega 64. Like, so. Everything's an evolution of what I'm doing. Um, I would love to do at the computer, but Bruce is up in Orange County. I would, it would still be fun randomly do a surprise one of those. Neighbor to Game Club, I do like the idea of doing yeah. game collection tours, so maybe in the future. I also want to keep doing interview with game devs. So, um, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm still going to be making stuff, and it's what Brian De Palma said in the excellent documentary De Palma. Nobody plans your... No, you like, sorry. Uh, you don't plan your career. You just do what's in front of you. So... I'm never thinking like, all right, I'm gonna retire this. It's just, oh, this is in front of me. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, uh, uh, and it keeps going and going. Like a like a couple weeks back. Oh God, now it's longer. I'm but a couple a couple months ago, um, I think one of us. It, it might have even been me on the on Twitter commented about like the Game Cult podcast. Yeah. What, what I used to do with Jake and Garrett and Eric and uh, Doctor Ryan, and and everybody's like, oh, so like, I guess GCP is dead. And and it was like. Well, nobody ever really talked about it before this. It was just kind of like, we used to do yeah. GCP. We all got very busy. And we have 17 time zones to deal with. So it just kind of made it hard to, to schedule yeah. regularly. And that was it. But then, yeah, like, outwardly, it just looked like, oh, uh, I guess the series is over. And, and yeah, it was just kind of like, no, we're just... It's just not working now. And one day, it might come back up. 
because ho- hopefully we all have that time where we're all sitting I, together. I miss talking with Jake Ennis. I used to say yeah, that. Jake I, Ennis is so, that's why I love following. I still follow Jake Ennis on Twitter. Like, I love Jake Ennis. Well, He's so cool. That's one of the things that kind of bummed me out about the end of Skype is that yeah. I used to talk to Jake all the yeah. time on Skype. And, and I know we can do it now because, like, technology's changed from yeah. that time and, and, like, data rates and all of, all of the international shit is, like, closed, closed the gap a lot more. But, again, we just... We all got older and busy, like... Yeah. We just have work and... Well, even, like, my like a lot of my best internet friends, we still have a Discord server, uh, and I love them, but, yeah, I work... Con- Give me a second. All right. So Brian actually need the microphone, which Sorry, guys. disconnected the cord. Uh, but yeah, we were saying I was just to re back up. So I like that someone said to speak up. Um, uh, again, that's why I love having the chat on screens because immediate feedback. Which yeah, is, which I love. And I, um, I love lowly. But yeah, recycling. I used to sit on Discord with my best internet friends every day. Uh, I'm so busy now. When I come home from work, shooting, editing, whatever, I just pass out and go to bed. Yeah. But in December, I'm gonna free time to shoot the shit with my friends. That's not going away. But yeah, I love Discord. I love my like close internet friends. Blah blah, blah all that stuff. All right, you can continue. Boom. Um, no, it's it, it's honestly, it's like, like you said, you do what's in front of you. Yes. Because that's what you have. Like, you can't keep hoping for the future or, you know, trying to plan against the past. Like, really. Yeah. And also, like, again, like, I, I put so much shit into action this year because it stopped being one day, one day, and realizing the day is now. Nyrate, oh, 210. Nyrate. I love you, Nyrate. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, I love you, Nyrate. Uh... Doing this thing. Oh, narrate! I want you to narrate my life. Morgan Freeman's my favorite narrator. Okay. Um, but what I was gonna say is, everything used to be one day, one day, one, one day, and now it's like, that day is now. So I'm not waiting around for anything. Uh, that's why, like, I don't know. You hear me talk. It's like, okay, in December I have this time, time for this. Like, that's why I made plans back in July. In October, I'm going to Montreal. In October, that time came and went. I put everything into action. I use a, a website called Monday.com, which is the cure to my OCD. Money.com is a project management website, and I I have a person. It's a tool used for businesses. Uh, I have one just for Frank Howley, just for myself. Brian's on there too, so we can coordinate Twitch stuff too. But it's like I needed something to plan stuff, and immediately I'm able to put stuff in action because I have all these tools. I have a fucking planner that I put everything in action to. I have all these tools instead of just sitting around saying one day like I, I put stuff in action. Yeah, uh, and it's exciting because. Uh, it's like I've, I've been able to make so much stuff happen and take on so much because I'm able to make time to plan stuff. But the lo- result of that is I don't have time to play World of Warcraft on Discord. Yeah, Monday.com. I really like it. There's a free trial. There's a there's different plans, but there's one if you're a two-person team or less, you can subscribe for a cheaper rate. You just have to email them. But yeah. Yep. All right. I need to I'm gonna get some put on my raffle. Honestly, whatever it takes for you also, to get organized is what you need to do. Yes, whatever system it is. Post-it notes. Longest whatever time, longest time I, I just putting stuff in my iPhone note was good enough. Then I got so busy that the iPhone note wasn't good enough. I needed better ways to look and navigate my data, so I tried Excel, but it was ugly. Money.com was perfect. And then Excel I used my planner. Sucks. Yeah, my, uh, I used a planner, which is great, but that was only good for a week-long view. I need something that I can look at months at a time. That's why Money.com, as my projects got bigger, Money.com worked. Also, someone talking about Discord making friends, you can post a link to the PPS Discord. Oh, that's right. I haven't dropped, dropped that at all. all right. Yeah, we have this wonderful PPS Discord running People all 24-7, the there's voice time. chat. That's how we ping all the big dogs. Hey, we're going live. That Brian will ping that before PPS. I'll ping that before last game standing. Uh, a lot of big dogs, 24-7. Feel free to chat. People make friends. People play video games. Uh, again, too busy, but maybe in the December when I have time, I can pop in. Every once in a while when Brian and I are making coffee, we'll just we'll pop on there and say a little hello. Yeah. Uh, I, I performed. I, okay, I performed electric guitar on the, the Discord. And again, this is still big dogs. If people donate money, we will perform whatever song you want. Yeah, I dropped that Streamlabs link in the chat. Yeah, I think it's down that hall. Okay, where he's looking? All right. Yeah, and you, you got one dead? No. Whatever. Oh, got, yeah, it's yeah. through that little, like, All right. hallway. I wonder if there's a lot. I'll switch to my... I, I totally forget how to take cover, too. Is it R1? No. I think it just auto-does it. Oh, it's square. Wow, I've never used cover this whole game. Oh, we, my God. We did at the beginning, Yeah. but then we took a week yeah. off. Look at that awesome painting. Oh, yeah. All right, he's going down. Yeah, I think they're in that parlor, or, or maybe they're up shit. those stairs. Oh, yeah. Nitro Drive, shout out to Mega Moeka's Discord. Yeah, shouts out. But yeah, it's uh, it's great. It's great. I think we 
No, don't barricade it. Okay. Oh, I don't have red dead mode. Shit. Not yet. Got him. I need someone to drop some juice. All right. I love I love that slow die where they fall back. It's cool. It's really funny. Now you got two. Hell yeah. Hold on to them. Look at all these boys. Rahidian. What's your favorite graphics card? Uh, like, Rahidian? <laughs> NVIDIA? NVIDIA? Shit, I am low. Why didn't any of these guys drop a Alien fucking... Alright. What? I... Oh, he oh, dropped he the did. juice. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna try... Ooh, ooh. Capping his Wait, knees. Can't. Oh, shit. I didn't think there was going to pop out and shoot. Damn it. All right. Well, next time I'll throw dynamite down there. Damn it. Damn it. Darn Discord it. Discord is the new hotness, Nitro Dubs. That's true. Ooh. Oh, sorry. my God. Do the whole thing again. We're so close. Next time I'll throw my dynamite. We're learning. Yep. Darn it. Throwing in the Mega Moeka hype. Shit. Love that. Not messing around. Damn it. Sucks for you to all over again. All right. That's all right. I did want to give a shout out. Uh, Earlier in the chat, P Moth mentioned that uh, your stubble looks very good. Oh, thank you. Again, talking about how busy I am, I've been too busy to fucking shave and, it. And and like, I'm so happy only because uh, there was like one week where Frank was like super busy and he didn't shave for like ten days instead of his normal like. I have a fucking like, set routine every Wednesday routine. I shave. And I was like, Frank, honestly, like, just let it go out. You look no, like Spielberg I, I, in the it, '90s. It's so fucking itchy. And and yeah, he just like he won't believe me. So I'm just happy that you're you're telling. You're telling him more. Other people gotta convince him. What's the routine? I, I have a Kalamazoo from Lush, which is like a beard scrape. I hate Ooh. how itchy it is. Do I just have to fucking wash it every five minutes? Like, what the hell? Um, no, it's just like your hair on your head. Like, your hair it. on your head it gets, gets oily. It's so itchy. Okay. You gotta wash your beard once a day, like you do when you take a shower. Okay. I always put conditioner in, in it when I have really? a beard. Even my mustache. But I, I shave with conditioner. I don't use shaving cream. Whoa. That's a... Maybe of shit. It's like I'm, I'm doing this corporate job. I have to look pretty nice. Yeah, no. But... After this corporate job, we'll try it. for fucking December. Uh, we'll do uh, no shave December. Yeah, you know, after my film festival, fuck it. Let's grow a beard. All right. Uh, let's. I'll be December. I'll be. The, I'll grow a Christmas beard. That, that's what. I'm, that's what I call it. Christmas beard. What the fuck is TikTok? So I had this conversation with Heather Campbell. Uh, man, again, one of my favorite subjects. <gasps> Audrey. Sorry. Oh, that was very loud. We talked about uh, so Audrey ch chimed in. Thanks, Audrey. <laughs> a genuine emotion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, uh, everyone here is debating about the beard. I'll grow up for December. Uh, we'll see. But what I was gonna say, TikTok. So for the longest time, kids were all about Snapchat, uh, and the kids were also about Vine. Well, guess what? Uh, Snapchat's kind of dead. Vine is dead. TikTok is now where all the kids are. It used to be an app called Musically. TikTok yeah. is basically like YouTube or Vine for kids. People making little short videos. Um, a student I mentored back in 2016 uh, is one of TikTok's biggest influencers with like 400,000 followers. Oh my god. And I was having this conversation with uh, with Heather. A lot of uh, like younger people, everything is on Instagram. Like a lot of people don't use Twitter. I was in Montreal. People in Montreal use Facebook and Instagram, but people use fa Instagram. Instagram is where it's at. People use Instagram stories as Twitter now, which I like. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, not so much on Twitter. It's more older people. Dr. Ryan. Lit my own worst lit enemy. All right, All put right. that. On the, we're gonna play that as soon as I beat this level. Or let me finish this TikTok thing. Uh, so Ryan, we're gonna get that lit. Thank you so much, Dr. Ryan. We'll, we'll play that for you. Um, but so yeah, TikTok's a site for like, is an app for like kids. Uh, kids are love. Kids love TikTok. So that my my former student uh, has like 400,000 followers on TikTok. She only has 16,000 on Instagram. That wow. shows the generation gap. Kids are on TikTok. I don't know. It's like Vine for kids. Uh, but it's the new thing. But there's so many fucking media platforms. Ultimately, it's like we kind of talked about earlier. It doesn't matter what platform we're on. We're still going to be ourselves. Yeah. So, like, that's why I don't care that this is on Twitch and it gets dumped to YouTube, that gets dumped to Twitter, that Instagram. Like, we're yourselves. Again, if we hang out with in person, like, when I hang out with Ryan in person, it's fun. That's why I like having Ryan in the chat. It's like we're all just hanging out. It's very cool. Matthew Bruce just texted. No. Oh, that was something earlier. Okay. Matthew Bruce texted me, but that's because I texted him earlier. Okay. Um, yeah. It's all good. Um, booyah. I want to see what people in the chat are saying. They're saying, yeah. Power of cute French girl. <laughs> there you go. Power of cute French girl. Yeah, dude. That's the other thing, too. I talk about relationships. Um, I fell for this French girl because it was, again, it's what I teach. Your normal is someone else's extraordinary. This girl in Canada is French Canadian. Hey, it's already a different country, it's a, but she's French. So there's an accent, which is so cute. Yeah. But it's like, 
her everyday normal is so exotic and cool. Just like our everyday normal, California, Palm Trees, San Diego is so fascinating for her. So there's just natural attraction. We both like each other. We have the same taste and interest, but it's also we have these come from these different worlds. Whoa, French Canada. Whoa, San Diego, LA. It's like, oh, there's that extra net, you know, this extra thing. Whereas every person down here, we're just used to San Diego, so it's boring. Like Josie and I realized this after we broke up. We we lived in Orange County, but we never explored Orange County because it's like, yeah, it's fucking Orange County. Yeah. But imagine if a tourist comes to Orange County. Wow, there's Disney and all this stuff, the beach. It's like, oh yeah, we, it was just numb. We we're numb to it. Yeah, absolutely. So when you have someone in, who's like, see, thinks everything you're doing is exciting and vice versa, it's a confidence booster. Um, but let me beat this little thing and then we'll do lit. My own Lord send me. Hell Steffi B yeah. is in Chicago. I would love to go to Chicago. It's why I like talking to all my say this endearingly, all my Wisconsin nerd friends, they're fucking cool, but they're like gamer nerds in Wisconsin. But that means they play D and D. They go to anime cons. Like they fucking go in their basement and play Mario Party. That is so charming and cool. Mm-hmm. Like I want to go out to Wisconsin, Chicago again. But that's why it's, it's fascinating. Uh, Juve Howard is also in a long distance text in Canada. Like that's what's fun. Bye, Audrey. Have a good night. She's uh, good oh, night. The, I like seeing the heart emoji with Jared Thorbon. Hell that's yeah. beautiful. Boom. Jared. Boom. I like all these long distance relationships in the chat. People. Oh yeah, very cool. Quebec accent. Yeah. Boo! Oh, like oh, bam! That's very cool. All right, we're gonna get through this. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's fun. And again, that's why I like talking about this stuff on the Big Dog stream. Like, I like being able to talk about this stuff. I like people's different perspectives. So like, it's fucking cool. Um, all right. I'm gonna phone, Fo- finish this. So we yeah, get to focus lit. in on this. Yeah. We're gonna get through this. Give me the power of emojis in the chat. Yeah. So happy of Jared Thorpe on the same. TV wonders if we've ever been to the UK. I have. I have not. I want to go so I can visit C Barker. Oh, dude, and, yeah. And see Peter Serafin with Stu Comedy. There you go. No, I, I would just do it just to see Stevie B. Gotta love that That's Stevie true. B. Gotta no, I, some... I love the UK. I thought it was great. Yeah. I thought it, I was there during the Euro in 2004, which was the best time to be there. This was before uh, England got eliminated, so everybody was still happy. Don't get eliminated. Um, beautiful place. I want to go back, but I want to go back to Scotland. Scotland? I own land there. That's, that's how I have my lordship. All right, I'm gonna fuck you up. There you go. Just take all the fuck. Uh-huh. Cowabunga, dude. Blowing up, bruh. Nice! <laughs> oh, what a great it stun locks them. Perfect. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy Rahidian. You're dead, bro. Yo. Oh, yeah. Um, D&D. D&D. Can you put that just at the bottom? That's something. I, that's a great idea. Ryan, best, Ryan DM'd me. Uh, if Ryan comes down, he comes down a lot. We should have Ryan host the D and D thing. But yeah, just yeah. just put that D and D slash Doctor Ryan slash Mega Sixty Four. That's something we would love to try. Um, very cool. Love you to that. Posting some Jared Thorbon emotes. If you're ever feeling good, you know, just put some Jared Thorbon emotes. That gets you going. It gets me going. I love it. Big dog himself. DM you. He's his dungeon master. There you go. Oh man. No, I would love to do that. Um, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Kurt, dog, Kurt Dog in the chat. Damn, all the big dogs. Shouts yeah. out. All, all big dogs. An arms Oh, turn. man. That'd be, that'd be fun. Do it at game days during the uh, breaks between... Oh, yeah. Wait, bring stuff. out your switches. Hey, legitimately, that'd be fun. Bring, yeah, bring your switches Something looks days. odd about these walls. Maybe I should shoot them. What's going on here with these walls? Go back to... Duo Dunk says, I'm always feeling good when I'm watching the Big Dog stream. Wow. I feel, yeah. I feel good when you're watching us, Duo Dunks. We, uh, we Something looks that. odd about these walls. Which fucking wall, bro? Which wall, bro? Which wall, bro? I think, it, is it back in the other room that you were in? I don't know. I feel like it'd have to be past the boss. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep skipping. Let's keep skipping. Like, is it a, do I melee this shit? Do I plant some oh, C4? It looks like the, the fuck. fuck this. So stupid. Oh, I'm sorry, Kurt Dog, but that sucks. Uh, that sucks. I had a uh, dude. I I, was, I went to an LA trip and uh, the the car I was in got broken into and we lost stuff. That that's just a shitty feeling. It's because it's not. There's the thing of losing your stuff, but it's also just the thought that someone would be that malicious to to, to do that. You know, to yeah. steal shit. Like that's a shitty feeling. I'm sorry, but it, that that's also why when that happened, when we encountered a robbery, I texted several friends because it's like this sucks. I need to share this. Yeah. And it was like, hey, even someone saying sorry to hear that, it did was like, okay, like it's so yeah, Kurt Dog, that sucks. I'm that really sorry, sucks. but be, us being like change that, I hope that makes it feel better. It sucks. It's bullshit. Yeah, he did mention that they did have a uh, possible ID on him, so there that's awesome. Go. Bring him down. That's uh, what I'm doing. We're gonna get Kurt Dog's switch Kurt, back. That's Kurt what we're Dog, breaking in this mansion. If you get a new switch, or if you get your old switch back, which is what I hope happens, 
Uh, you know, Mario Party at game days is Mario year. Party on Switch is great. I, I like uh, playing Wally World. Mo Mo Monty Mole, sorry. Can, can you clone games so that you can play if you don't have... I don't know. Uh, there were several things that was like, you need a second Switch for this, but I wasn't sure, like, do we need a second copy of Mario Party? Uh, I just didn't want to be on the computer when I was in Montreal, so I didn't take the time to look it up. But, I, I, but think it, yeah. I, I think the Switch is one game, one console pretty, yeah, pretty consistently. But, like, there was specifically where it's like, Use a second Switch. This game uses. I don't know. It seemed like you might because a lot the Nintendo DS had a lot of modes like that where it's like local multiplayer. You don't need a second cart. So I wonder if uh, that was there because it, it. I don't know. It was interesting. I don't know. Like if you see the menu, you would understand what I'm talking about. Like it seems like you you just need a second Switch and it would do okay. something. But yeah, I don't know. There's, oh, someone says think it's the, two copies. There you go. Yeah, pe people in the chat are saying I don't think you need it. But I think that it makes it better. Either way, I mean, one of the greatest things about the Switch is it is like you have a, a removable media device, so you can put oh, yeah. whatever card you want in there. Hell yeah. And if you don't know where to find mini USB cards, you guys, there's one place that you can go to oh, to find the best deal because it'll get you a great deal on it. Wow. It's called Cheap Ass Gamer. Oh wow. They'll, you can follow them on Twitter and on Instagram, anywhere that you want. But really, that's that's one of the best places to find cheap ass deals on micro Ooh, SD cards. Yeah. Cheap ass gamer. I, I, they had like some really good deals on ones uh, a couple nights ago. Speaking of good deals, uh, we got a good deal in the chat. Doctor Ryan, wait, I don't want to close this out. Doctor Ryan for a good deal for five dollars. Oh, that's he, right. He wanted to see Lit live in concert. So you know, for five dollars, Doctor Ryan. Now, I generally missed having my guitar when I wasn't in Canada. That sucked. Uh, I did go into a Best Buy and was a, and was one of those obnoxious guys who play guitar. I like that you found a guitar exactly like your other acoustic. Oh yeah. I, I noticed that in your in your uh, Instagram post. Oh yeah, bro. Ugh. Let's see. What the fuck is this? Happens every time. I don't know. Where's what your I, pick? I'll go grab it. Oh my god. If you guys knew how many picks this motherfucker had, and he always loses them because he never puts them back where they're I supposed need to, to go. I need to find you. I'll find some dumbass picks. It's like fucking Garrett. Use a quarter. <laughs> Dr. Butt Ghost points out something that I did want to bring up. If you guys have not seen this on uh, Twitter, I don't know how real it is, but right now there is reports that there is a like a brick like a, a message that on PS4 will brick your system no. if you open it. So set your message settings to friends or contacts only. That sucks ass. Uh, and don't open anything from anybody you don't know, which I don't know how that's still something we have to say. That's in great. I know, right? But it's like, hey, I don't have fucking time to touch my plate. Yo, dude, let's open up messages right now live on stream, dude. What's the worst that can happen, dude? <laughs> well, yeah, we'll have to use Big Dog contributions to buy you no, a new fuck. PS4 Pro. Uh, my <laughs> It's funny, I looked at the tabs for this a lot, but it's a, so, fuck, okay. My, all, the rate problem is all my guitar picks are black and all my furniture are black. I looked up how to play it, it was like... Look at the real version. Mm -hmm. All right, this is dedicated to Dr. Ryan, the D&D master. Uh, and again, if you don't know, if you donate money, uh, $2 or 182 to get the Blink-182 discount, we Minimum. will perform any song you want on Minimum screen. Is 182. All right, I'll bump up the backing track, too. Um, oh, I was right. So it's like, let me practice with us. Ugh. Ooh. I haven't played guitar in a few weeks. No, oh, wait, seven, hold on. Give me a sec. For seven. Oh, it's... And then it's... Okay. Well, just fuck it. All right, fuck it. We'll do it live. Oh, I, I miss minis. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Turn on on the wait is it? <laughs> then you put on Twitch and went and watched the big dogs, and then you saw them stream some Red Dog Revolver, and then they told you to. 
go to GBass Gamer. You can save some money on games. Follow GBass Gamer. They're over there on Twitter and Instagram. Follow GBass Gamer. Follow GBass Gamer. Gamer. Oh, G-Bass game, oh, G-Sack game, oh, G-Bass game, Mer. <laughs> and sometimes we all like to go to Montreal and have, we all like to have some fun when we go on a trip, and Frank comes back with stories of love in Montreal and the big dogs are streaming. They're streaming Red Dog Revolver tonight. Big dog. channel on Twitch, they're playing all the greatest hits on this internet, and you can tune in Big Dogs all the time, and give yeah, us all donations, oh, sell out, fuck yeah, I can't wait, I gotta scratch my nose, Jew Howard gave fuck. us a fuck donation, baby. we're gonna play Real Big Fish Sell Out, Big dogs, thank you for tuning into our stream. We're thinking about you as on big dogs. Damn. Sell out is probably my favorite real big fish song too. Dude, I like that was good as shit. Thank yeah. you, Dr. Ryan. Shouts out P Moth, I appreciate that compliment. Oh Del Naco, join the big dogs. Shouts thank you out. so much. Oh, oh my fuck, god. I actually hit the chat. Oh god, what'd you do? Hold on, one second. Big dogs. Big dogs for life. Big dog nation. Uh, uh, shouts out to Ryan. It's no surprise to me. Deals are, are my own. We're saying to me. Spanish lots of money. Then I don't use them, my wall. It's kick the shit let's, out let's, of me. Let's see. Okay, so it's <laughs> bum 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 So it's like Ugh, hold on. Oh. Do 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 I'm gonna learn this first. Oh, shouts out, Ron, big dog. To be a ghost by Jeff Rosenstock. Right, uh, right, cool. Middle by Jim. We'll do middle by G Jimmy Eat World. There won't be a MIDI of that Jeff Rosenstock song. So put, write down G uh, Jimmy Eat World. I want to learn this little bass trick first before we start it. So it's like. Do, 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 do. Shout out to Nico. Says right. big dogs are seriously his new favorite thing. Gonna get those deals on big games. Super Nintendo is installed. We're gonna 
back now. PlayStation Plus! I dropped my pick. Big dogs tonight. Big pick dogs! I dropped my pick. Tonight. Pick it up. Frank dropped his pick on the ground, and I don't know if I can sing this song by myself. My. chat's really cool and thank you for joining our stream tonight it's real fun hanging out with all these big dogs how long is this song a lot of us in the 90s real big fish i heard they still tour but who knows they're just living in orange county there's too many skull kids with bucket hats running around the high school i saw the off the best every week when i was in high school Dr. Ryan's for more again. Dr. Ryan will fix your backs, but you know he's gonna spend those money on playing games and get those platinum trophies. Get the platinum trophies, Dr. Ryan. Get the platinum trophies. Make lots of money fixing backs, even though chiropractic is debated whether or not it's a real medical practice, but you're a big dog, so I trust you, Ryan. You're the best doctor in the world. Or a sellout. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Hashtag real doctor, but the real is R-E-E-L. That's right. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? If you go to medical school, it just takes some time. All right. I forget who requested this. This was Rohan Big Dog for yeah. Jimmy Eat World. Jew. Is this the middle? Yeah. So uh... it's like... Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I don't know the words, but I know... The... Don't beat yourself all day, the big dogs are here in town. <laughs> and then just to be conscious of our neighbors, because it's 11, we'll, we'll keep the singing yeah. a little quieter. Or you can get closer, but... Okay. Yeah, mini. ASMR. Hey! Watch the big, big dog dogs. stream! talk about stuff how to succeed at jobs and relationships because we're all big dogs because we're all big dogs and we're all happy to have you here we build a big ass community and we love all you big dogs throwing jared's in the chat hey gonna save money I'm the best gamer. gamer. Twitter and Instagram. Hey, too many games out this fall. But thankfully, the Pilgrims invented a holiday. It's called Black Friday. It yeah. happens the day after Thanksgiving. You're gonna get the deals. Black Friday will go on sale. 
Get the deals. Get the deals. Probably super cheap. Get the deals. Well, the Final Fantasy was a game that came out a year ago. Nobody bought, but maybe I will for like ten dollars because it's cheapy and I like lightning for Final Fantasy. I'm gonna talk over this guitar sound. Stream. We're having a great time watching the song. I got 100% on that solo. He nailed and that I'm solo. Doing star power. He's in rocking mode. The big dogs. And it's a real fun time to stream Red Dog Revolver. You just gotta post the emojis in the chat. You can be obnoxious and post emojis in the chat. I like the Tweet. Oh, that's when the song ends. Don't forget to follow G Best Gamer. That's the easiest song to play. You know what? Wh wh which song is Island in the Sun? How's that go? Oh, I don't know. Island in the Sun? Isn't that a Weezer song? Oh, yeah. You know, Steffi B is a subscriber. So, you know what? If you're a subscriber and you casually want to toss off his recommendation, no guarantee, but if we're in the mood, we might take it. So, Steph, you're a subscriber. We're going to do this for you. Don't know what this is. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not going to yeah. do the full song because I don't know it. I did. What the fuck? Big dogs. Big dogs. Big dogs. Oh. And the big dog stream on Twitch And we hang out with our dogs We all have fun on twitch.tv Slash Frank Howley And it's something we tune in and have fun We believe in aliens We like to go to space just like Damien Chazelle Big dogs Big dogs And the big dog stream again We returned after a week We took a vacation And Frank experienced some fun we both hung out with our friends And we came back and we said We gotta meet back with you And stream some big dog games And I'll always have to watch Cheapest Gamer on Twitter Go to Instagram and search and follow Cheap Ass Gamer. Big dogs. Big dogs. We're all just happy you decided to come and be on the big dog stream with us and having lots of fun. Big dogs are back and we're gonna keep on big dog streaming. Thank you everyone uh, play. Thank you, Steffi B. She donated no <laughs> money. We don't have to do the full you. thing, but thank you so much. Holy shit. I thought that song was over a minute ago. Jesus. Save me. Am 
might be it for now. If anyone wants to donate, we'll do another. Oh, wow. Uh, there is one more. We might do another session. If you want to start donating, we'll save them for the next one. Unless anyone donates right now. There's one song I want to do. Not the whole thing, but I just want to do a pinch of it. Okay. Or we can save it for the end. We're going to keep playing. Uh, I want to play this song because I've been dying to play it. 47 big dogs. 47 That's big a lot dogs, of big dogs. Man. At 11 p.m. This is different than how I learned it, but... Oh, you should find the one that does it the way you learned it. Ooh. Chamron. Whoa, Jordan Jones. Junior Smasher Flagpole Sitta. Holy Flagpole shit. Sitta is like... I don't think... That... <laughs> Which song is Flagpole Sitta? You'll know it. You'll... F oh my god. Holy... Do they have tabs for Flagpole Sitta? Who right. sings it? And no one's gonna kick our ass. My we're big dogs, and we're so rough. Cause we keep streaming. Hey, big dogs coming to get ya. We're out on the prowl for you, so you better watch what you're doing. Everybody wants to save some money So follow Cheap Ass Gamer And you can save on some deals I'll tell you save on games And hey I'm not, I'm not dumb I wanna save some money So I follow Cheap Ass Gamer Hey But I like money and I like games, so I want to say that. I like heard the song a few times on the radio, don't have any context to it, don't really care. Yeah. The big dog asked for it, Jordan Jones asked for it. Oh yeah. It sounds very similar to Jimmy Eat World. It Paul's really song. does, it's fucking me up. Sing about the bugs, son. Okay. The of what happens here? I'm a flagpole sitter. I sit on the flagpoles. Sing all day long. If someone passes out, we put the flagpole half staff. Pay our respects. Hey, we pulled off a bug stun. And Rocco wasn't sure what was going on. Take a little break. Taking a bit of a break. Thank you so much oh, to everybody who food? donated. I got, I got, went to the grocery store. I got Cheez-Its. I got an ice cream sandwich. I'm going to have a little ice cream sandwich and get fill some more coffee. 
Uh, and grab anything from the kitchen while I go. Yeah. Uh, no, I think good? I'm good. All right, Brian can. I'm good. Say hello to the chat. Chat, what you doing? Any friends out there? Feel free to let your friends know. This this Twitch is so mm -hmm. cool. You gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Whoa! Tell your friends. Tell your friends about our Twitch chat. Tell your friends. It's fun. We like to have you here. It's a good time. Uh, Luigi's Mansion just came out on 3DS, and I completely forgot about that, so that kind of sucks. But, I hope it comes out on Switch, or Black Friday pickup. Because Black Friday is going to be a good time to save some money on games. Uh, what's the worst ICP song that isn't Miracles that we could get Brian to sing word for word? I mean, I could Hocus Pocus, anything off of their first five albums i don't want to say anything uh whatever's on tabit will do honestly i'll drop a link to tabit mojave cyclone asks who i would main in smash ultimate uh i will probably start off with uh i don't know because like smash ultimate is so different I used to play Falco. I used to play Sheik. They aren't the same in the game. Zero Suit Samus is somebody who I really enjoy playing. Uh, there was a Dragon... What's it called? Dragon... Not Dragon Quest character. Fire Emblem character that they added later on that was a girl, but you could also be a guy. And I forget what that character's name was, but I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, so I'm, give me a bunt cake. Oh, damn. I need a bunt cake. I've never had a bunt cake on... I've never... <laughs> I've never had a bunk cake on Twitch. I've never had a bunk cake in real life either, no. so let's, let's do this. Corinne, yeah. Yeah, that's that's who it was. I had a great time with that character. I thought that she was great. Um, I like that Cloud and Ryu were in the game, but I felt like they just broke the game and made, like, if they're not balanced in the in, in the ultimate release, then, you know, fuck that. Is that carrot cake? Bunt cake? Not, I think it's pump. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, piece. Blunt cake? Whoa. Blunt cake. Chalupa Prince. It's like Super Mario Sunshine. It's sun smile. This is good. You yeah. Want to buy? You want to buy? Oh sure. Mm. Very good. Mm. You can't see how the sun was smiling. It's like a shiny. Oh, that's this, this good. Is good shit. I like the frosting. Mm-hmm. Wow. High quality. High quality snack from the big dog. Oh my god. More important. Oh, it's fucking good. Wow. Yeah. Right. Wow. That was uh. Um, that was Keep surprising. That here. Holy shit, that hits the spot. More important, Big Dog's got to say hydrated. Oh, dude. Big Dog water break. Now, now that you're here, that I didn't realize. Uh, big Dog's got to get hydrated. Big Dog, stay hydrated. Woo! All right, let's see. Oh, JC Jones is here. What up? Oh, we're taking a little food break. A little bunch of foodies here. Oh, Zippo Matt is here. What up, dog? Matt, I talked about how much I love the Wisconsiners earlier. Oh, okay. Got some coffee. We're gonna be Red Dead Revolver. What's the hydrated meme? If you've been watching Big Dog since day one, you know Big Dog stay hydrated. Although I think every time we talk about staying hydrated, people in the chat say there's a hydration bot on Twitter that or Twitch that will tell you to stay hydrated. I don't know. That just seems like a good idea. It's a Twitch meme. Interesting. I'm new to Twitch. But you are at Sig Ninja. You're a big dog. So I value what you have to say. You're the big dog. Steffi B. Steffi B, the Chicago wizard. Love you. We're all here. We're all big dogs. We're all friends. We're all allies. And you get a Monty Mole mug. I forget to drink water, Ryan. I like It gets so busy, and then I sit down, and I drink water, and one gulp, and I'm like, oh, that's some good shit. Oh, my God. I had a giant bomb mug, but it broke. So, you know, pretend something cooler's here. I mean, I'll check out Bad Times of the El Royale. It got decent reviews. I don't think I'm going to see it in theaters, but I'll download it if it has any awards buzz, but I'll check it out. It's written by Drew Goddard. What do you work on? He did Lost. Oh, okay. And I think he did one of the other Cloverfield. Yeah, I'll, uh, <clears throat> again, the shit I want to see in theaters and I'm dying to see, I'll download that and then yeah. we'll watch that like two months from now. We'll it, talk about it. it. Here, here's why I, normally I don't care. Like, you know, Drew Goddard, whatever. Nobody really knows him unless yeah. they know Lost. <laughs> I'm blowing my nose. Hold on. Um, but 
He has Michael Giacchino scoring the movie, Mm -hmm. which means that he had a say in how the movie was going to look and come out. So to me, that means that he, it's going to be better than most. You know what I mean? Like that, that's like JJ Abrams casting Michael Giacchino and all of his shit. Hey, more, sorry, I keep getting, I had a cold for like three weeks. I think I'm at the tail end of it. Yeah, it's yeah. a new Red Dead cover art. It's leaked. This is a secret character you unlock. You unlock the big dog himself. All right. Got her water. I seriously had a cold for so long, but I was able to rest and sleep in Canada for a week, so all good. All right, hydrate. We ate some cake. That was a nice little break. That was good. That felt like a nice intermission. Mm-hmm. All aboard. Playing Red Dead Redemption. All right. A good transition sound effect. That's a great transition. All right, enter the full screen. Jared Thorbon for Smash Ultimate. Oh, Whoa. dude, you could do the me. That's awesome. Pre- All right, let's brick our PlayStation live on stream. No, I'm curious. What are people playing right now in the midnight hour? I always, again, my favorite part of doing a stream. <laughs> Homie's playing Final Fantasy XIV, <coughs> the good one. Colin Bauer not playing anything. Spider-Man and Yakuza, not much, but all right. That's Late it? night, yep. Hey, it's a, it's a midnight, right? What time is it? It's like midnight. I feel like I, I normally have. I, I kind of decluttered my friends list. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> oh boy. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Stay, stay, toes on the nose. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Back to this game. Back to reality. See, I like when we do the guitar shit because. What the oh fuck? My God. I'll reset this part. I, I paused it here because there was a cutscene, so we'll be able to reset. And don't forget that you have dynamite so you can just blow yeah. the fuck out of you. Blow, let's blow this popsicle stand. I'm gonna start saying that's so my new catchphrase. Blow this fuck. Oh, there's some bosses. Yeah, we're, we're gonna die. If I have to reset, we got some dynamite. This guy here, though, is, is causing me a whole heap of trouble. Alright. I saw that somebody in the chat earlier mentioned something about the uh, Dodgers. If anybody knows the outcome of that Dodgers Brewers game, I hope the Dodgers lost. And I hate the Dodgers. So, uh, oh yeah, so it is postseason baseball time for those of our fans who are baseball Ballers. fans. Um, right now it's the division series, and as a San Diego Padres fan, I don't want the Dodgers to go to the World Series. If they can get oh, all fun. the way there and That's lose fun. at the end, like right before in the championship series, that'd be great. But right now, oh, Zippo Matt's telling me they hella lost. Hell yeah. So what are they at? Two and two in the series now. I just want them to get sent back to LA. Fuck the Dodgers. Dodger dogs <coughs> suck. Shit. That ballpark sucks. <coughs> Fuck, I bragged about being over my cold. Maybe not. Oh my god. Bless you. You know what? I mean, that's... Jesus. Ugh. Cheese and rice. Excuse me. Jeez. You need another tissue. You need another tissue, Dying baby. live on stream. Dying. Excuse me. Excuse me. Brew crew. What's the best ballpark in your opinion? No joke, Kurt Dog, and this is not because I live here. It's got it's Petco Park. Oh, I've I've me. been to AT and T Park or whatever it's called now. Uh, <coughs> fuck. I've been to Angel Stadium. <coughs> fuck. And I've been to uh God, what's it called? Minute Maid Park. In Houston, and uh, and I gotta say that out of all of them, Petco Park is probably the best one. Um, I know that there's a lot of history in other parks for sure. Like I know Wrigley or Fenway, or even God, New I Yankee Stadium. Um, those are gonna have history, but. Uh, I gotta say that Petco Park's just beautiful. Uh, that's not to say that AT&T Park isn't up in the top five. It's just Petco Park is just a, a joy to be in. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from San Diego. I went to a lot of games when I was up in San Francisco living there for three years. I went to a lot of games at AT&T Park. I probably went to games more when I lived in San Francisco than when I lived in San Diego and I'm a mile away from the ballpark. Um... But that being said, I do want to go to Fenway. I do want to go to Wrigley. I do want to see all of these things um, because they're, baseball is the longest played sport in this country. It's like the only American sport that like you know has been around for that long. And it's just cool to have that history. And now it's kind of coming back around where it's baseball again. It's not just home runs. It's not just people trying to knock it out of the park. But it's legit. 
<laughs> it's like it's like the Peter Pan scene. Kelly <laughs> Madison. You don't know? Dude, I went shopping in Montreal, Brian. Montreal's the fashion capital of the way of the world. <laughs> Peeing your pants is the coolest. <laughs> Everybody in Montreal pees the pants. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Can, you know wow, what? Wow, I want to be cool at too. You know what's cool? <laughs> Big Dog's talking nine dish Adam Sandler voices. Oh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat's cool. Oh, no Donkey Kong. Kong's cool. crazy. <laughs> Peeing your pants is the coolest. All big dogs pee their pants. Big Dog Nation. <laughs> All big dogs pee their pants. If you like the big dog, then you pee your pants. Then you're a big dog. Yeah, dude, that's how you do it, bro. Piss in your pants on stream. All right. There was a big dog that lived in a shoe. <laughs> All right. Back to Red Dog Revolver. Red Dog Revolver. Um. I had to sneeze. My pants were making me allergic. I tried to go to the bathroom to piss it all out. I didn't make it in time. That's all right. Are you a coming sneezer? Uh, what? When uh, some people say that if they sneeze hard enough, they come. No, I, it takes a lot of work to get me to. That's you know. So please, please, if only it were that. Is that did he drop dynamite? A little tornado. All right. <clears throat> Shampoo is better. No, big dogs is better. No, big dogs is better. All right. Oh, Mr. Penguin. All right, let's see. Ooh, he said duty. Okay, well, let's not fudge this up. All right. So we're, okay, this is the cutscene. We're gonna get here. At, when we get to that next room, we're gonna dynamite the hell out of it. Oh, uh, Kurt Dog says, uh, going back to ballparks. He has a lot of nostalgia for Candlestick, which is the ballpark and the stadium that the 49ers and the Giants the used to play in. Oh, there's a big-ass health... I wonder if my health kit is still there. A, a guy at the very beginning dropped a health kit. That was before the cutscene. Oh. I was thinking I could save it. So if I die... But shit, can I go back and get this health kit? You might. Mm -hmm. But right. a fun fact is that Kurt Dog's dad used to announce oh, at the oh, Giants' good, home there. game in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. So that's pretty cool. Fuck yeah, Kurt Dog. That's Sean's cool. dad does the... I think he's talked about like he works in the production truck for... Um, for the Padres, so... Ooh, I nuked Russ. Oh, Shot he dropped a big ass out. We'll save it there for... Uh, that, that it, yeah, that yeah. Yeah, it, I'm glad you even took it down, knowing how small it was. Can't get away with this. Whoa, Whoa bro, shoot buddy. him, Annie. Annie they all, okay, gun. we're just all gonna switch sides. It'll look fine. What is that? It's a gun. Damn, this rifle kicks no rear. Nothing, I'm gonna throw... Throw them all out. Throw them out, bro. Get them out. Get them out. Smoke them out. Let's smoke them out. I'm smoking myself out. How the hell do I get Whoa, out of here? Whoa, hotbox. There, there you go. Smoke them out. Fair, fucking Michael Moore did Fahrenheit like 2, and I don't think anyone saw it. Oh, yeah. Fahrenheit 11 9 or whatever? Yeah. I feel like before Twitter, like, oh, Fahrenheit 9 11 was like, all right, call to action. Oh, well, Bush does this. Wow. I feel like nowadays Twitter is already like, okay, every day, that's like, what's Michael Moore have to add? I don't know. Yeah, like, nowadays, it's just kind of... But again, like... You know. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, it's out. But yeah, I don't, I don't think, like, he has... I think now with Twitter, like, everyone has the same reach as Michael Moore did. So it's, like, it's just not as, like, impactful. It's like, all right, whatever. Uh, Al Gore did, like, the Environment movie, too. And, like, I didn't hear many people talk about that either. Oh, yeah. Uh, and again, it's the kind Inevitable of... Inevitable truth. And it sucks. It's like, oh, poor Al Gore. That must... It's like... Yeah, this shit's coming, but... Yo, dude, fucking... Have you seen, uh... First Man? You know, it's just like... Transformer? Yeah. Yeah, Transformer, dude. Because that was at the time, oh, right? poor guy. Yeah, because it's like, I know the environment's happening, but, yo, we keep it pausing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's fine. That's why I'm not planning on having kids. Like, fuck it. All right. So, let's keep it going. I got baseball in the chat. We're talking, making jokes about the environment. Oh, that was a good stream. Do you go back upstairs now? Yeah, probably. All right, we got past that. We killed them bosses. Like a boss, and then you die. I don't think kids say like a boss anymore. Check on the prisoner? Fuck him up. Jeez. Oh, oh he's, he's still, still up. Still up? Oh, that's like a late night text. Still up? Still up? Still up? You up? You up? Still Netflix up? and chill? Still up? Still up. Uh, God. I remember having <laughs> conversations like... I forget, but the whole concept of Netflix and chill is sickening to me. Because I'm, I'm there to watch a movie, we're fucking watching a movie. <laughs> when I lost my virginity, I invited a girl over to watch Old Boy. Uh, 
and Enter the Void. We watched like fucking six hours of movies and then we did it. I wasn't gonna fucking pause Old Boy to, you know, more important. Cinema is more important. So, honestly, yeah. Uh, after Enter the Void, which is like a fucking six hour movie. All right, Elevator of the Void. Speaking of Enter the Void, Gaspar Noe's new film Climax is coming out. Oh, I'm so excited. Boom, Rohan Big Dog moves up. Movies better than sex. Yep. Dr. 100%. Bucko, and and hey, you know what? Be, we, we, even better, there's movies with sex in them. It's called Whoa. pornography. Whoa. Watch out with the girl. That's, yeah, yeah. Not a joke. Are you right. a partner? American flag. <laughs> this game's problematic. How could they? Uh oh, this guy looks crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, using the trick. My, my finger's already on the down trigger. Look at that. See that shit? Check out Pornhub. Uh, it's actually Google. owned by all the legal porn sites. Uh, they just fuck. Yep, no. some Middle Eastern guy, I think from Lebanon, bought all of the porn sites and sells ad space on them. So it's all. It's all the same shit. It's all the same shit. They don't care. Thank God. Smartest thing they ever did. Yeah, it's all centralized. And now it's like YouTube, where stars can have their own pages. It's yep. like, wow, great. That's how Wiz Khalifa got big. Fuck this. Okay, look up this button. Okay. Go to the next, yeah. Walk through. We made some good progress on having yeah, to check the guy. I think we're pretty close to the end of the Probably. game. Probably. I'm feeling this. Feeling this. Oh shit! Motherfucker! What happened? Okay, I almost, I almost didn't restart and try. Ooh, what would have happened? I almost. <sighs> that, that would, I don't know. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Okay, we're here. Treat this duel like Mr. Kelly's duel. Hold. Okay. Lock the target onto his chest, then aim for the head. Okay. Mm. Guys, we only have, like, two more levels. We're almost... We're gonna beat this game tonight, and you guys will be part of Big Dogs Nation. The faster part of we, our history. The faster we beat this game... Fuck, I died in this one. That's fine. We reset it. No, we're learning. The faster we beat this game, the faster we can get to Matt Damon's Pro BMX. Oh, we almost got there. We almost got there. Love by Gaspar Noe. I thought it was shot really well. I still enjoyed it, but not as incredible as his other films. It was like, I watched it, and I was like, alright, that's it. Uh, different, but Blue is the Warmest Color was way better. Both films tell, like, sexual awakening, the story of sexual awakening and love and all that shit. Blue is the Warmest Color is really good. But yeah, I'm excited for Matt Damon's Pro BMX. We did buy it because of people donating. Yes. Thank you so much. We're we're excited. That's a, that's going to be the next... We also ordered a Dreamcast HD cable. So Ooh. we're some Dreamcast games. Again, Big Dogs will never stop. And again, like, I'm so busy now, but starting like December, end of November, we're gonna be doing so many big dog streams. And I'm gonna do more stuff with Maze Tour, just more stuff in general. It's all gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great time. I'm, I'm really excited to have a lot of fun doing these big dog streams. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, you know, we like Frank mentioned, you know, we have that HD cable for the Dreamcast. There's oh, yeah. one coming out for the Xbox. Can't wait. We're, oh yeah, fire. Yeah, We're gonna do all yeah, the time splitters yeah. games. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Booms. Uh, one of the things I was talking to Frank about that I think would be really cool to do is go through every King of Fighters hero story mode because one thing that people don't know about King of Fighters games is that there's actually a mainline story that's legit fleshed out through every single King of Fighters game. Mm -hmm. Each team has one, but there's always the story mode for the hero, and that actually has the story the of the game. I think the last level of the game. Um, I got the um, Blue Hippo. No, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Hyperlink. Oh. Let me yeah. pull this up. Uh, Flamewar Theater Season 2, I want to do it in 2019. <clears throat> yeah. So, that's, uh, it's on the list of shit to do. We already have some ideas, but I just need a time off because it's exhausting. But yeah, we'll do what, hopefully next year. This thing. Uh, Amazon, right? Yeah, or if I, Hyper, they just released it, and they're doing an Xbox One soon. Before I had like a VGA, to, I had like... I, uh -oh. I was daisy chaining uh -oh. like three different. What happened? Audio? Oh. No, no, no. Uh, I just didn't know you had the controller. Oh, yeah. Uh, before I was daisy chaining like a, a VGA box to an HDMI converter to it. Like, and it just, I had glitches. Thankfully, no more bullshit. Straight VGA to HDMI. Like, so clean and easy. Uh, and they're doing that for Xbox. Um, oh, I have Toy Commander on disc. I'm excited. We've talked about doing the Army Men games. We're all on the same page. We're all on the same all page. On the all on the same, same page. page. And yeah, I legitimately need. When I do Flame War Theater Season 2, I want to take the time to find good threads, because, like, finding the, the weird, like, Eevee for Brawl was crazy, and that was, some, that was something that someone found. So, again, if any big dog is watching, if you can find some deep, crazy shit, email me, frank at megas4.com. Yeah. Um, that would be cool if, like, the big dogs would help us find it. Uh, yeah. Um, there's, like, two threads already I have in the bag. Um, but it takes a lot of work, and um, when we do it, it'll be, like, fresh and fun again. Like, that's kind of what we stop. Yeah, it's just like, uh, how do we keep making this funny? But when it's fresh, it'll be fun. Um, 
Yeah, so you sent a Meverse thread, but I, I want to do stuff that, ha ha my rule, I have rules, it has to be accessible. If something is on a Meverse, I don't want screenshots of shit, I want it to be a living document. Yeah. So that's why a lot of stuff, like, I can't do anything. It needs to be I, linkable, too. I can't do anything off Lulinks Links, because that's a private message board. It can't be screenshots, because it has to be a living message board. So, yeah, it's very, like, specific. But it, it creates these sandboxes, and I go nuts with them, so, uh, Yeah. It'll be fun. But thank you, Kurt Dog. Again, there's no fault for sending something in. Sometimes someone sent something in, and it's like, ooh, that, and that's not a good thread, but that's a good topic. And then Yeah, I and then that for, gives us an idea. Yeah. So it's always really cool. And it's a lot of fun to be with Frank, like, as he's going through these uh, threads and trying to figure them out. It's, you know, it's a lot of reading. People ask us how you pick things out, and it's just like, you read it, and, and if it makes you... Oh, they blocked yeah. it off. If it makes you laugh, like, basically, that's, that's kind of what Frank's looking for. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, when we sit down to actually, like... Adapt them. Adapt it and trim it. That's all for him. Yeah, and there's lots of threads I've started and abandoned because, like, there's no funny way to yep. end this. It, it peters out. Again, with sketch comedy, <clears throat> escalation. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's a whole process. But, again, it's like, when I sit down and do Flame War Theory 2, I've done it once before. It's just it's just a matter of time, and I want to break from it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ro Rohan Big Dog says uh, the EV for Brawl one is one of his favorite and I, funniest videos yeah. ever. Yeah. Um, I showed that to my brother, who's, who's a gamer but not into the culture. And I mean, they were laughing at all of that yeah. because whether whether you know the gaming culture now and yeah. can I, you know get a snapshot of how that looks now from it, or you used to be on it because that's you know that's when it was at its you know just mm -hmm. burgeoning beginnings. You're you're reminiscent of it, and I and I think it, it's it speaks to most people who are even remotely involved in video games. <clears throat> we're going Griffin. We're getting Griffin. Guys, we're gonna beat this game tonight. I'm excited. So we, the, no, we did a bunch of Tony Hawk games, but this will be the first game that we beat as part of multiple streams through the big dogs. Yep. And yeah, we have a big list. Again, it's, it's just a bummer. I'm gonna be so busy these next few weeks. Um, but that doesn't mean we're gonna stop. Like, we'll just, we'll only increase it more. So again, thank you to all the people who subscribe. What was that? What the heck was that? Oh, an oh, explosion. Like explosion. So it's simulating tin, tin, tinnitus or whatever. Smart. I got scared for a second. Like, did something happen? Um, but yeah, thanks for all the big dogs supporting us now. It's only gonna get bigger. And yeah, thank you to everyone who retweets or likes when we go live. Brian and I, again, we, we're social, like we're media producers, and so we're very keen on social media. Even if you don't have time to watch us, or if you see us like tweet, hey, we're going live, even if you like it, that helps us out. Because like the more engagement a tweet gets, the higher it shows up on things. So if someone checks two or three hours from now, in case you missed it, oh, Frank and Brian are still live. So like that's why anytime an artist I like shares something, I'll like it. Like it, yeah, I'm know, the like, same way. I like to support shit. We we want to see everybody like elevated, mm -hmm. and if we can, what the fuck, the beeping. No, and if you know, if we I can get my rifle. That's it. And my well, I'll die, but I'll, I'll fix this next time. I know what to do. We want to help elevate you because we're not like I, like I was saying much earlier in the stream. Like, there's not much difference between the, pe yeah, well, Ooh, that's the people that you respect as professionals and yourself, mm -hmm. other than that they're doing it and and you're you're just perceiving yeah. it differently, or you just need to do it too. Uh, real so, fast, I I played all the Max Payne games. They're they're great. Max Payne one, Max Payne one, you don't hold up as well. Max Payne three, I played like uh, a year ago. I did it on my YouTube. I have the computer. Max Payne three is phenomenal. It's like a comic book. They're great. Yep. I love all of Remedy's games. Alan Lake, etc. They're great. Yeah, yeah. But keep going. Um. Oh, they're no different than you, me or you. Oh, Again, yeah, they're no I love, I love Sam Lake, the writer of Max Payne. I follow his Instagram. Yeah. He talks about reading Stephen King and Brett Easton Ellis. Didn't, it's you what I do. didn't he message you? Or over over the weekend, you were showing me that somebody... Um, and maybe it was the guy from Giphy. No, it was... Um, well, someone else. Uh, it, was it was a writer. Actually, someone, but uh, Denis Minochet, the lead actor of Custody and the fucking star of the opening of Inglorious Bastards liked my tweet. And it's just like, oh, it's just because I'm still supporting him, uh, you know. Yeah. But no, I, I messaged- He's just a dude. But yeah, like, I messaged, like, Daniel Dwyer likes all of my tweets, and it's like, yeah, he's just a guy making video content like I am. Like, anyone, everyone's accessible. Um, that's why, again, why I like doing Big Dog is like, yeah, Frank and Brian are going live. You can ask us, like, if you want to be an aspiring filmmaker or writer, how do we sh make Flame War Theater? How do we do yeah. any of our videos? I'll, I'll tell you everything. We, like, We can't tell you how much we feed off of the chat and, like, mm -hmm. all of the engagements that- that you guys give us, whether it's following us or donating or just yeah. being there or clicking being like, there, or clicking live. like, anything that you guys do. Like one thing, one thing that I kind of like. I don't know if I ever talked to you about this, Frank. But one thing that that I kind of wanted to to do with the big dogs is once we got affiliated, I don't want. In my mind, there's no difference between a Twitch Prime or a tier three, yeah, tier two, yeah. or tier one, or any tier. Yeah. The fact that you're there and you're thinking of the big dogs, even by just being here, 
singing the big dog songs that we sing oh yeah that's what makes me so happy to see like there's been a lot of great like buzz on social media around like frank and 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 i and the stuff we've been doing if you're on mega 64 or wherever yeah that marble at upstream we did had so many viewers that, that was awesome. so much fun that's that's you know breathe life into some you know pretty fun stuff for the future they announced a lot of fun stuff they were in the chat with us yep. talking about dlc they're gonna bring out on that game um but a lot of our friends who are artists like again oh, people who are, to, okay shit i have to, so uh, next time you think i'm gonna look it up you have to do the whole encounter again okay. no problem it's, it's the last level of the game That's um the but just just our our group of of you guys on twitter doing this it it's so great henry g uh at mr Jetly on on Twitter has been doing awesome fan art of us, and I wanted to give him a shout out because twice this week I've had to change my background. Oh, that's crazy. Because of shit that he made, uh, and then Tylon the Ninja also pig piggybacked off of some of it. But one of the things he made was this really awesome. It's kind of hard to see, but this. Really, oh my god, that horror one! Was yeah, this incredible. really awesome horror painting with like Frank in there. Everybody's in there. Then he went so far during the PPS to do this awesome Metal Gear inspired um, just boss and ocelot looking awesome. Then we did our bonfire cast on Sunday. Oh yeah. Again, his name is Henry G. Mr. Jetly on on Twitter, and like, hey, check that out. That's my background on my check phone it right out now. Check now, the funk soul brother. There it is. I, I can't, I can't believe I look so cool as a comic book. But I just want to give shouts out to everybody bubble. out there because there's, that guy's art to me is so impressive, and to him, all, the videos I'm making on YouTube and these Twitch streams are impressive. And there's not that much difference between the amount of work that goes into making one of those, as it, you know, it does for us to do this Twitch stream. You just practice your craft. Do you still have dynamite? Uh, yeah. Ryan, Ryan says, now that Frank and Brian and Rocco and streaming and everyone's streaming, there's no room. Ryan, stream whenever you want, be you. Yeah. I used to think, when I back when I was following like 700 people on Twitter, I didn't want to tweet because there's so many people tweeting, no one cares what I have to say. And then I unfollowed so many people, and now I tweet whenever I want because I don't have the anxiety. Ryan, tweet whenever the fuck you yeah. want, just do it. Uh, that's how I feel. Like, like Brent, we're, we're our best like Twitch friends are like Ray, Tina, Mega Moeka. We're all streaming different stuff. We're all being us. So it's like, stream whatever you want, Ryan. Like, yeah. It's like... Hell, Ray might be live right yeah, now. And yeah. if he is, go hang out there for a little bit. Yeah. Check out his and, th and that's And that's what I like about Twitch. It's seriously like, or even popping on different Discord channels, popping into different chat rooms. It's just like, or even walking to, and going to a party, there's different rooms. I'm going to hang out with this circle yeah. of friends, chat a bit. I'm going to go yep. here and here. Just people hanging Twitch out. Twitch is the new TV. It's channel surfing on... Yeah. On demand. Yeah, it's cool. uh, of anything. Not only do you have the ability to channel surf just completely live streamed content like this now, but you have BOD and like you have That's the ability cool. to watch whatever, and clips, whenever. So if you miss crazy, someone captured it. Exactly. Like. Then you have that community uh, part of it where you get people clipping it for you and making you know, hot spots of what they think the, the show is, you know, fun with. And that to me is the greatest part. I love Twitch because we can come on here and with, you know, just the click of a button, be talking to you guys and, and Motherfucker. streaming. Let those two fire. Got him. Got him. I don't know if it's over. It yeah, well, you kicked him in the head. Okay, I think it's over. Never did like him oh, Jesus Ooh. Christ. I like that we also got Stay Hydrated Bot to come in and uh, yeah. that, that, that's something Thank I've been you. hoping for. Beautiful. Oh, that's it. That's well, the hydrate box phenomenal. What a blessing. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. He was the governor. He was. Now uh, he's gonna the be the governor. Will be sniffing around here, and well, I'd hate to see you hang after all you've done. Five thousand gold. Sounds Ooh, like that hit the bounty. spot. Ooh. Five thousand in gold. That's a that's a mighty good. Yeah, that's, that's a mighty a, good. That's a pretty fair amount. Too. Guys, we beat. Red. We still have to play Showdown, so we're gonna do that. Whoa! Why did he give him the gun? I don't know any of the plot, so that's all right. Oh, he took. He took his gun. Wow. Give it to them. Ooh! Oh! Ah. 
That's cool. Nitro Dubs does point out that Mega Moeka does do D and D streams. Dope. Hey, we've gone to Mega Moeka for so much mm -hmm. uh, to to help us get us up and running as big dogs. She was part of the, uh, you know, really what what helped helped us know what we needed oh, to get yep. affiliated. So. If you don't already follow her on Mega Moeka Twitter, Twitter, Twitch, mm -hmm. Instagram, you 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 should cuz if you like if you like some oh nice. If you want to have some really nice awesome Where's the cowboy hat? Ooh. Where did it go? <laughs> Frank coronate him as the cowboy king. But yeah, great stream to have on, really comforting. She has an awesome voice and uh, she plays a lot of uh, Overwatch, and and uh, I don't know the name of the of the phone games, but a lot of really cool Japanese RPG phone games. What's me? It's if I was a YouTuber, I'd do a thumbnail that's like with the Red Dead. It'd be like, yeah, it'd be like ten things you didn't know about Red Dead with an outline. Yeah, ten things you didn't know about Red Dead. YouTube react Red Dead. Oh, uh, ten things. Ted, Ted, did you know gaming Red Dead? Whoa, Ted Bradshaw. Uh, uh, this YouTuber played Red Dead. A little I changed yeah. the uh, wake word on my Alexa. So now it's computer, but I had it as, an, as Alexa for about two months. So I keep shouting Alexa, turn the lights off. But Alexa won't turn the lights off, so I just He's have to right. say computer turn the lights off or computer turn the lights purple, which it's probably doing in the background right now. Instead of Alexa turn the lights purple or Alexa turn the radio on. Oh, oh shit. Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> Thumbnail tricks. That was a really fun game. All right, fuck all these people who worked 100 hours on this game. All right, I don't see what the big deal is. Okay, <laughs> let's keep it going. Keep it going. New big game plus. New game. Also, real fast, just don't forget who played this. The big dog. Easy. That was cool. Player options. Oh, I was gonna see if there was goofy shit. Bounty hunter. Yeah, are there cool filters like in Uncharted? Ooh, I like this. You can replay the whole game. And, but there, it's, it really is. Shoot all the head enemies just in the head. Clear the level without being hit. Clear the level while hitting the sheriff. It's like... Fuck that. I don't have time at, for this shit. Oh, dude. Get a combo full of 500 bucks and defeat Pig Josh. Frank should use Kai's powers. All right. Let's see. So, let's pull out. It's very important to pull out. Okay, let me pull, find... Fuck Pig Josh. I agree, Dr. Bug Ghost. Uh, let's see. We're gonna log you in as guest. If we still haven't made a new user, I keep meaning to like yeah, make a new user. For, me, Bruce or for me to sign in. No, yeah, we'll just do, we can do this. There's like the cell phone sign in, but uh, we'll, do another time. we'll do that another time. Alright, guest one in the house. Guest one. Let me look at the, the show. I got the red. I got the red. I got the blue. Okay. I got the red controller. So now we play red tape multiplayer. Put that X, see if you can. Oh yeah, Ooh, Ooh, this is really four Whoa, that's a lot of fucking. I didn't characters. buy everyone. Pig Josh, don't fucking not ever, not ever again, not in my life. Oh, I, Gigolo I, Hancock. Oh my god. Ugly Chris. <laughs> hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Fucking Smiley Faller. Yeah, what? Cool. Whiskey uh, Treadwill. Hedgehog. Gabriel. Gabriel. I <laughs> Buffalo. Bloody Tom. Dan. Standing Snake. Christine. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, every, every team for himself. Yeah, I didn't buy many characters, but that's right. Pick Christina. You won't let us dance. Then we'll make you dance. You wanna do one-on-one or we wanna do 2v2? Oh, yeah, let's, we get some AI. Oh, yeah, we can do get some AI. Get away from let's get fucking me. Ugly Chris. Is this fucking South Park 64? Why was there a fart sound? <laughs> Why was there a fart sound? I don't know. Bloody Tom. Alright. Well, fuck yeah, I like that. All right. Ghost oh Town, the mine, the ranch. I like the ranch. It's a pretty ass level. Let's do this one. Chat's oh. excited we're doing the multiplayer. 
Oh, yeah. Remember to sign your profile to your character. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Um, Still don't give a fuck. I forget what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we did play South Park 64 on Last Game Standing. Yeah, someone said it. We played it like two weeks in a row. That was fun. That was really fun. Fuck. What the fuck? I thought I picked Christina. I thought I picked the, like, little, like... Alright. It's like Resident Evil 4. It's like time splitter shit. How do you shoot? Uh, L1 to aim, R1 to shoot. I got this. Don't shoot me in the back. That's some cheater shit. Oh, you fucker! I, like, snapped on my sh butthole. Alright, you're going out. Don't shoot your dynamite. That's a cheater. Back. Wait, I don't want dynamite. Put the dynamite away. Give oh. me a gun. Fuck that. Why does he keep fucking winning? Cheater. Oh. oh this is kind of cool. I like how it's pretty fast-paced. Like Call of Duty, dude. Fuck, and I die so many times. South Park 64 is... Yeah, it's not a good game, but I played it a lot as a kid, so I like it. But, yeah, it's uh, weird. It's made by it's made by uh, by the Turok people on the same Turok engine. It's also a first-person shooter designed for N64, so it's like yeah, it's not great. Goldeneye, but yeah, me and fuck, I'm gonna get this guy. This sucks. Got him. Ah, he picked me up. I got a knockdown pistol. Fuck yeah, bro. All right. Got him. Yeah. Come here. I'm winning. I'm winning, dog. Oh, I don't want the fucking dynamite. Why are you fucking winning? Why are you winning, huh? Come back. Shoot this guy in the middle. Oh! Get him! Oh, I won! Tootin' Tarnation. Why the fuck didn't it let me pick Christina? Oh, Yard know. Signature 30. Thank you for the bits. If you donate a minimum of 100 bits, you get Sakura wow. popping that champagne. Thank you so much. God damn it. Brian didn't even play, and he won first round. Damn look, it. Look fuck. At that. And she got the hearts. Multiplayer settings. Go to multiplayer settings. I'm going to change my character. Dag nab it. I don't want to. What the fuck did make me pick Gabriel Novello? That's some bullshit. It's not who I want to be, dog. Oh, you wait. Fuck you that. Then we'll make you I see what happened. If you won't let wait, you can have, dance, uh, then we'll have multiple. Make everyone should be Christina. If you won't like let that. us dance, then All right. If everyone. You won't let us dance, <laughs> Let's do it, dog. If you won't let us dance, All right. then we'll make you dance. If you can't let us dance. I hope this mode is in Red Dead uh, Redemption yeah. 2. Oh, I can't wait for this. Mansion Grounds is good. Ghost Town. What do you want to do, Ghost Town or Mansion? Let's do Mansion. All right, we're here at the ranch, the Playboy Ranch. Here we go. Christy, Final Destination, Christine only. Don't care what any of that is. All right. All right, you're going down. Oh, this. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. All right. Oh, no wonder. Nice kicks, dog. Playing Streets of Rage. What are you... Oh man, Brian, I can't wait to do co-op games with you. Fuck you. All right. God damn it! Fuck. Anyways, can't wait to play co-op games with you. Uh, fuck. It'd be also fun when we get like four-player games in here. Like, I have invite friends over to play shit. That'd be fun. Have a good time. God damn it, dude. Fuck that. Someone link. So I'm not gonna click a Twitter link as I'm Twitch streaming. Feel free to DM it to me though. Thank you, yeah. son of Emac. So, I can't believe I died like four times. I have 14 bucks and you have a thousand. Some cheater. You hacking, dog? I think you're hacking. Where the fuck is it, right? Don't show off. Damn it. Oh, shut up. What the fuck happened, Brian? How are you so good at this game? I don't know. Kind of wish I was the one playing this now. No, no. <laughs> it's probably because when I play video games, I I can't talk. I can't split my mind uh, oh. like some people. I'm like the one Neo. I can do. I can do. Every I see everything at once. I'm Doctor Manhattan. All right. Yeah. I see all. Yeah. <laughs> Is this you? No, I'm shooting some fucking dumb AI. Why the hell? This sucks. It's like I'm finding the T-1000. It's just fucking respawn. This is stupid. This sucks. I 
gonna do a barrel roll or something. Feels like I'm not even hitting him. Oh, got one, finally. Yeah, baby. That was a good awesome. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, do I make you run? Do I make you Randy, baby? Yeah, baby. That's the um, TV version. Oh, really? Randy. Do I make you Randy, baby? Yeah, they couldn't say horny for some weird reason. Yeah, in the chat, we're heated, but feel free to uh, leave some comments. Or not, whatever. Yeah, emotes, Question, comments, uh, co whatever. Questions we want. Anyone watching on YouTube, you made it for four hours. Holy shit, thank you. I have so many emails to do as soon as I finish. That's right. I took. I drank coffee. I'm gonna stay up on. Fuck. Ah, yes. Look quiet. Sorry. Look quiet. Dude, we should play the PS1 game Bushido Blade. We should. We should do a night of dumb multiplayer PS1. Oh, games. we totally should. Fuck. Right, let's do a different level. Okay. Can't believe Brian's. Hey, I do like the different people start with different guns. It's kind of neat. Or like different characters, different guns. We're taking the same characters. Don't fucking change this. Oh no. Different levels. Dance, then we'll make you dance. All right. This is it. Wait, I'm gonna look at this. We should play Battle Tanks. Oh, Battle Tanks on PS1 would be fun. I remember Battle Tanks. Didn't that also come out on Dreamcast? The fuck? No. Oh, wait, I know exactly what you're talking about. Alright, here we go. This. Homestar 4000. Thank you so much, Homestar 4000. I love you. Thank you, Homestar 4000. You're my best friend. What are you fuck? What is this cheat you're doing, Ryan, up in this corner? Ryan's doing some cheats, not fair. I'm fighting off against two robots. Who got credit? You still my kill? Hope so. It's like fucking Ryan's been playing Halo. I know, oh. I'm, I'm gonna get out of the turret. I don't like that. That's not. Brian doesn't play that way. This is just like Halo. This is some bullshit. Hydro Thunder. I played Hydro. I, I, Hydro any, Thunder any, was my game. Any midway game, I played a fuckload of. They also did a remake or uh, HD, you know, whatever HD on Xbox Live Arcade. I can't wait to play fucking RDR2 deathmatch. Yeah, so fun. I, I I really hope they have this mode in the game. They should, yeah. Cause deathmatch was in regular GTA. Damn. Finally, first one I won. There Finally. you go. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah, too much. Too much woman. That was good. Let's change the level. Bitching. So happy of all of the, I did hear the origin story of Austin Powers. Uh, some story, because I, I, I listened to his Mark Maron episode. Oh, really? There was that origin? Dude, he talked about how his dad is from the UK. Oh. That's basically it. Oh, okay. If okay. you won't let us dance, then we'll make you Let's do... Dance. You know the bridge was a... Oh, let's do the graveyard. Fuck it. Yeah. He's wrecking ball. Wow, good. Yeah, feel free to always... Every stream, just comment what game. We already have a backlog, but again, the more we see it, like, it'll just... It'll stick. All right. We'll probably wrap up the stream soon, but if anyone has any more questions or talking points, let us know. But yeah, we, we beat Red Dead. Now, Ryan, would you want to try a bounty? Like, would you want to try a single-player mission, like an early one, to see, like, oh, only, you know, I want to see what that's like. Yeah. You want to try it? Let's try that. And I'll take the ring. I like that someone in the chat posted Big Dog versus Big Dog, Thorbond versus Thorbond. I it's wish true. my gun would be, like, consistent. That's why I feel like using a pistol. I've had, ooh, I have a rifle. Why the fuck is everyone so far away? This is just like Halo. Fuck this. Halloween traditions. I every year I work the I work my film festival and corporate jobs. So I'm always too busy. Actually, no, I do have a cor uh, annual tradition. Every close. every year, me and Kevin, we hang out with my friends in Orange County, Spencer and Connor. We play shitty N64 games and watch trashy movies all night, and it's the most fun. Uh, we call it the annual Halloween fart party. Uh, we play bad N64 games. Uh, it's the best. It's the best. So that's my annual Halloween tradition. Other than that, I'm always working, but October is also when all the Oscar prestige films are in town, so I'll watch that. But yeah, just it sucks like being so busy. Damn. But whatever. Just yeah. Go to sleep, boy. Boy. yeah. That, that stage sucks because I felt like I was always on the other side of the stage. Excuse. You want to try again or want to do one more? Yeah, let's do no. Well, not that stage, but let's do. Okay. Let's play more. Got it. I just felt like there, we were always on opposite sides. Gotta stay with Christina. That's true. Let's do Christina. I wanna see what other. Oh, fuck! No, I wanna be Christina again. Oh, if man. you won't let us dance, then we'll you make you dance. Damn it! I wanna be blue Christina. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this color. Alright. Okay. Oh, blue can Christina. you change color? 
It's whatever team you're on. Uh, so I, I take blue. All right, we're going. I see. I'm fine with them. Stalin's on Cyberpunk 27-7. It'll be great. I'll play it when it's out. That's yeah, it. Don't I'm need... excited for that. Yeah, it'll be good. What level you want to do? Ooh, Terrified Town looks cool. That's the one we did with the Gatling gun. Oh. Ancient Monoliths. Okay. Let's do it. Sounds cool. If it's not, if not, it's cool. Not... Wait, what did Homestar say? Frank Lyon, mate. Yeah, request a song, Homestar, please. Oh, you yeah. You donated, dude. You got the rights. Press start. Jordan Jones going to bed. Thanks for hanging out with us all night, Jordan Jones. Love you. Have a good night. Goldfinger by Superman. All right, let's do it. Again? Yeah, anytime. We're only going to get better the more we do it. Oh, yeah, now we're, huh. we're saving up requests for our last, like, our, our good night song to sing along. So, we got Goldfinger by Superman. If you want to build the set list, donate a minimum of $2 or donate a $1.82 for a Blink-182 song. Uh, and we'll play it for our finale set list. So far, we got Goldfinger by Superman. I'm excited to play that, y'all. And there's a link if you click on the Twitch below. There's like a donate or I think it says like SOS or no, it's it's just it's a cash sign in hearts that leads to take you to the Streamlab page where you can donate to request a song. And donations will go towards buying future games and all that. Uh, so thank you so much. We appreciate it. Like, what Finally, the fuck? Got it. Oh my god. It's so weird how, like, one-sided this game can be. Uh, it's also a blast playing janky local multiplayer games. Because this is what I would yeah. do with my friends, playing PS2 games, where it's like... Where the, the fuck did they get a bone out? The multiplayer wasn't fleshed out, because it didn't need to be. And it was just like, uh, let's just try this out. And we would stay up all night playing these dumbass games, you know? And, like, they'd be broken and just, like, kind of janky. Yeah, it's like, how many people actually played this mode? I don't know, but this is fun. Yeah. Dude, I'm winning now. I'm kicking butt. Kicking butt. Oh, you want to try a uh, single player mission? Yeah. All right, let's jump in. Quit. I'll pass you the controller. Do you want to try a bounty mode? Sure. You can try the try the first mission in the yeah, the the catch is only in the head. So go to story mode. Hit X. Got a bounty hunter. Yeah. Fuck it. Try the shoot and shoot enemies only in the head. It should be easy. So if you stop and aim, you're okay. Oh, little baby boy. That's right. Oh wow. Thanks again in the chat. Goldfinger by Superman. Did you guys play Conqueror's Multiplayer on 64? Oh. I played it when it was remastered on Xbox. I played a lot of that. Played both. Yeah. Loved them. So good. Would love to Thanks see that Mojave. come to anything. Thanks, Mojave Cyclone. We might do another stream, potentially. There's a chance, if I'm not too busy, I might do Last Game Standing Friday evening. I'm working a lot this week, so I don't know if I'll have time for it, but I got a review code for Warriors of Roshi 4, the new Dynasty Warriors. I'm dying to play that. We'll see, if not, within a few weeks. Um, but we might do Oops. a game, like, on Saturday or Sunday. So we'll see. All right, target practice. Thanks again, always, for tuning in. <laughs> okay. Move. Dude, Brian, you're so good at this. Wow. That was, that's, oh, well, fuck, Brian, was not past this. All right, just, can you do this? Oh, turn around. Yeah. Speed run. Head down that creek, dog. Get down to the creek. Creek. Critical. Oh. What is this? Do you remember the Onion Prince from Utana? I forget which... I don't know. I forget which arc... What, is it from this? I feel like in the second arc, there's a lot of random characters. I saw Utana back in, like, 2011. It's been so long. So outside the main characters, I don't remember much. Um... But yeah, Utain is good. He was in the Black Rose. Don't remember specifics, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Time the Ninja just joined. Time we beat Red Dead. Brian's trying Bounty Mode, which is like... Oh, been two ducks. Oh, Amber by thank you. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna start building the set. This is gonna be a good set. Let's close up the night. We got... Here, pass me the keyboard. Pass it to the left. Ben... Oh, Amber's great. Big Dogs is the color of your energy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, Torchlight 2, and then what was it, uh... We talked about Bushido Blade. Would be cool. Um, songs. So, so far we got Goldfinger by Superman. I forget who requested that. No, I think it was Homestar. Homestar 4000. Ben requested Amber by 311. Thank you so much. Oh, man. I thought Bounty Hunter would just, like, drop you right where the mission started. Like, All right, right, just in the head. Just in the head, okay. I thought I got him in the head! You shot him in the 
shoulder. Do I have to start all the way from yeah. the beginning? Oh my god, okay. Just walk up like real close, or just aim real high. Yeah. I love how immediately... Failed. Failed. Epic, epic fail, dude. Epic fail for the win. Epic fuck. It's fun, like, streaming because I don't check my phone for, like, four hours. It's crazy. You better shoot to get wow. Got him. Cuties in the chat. Oh, son of MR sent me a Utana fan. Whoa. That's neat. Thanks, son of MR. M hack. I keep saying son of M hack. It's son of M hack. P Moth, you can have full confidence in your jokes. The only thing that goes over my head is my cowboy. It's my hat. 3, 11, 3, 3, 11, 3, 11, 3, 3, 11. How are you doing with the, hat, the head shoot? It's hard to see him. Get way close. There you are. Oh, I think emails. that's my dad. Why is there 14 emails? Why are there 16 emails? Oh, I got really scared. I forgot that we were Twitch streaming because again I'm working so much. Oh, like people are following emails. us. New followers on Twitch and then uh, donations. So, again, thank you everyone. But, yeah, I got scared for a second. It's like fuck. Did I forget something? But no, we're, we're good. Nah, we good. Thank you everyone who followed us on Twitch today. Face Juker. I always like seeing ah. the names. Ryan Reed, Donia, Jeff Howley, Rodin. I don't know if I can say their names. Uh, retry. Alright, we're gonna go. That's it. Alright. Yeah. You got a taste of it. Thank you again, everyone who donated. That fucking stipulation. That's some dumb shit. Alright. Quit. Have fun getting that. Pla That's why I don't do fucking platinum. I beat the game. I'm done with it. Yeah. This. Don't know what happened in the story. I'll read it later. Alright, anyways. <laughs> that was Big Dog Redemption. Uh, I'm gonna look at the trip. I'm not. I'm terrified of looking at messages now. What a fucking scary world we live. Well, in. apparently they patched it. Is what the chat said way earlier on. So, okay. so we should be okay. Need the game on normal. We got that. Okay. Get a combo for 500. We got that. Do we want to do it? What did we miss? 100 accuracy. None. Oh, I see. Oh wait. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Six fail headshots. Complete the journal. Buying shit. Interesting. I'll start. Yeah, I'll read. It. Okay. Yeah, clean on difficulty, whatever. Look at that. Wow, we're in the Z the trophy sphere. Interesting. Interesting. Real fast. We gotta look at our other... We're gonna get to the music in a second. Um, is Dr. Ryan on? Is he? What the fuck is Ryan's... The doctor that's is, a, but that's, that's, a, that's not... That's a, that's a that's a I, think he, I think he is... What's his user... What's Ryan Reed's username? Is it the reflection? I think I'm just... I'm friends with him as Ryan Reed. Yeah, because uh, PlayStation had that real True name. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny because my username is Frank Howley. So it's like Frank Howley, also known as Frank Howley. Well, now you can I also, change Ryan's username it. is a big dog. There you go. Apparently. Now you can change. Oh, they they're, they're, they're haven't launched it yet. It's under beta yet. But yeah, you can change your username. The Inpatient. Oh, that's a new game Ryan got. Oh, Runner's yeah. Runner's a great game. That game's cool. Oxen Free. Ryan going all for the Platinums. Batman the Enemy. Man, what the fuck is that? The what? Is what's... Enemy? Oh, that's a Telltale game. Oh, uh, okay. Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Donut County. Look at all these Platinums. Wow. Ryan, you're, that's a big dog of Ivor. Yeah. Like, go to his, uh, go to, like, this is the trophy section. Is there, like, a trophy overview for him? Yeah. Oops. 29, is this, like, rank or some shit? Yeah, is it, like, there, there are levels. 117 Platinums. Wow. So that's 117 games that he's gotten all the trophies on. That's true. Good oh, job, man. I'm tired. Okay. Who else? Who's playing fucking Yakuza right now? Oh, okay. Very cool. Alright. Closing that shit. Uh-oh. What? Oh, nothing. Just the input's gonna switch. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Alright. So, go to camera. No signal. Alright. That was cool. Very tired. But, it's big dog just donated. It. So, it's midnight. Kind of quiet. Kind of mellow. You know, so keep it keep it a little quiet, Brian. You know, trying to do this for your spe big dogs respect your neighbors. I'll be back, y'all. To the Fuck. beach, y'all. Uh oh. We're a bunch of big dogs playing our mid games, <laughs> peeing our pants, cause it's the Africa. coolest. Pee your pants. Peeing your pants is the coolest. It's a good way. I was getting hot, and it's like, man, it's cooling off. This 
Give me a second. I gotta fucking fix my strap. Yardstick Ninja wants to know if there is a uh, leaderboard for total platinums on PSN. I guarantee it's, you there it's is. It's like a it's like a third. There's like true tro- yeah. tro- true trophies. It's like third party. I shit. guarantee you there is. Uh, yeah, they're working on it. The way it's gonna work is it's it's gonna be eligible for any like PlayStation Four game pu- published after like 2017. Some old shit. It won't work. It's a weird beta thing, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay. We are all the big dogs. Where's the chat? I think this is the chat. Yeah, no, bring chat. that up. All right, we're doing this. We played this before. We have. But oh I, my god. Not today. Damn, this is like a pick I got when I was like 13. I still have all my fucking original picks. I never. I bought like a shitload of picks when I was like 14, and never again. Yeah, that's the thing, guys. Frank doesn't lose his picks. He just misplaces them throughout the house. So I yeah. find them and I put them in one central Aww, place. Oh, you're a, you're a cutie. Thank you. That sounds. That was good as shit. Mm-hmm. No worries, P. Hey, uh, Homestar, we'll play any song if people request it. I'll play the same shit six thousand times. Yeah, we don't. Fuck. We don't, don't care. Don't you, you paid for the song. You to paid be for it. It's dog. like going to a karaoke bar yeah, or, and getting upset or that somebody like, plays fucking, fucking Bon yeah, Jovi. Metallica twice. fucking plays what? Enter the Sandman every fucking concert. It's like that Big shit. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. I like this. I'll jump in on the second one. I don't remember how this song goes. So here I am. That's how it goes. It's still so being there. So here I am. Doing everything I can. Pulling on to what I am. Pretending I'm a superman. Lost cash sleep, streaming up all night. We're playing Red Dog Redemption and we beat it. Oh, let's put the camera up, Ryan. We're gonna stand in for the end of our stream. The big dogs watched us as we beat Red Dog Redemption. And we're so confused. We talked about work and crush. Rockstar makes their workers work all day. Red Dead Redemption is coming out in just a few weeks. Nobody else cares about Tomb Raider. All the other games are gonna be cheap. Black Friday, get the games for half off. You're gonna follow a cheap ass gamer to know when the deals are happening. Fucking Superman, song that's in Tony Hawk. It's great, but people, it's kind of annoying because when people Tony Hawk talk about Tony Hawk, the only one talk about Superman, the game has a way more diverse soundtrack. It introduced me to Dead Kennedys. It also introduced me to NoFX. There's lots of songs. Tony Hawk 2 has uh, Reggie's Machine. I made Brian watch the Phantom Thread as part of me and my roommate. But I wanted to. Because that's what big dogs do, they share resources. Uh, uh, Goldfinger, Travis Barker drums for me sometimes. They have another good song called In My Bedroom. Have you heard In My Bedroom? No. I'm gonna play that next. It's a great song. Jared Thorbon's in the chat. I mean, people drop Jared Thorbon's in the chat. Watching Big Dogs Gaming. So here we are, watching Frank and Brian stream. It's a Wednesday to Monday night. They're watching Frank and Brian stream all the time. If you want to see Brian stream more, he does it every Wednesday with Garrett. They got a Discord so you can call in the show. They're going to be playing Resident Evil 1 or 2. What should we be playing? What are you playing, Brian? What's on we are, we're playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. What the fuck? That's Halloween. No, we're doing it actually on Halloween. Yeah, so you guys going to beat the whole game? Uh, I'm gonna try. Wait, is that gonna be the actual Halloween? Yeah, Halloween is actually on a Wednesday, so we're gonna play it first night. That was great. Thank you so much. Beautiful. It was a midnight, it was a casual stream. Uh, Scott shit's hard, because it's like... Set that up beat. It's like, I'm not good at that shit. Wait, well, yeah, it's like, hold on. Oh, that's opposite. Oh. Tune into the stream.
game of Breath of the Wild. I'll be playing, so it'll be well played Ooh, wow. instead of Garrett. It'll be my All file. Right. Real fast, and you can keep talking. This is a good ass Goldfinger song. I like uh, song a lot. I'll be playing. Um, I think it's the uh, Champions Ballad. Not the one where you go down, because that sucks, but the one where you go and fight all to get the bonus in. Here in your big dogs, they're playing Red Dead Revolver. You can turn the- oh yeah, let's turn Here in your bedroom. Why the fuck is this pitch so terrible? Whoever composed this MIDI is Toho Def. The song doesn't sound like this, but maybe they weren't good at composing midis. This song doesn't sound like the real version does. It's in a different key. about if one person is in love with more than the other person is this so gonna happen am i just way over my head it's called in your bedroom like is this the last time we're gonna be together babe or like is this gonna be forever because like you seem really cool but like i'm really anxious about it because like i'm getting way stoked you don't seem as stoked so it's like in my bedroom do you still feel the same when I wake up tomorrow, I love things cause I still feel the same Cause I still feel the same Hi. Cause I still- such an unflattering angle I know, right? Here in your big dogs, we can stream it all night long We are playing video games all night long Fucking upbeat tempo. When I wake up to your room, is there anyone else on Twitch playing in Scum? Probably not, because Big Dogs have really good music tapes. Been donated, so we're gonna switch to Amber by 311. The Big Dogs play what the Big Dogs wanna play. Cause if you're a big, if you like watching the Big Dogs and you're a Big Dog, then you're Play whatever they like. I always hope. That was um in your bedroom by Goldfinger. Very good song. We're gonna be switching to Amber by 311, dude. Dude, Amber. Ba -da 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 -da. Big Dogs is the color. All right, we're gonna be quiet because it's midnight. Also, if you subscribe, you get access to the Jared Thorbon emo. Whoa. Oh God, drop that. If Chat. you donate 100 Twitch bits, a little fucking Sakura pops up. Whoa, dude. Whoa, this is so interactive, dude. Whoa, dude. It's like putting a dollar into a DDR machine. Go nuts. We should look up DDR songs. Oh, oh I love DDR songs. Oh, Lord. Big Dogs. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay, fucker. Bring some good shit, dude. Peace and love.
dog to the bleeding stream on Twitch. Can't make you follow big dogs. Can't make you realize you gotta save some money. So you follow she Gamer. she Gamer with your money on games. Whoa. g Gamer saves you money on games. Ben, P Moth, thanks for donating, dude. Tom the Ninja is watching too. He makes some crazy gifts. How do you do that, dude? He just did some DMD tonight. P Moth is dropping those music notes. It feels like I'm in Mario Paint, Super Nintendo. That game had a mouse peripheral. You know what other game has a mouse peripheral? Every PC game, dude, you play with a mouse. Don't forget just... that you have a sleep controller. Ew, fuck, that thing sucks. I wasted money on that. I, I, I gambled. Her dog's here. Hope you find your switch. donates we'll play another song i'm trying to think of what's the song i really want to play what's the song i've been itching to play oh yeah i'm gonna do that one again i've been meaning to do this one but yeah we'll close it out and let's fuck keep trying my fucking picks paint it black why doesn't big dog sell picks oh dude somebody needs to send us big dog picks yeah that'd be cool all right we beat red dead dogs we did it okay thank you fucking look for the song Alright. Oh. Yeah, the way they fucking. That's fine. Alright. This is different than how I learned it. Let's try it.
Bruce playing guitar really well and I think he's pretty cool. Frank wears the cowboy hat and he looks like Clint Eastwood. Not like those other American Western Joker people. Frank moves on. My guitar got out of tune at some point in the, in the yeah. show, but that's alright. Sounds good. How about my favorite song? I already forgot. They almost requested that one. They got it for free. I'm so happy Tom and Ninja started listening to Peach Kelly Pop. They're going on tour. Peach Kelly Pop's going on tour right now. Check them out. They're hitting up Chicago like in a few days. Oh, yeah. To history lesson. Yeah, that was a lot of fun actually. Anyways, I didn't know that about the band. Oh, anything. Anyways, we beat Red Dog Revolver. I think we'll do Matt Damon's Pro BMX next stream. Ooh. Follow the Discord. Um, playing guitar doesn't hurt my fingers at first. It does, but you develop like you can actually see like see uh like Ooh. the calluses. Yeah, calluses, but you just do it over and over again. So yeah, my finger has like a naturally like. It's like that scene in Whiplash. Yeah. See, also my and it's funny because I haven't played guitar in a few in like a week. It's not painful. You just get used to it. And maybe it's painful. At, I think it's painful at first. Yeah, I remember it being like... It, it's definitely something your fingers get used to after a yeah. while. 
But it's like, yeah, that's why I like my, these fingers look like, like toes at the bottom of the toe, or it's, or like the bottom of the heel, or it's like you just mm. grind onto it. But yeah, you just get used to it. It's so nice. I have a problem I sometimes bite my nails, so I can't keep these nails long. So like, if you, if it's, if your fingernails get short, then it hurts to strum. But if you get it nice and long, then you can get, you can do fancy shit like this. Promise me, everything you said back there was true. I promise. Okay. Dude, they're working on Last of Us 2. I can't wait. Me either, I'm so excited. Oh fuck, I wanna grab this goddamn picture of Jared. Click there it. you go. There you go. Alright, thanks everyone for watching Big Dogs Gaming Live. Uh, it's real important to us that people love and support us. We wouldn't be here without you. Uh, good night, uh, good luck, and um, remember, most important words. Love it. This guitar is out of tune. I need to tune it. Oh, Ed Guy didn't talk the whole chat, but he was oh. here. Ed Guy, if you watch the show, you gotta say hello. Yeah. That's just the rules. If you like to watch the Big Dogs, then you're a Big Dog. So, Ed Guy, the song is Ed Gets You. Ed Guy, you watched the whole show. You didn't say nothing. You were so kind, but now it's your time to shine, Ed Guy. If you like to watch the Big Dogs, then you're a Big Dog. If you after midnight, so be kind of quiet. Ed Guy, watch the whole show. Then he's a big guy. If you like to watch the big dogs, then you're a big dog. Ed Guy's in bed watching Ed sleep. Sweet dreams, Ed Guy. I hope you have the sweetest dreams in the world. Um, may they be kind, may they be true, may they be wet. Whatever is in your dreams, you'll get through Watch the big dog, you're a big dog. If you like to watch the big dog, you're a big dog. If you like to watch the big dog, then you're a big dog. If you like to watch the big dog, then you're a big dog. If you like to watch the big dog, then you're a big dog. If you like to watch the big dog, then you're a big dog. And if you like ASMR, then you're a big dog, and if you like to watch the big dogs, then you're a big dog, and if you like to watch the big dogs, like to watch the big dogs, then you're a big dog, and if you want to save some money for the cheap ass game, Want to save some money Follow Cheap Ass Gamer If you want to save some money Follow Cheap Ass Gamer And save money On games and stuff That's video game related This is a PSA to my friends Stay in school Brush your teeth, don't do drugs, use the crosswalk, don't jaywalk, don't download torrents, don't download MP3s, don't download pictures, don't use the internet, just stay off it, it's a bad place. The only nice place on the internet is the Big Dogs Twitch chat room, it's safe because we got the sheriffs in town, we got the Big Dogs, we got Jared Thorbonds, so remember kids, stay in school, um, 
Don't accept drugs from strangers. You can accept drugs from friends. It's totally cool. Especially my friend Jeremy. Uh, he's new in town, but he says it's all totally on him. Legit. Totally legit. It's totally legit. Just, just, dude, just try it. Dude. Dude, just, just try it. Dude, Sour Patch Kid. Watermelon gum. Dude, look at fuck. Look how fucking blitzed he is, dude. Oh, Sour Patch Watermelon Gum, dude? Sour Patch Watermelon Gum, dude? how they get it, dude? It's like Sour Patch Kids, but it never runs out of flavor, dude. Sour Patch Watermelon Gum. That's so crazy, dude. Big dogs fly.